all too many games. Now we gotta play them all. So what about the Steam Train? Choo choo. Hey, welcome to Steam Train. Yay! We're finally playing another Sierra game. I'm excited. I know, I'm too I'm Welcome so excited. to King's Quest 6. This, this pick, is uh, the this sequel. Pick, yes. Uh, this is the played. fifth sequel of King's Quest. Here, there's an opening. Let's watch it. <laughs> the volume's like. Long ago, in a castle in the kingdom called Daventry. Yeah, turn it up a little bit more. Let's crank this bitch. I don't want to crank is it too loud. Crank it. Yes, he's asleep. Ah! Oh! <laughs> oh, it's 3D graphics! You know it. God, oh. this game... How? When did this game come out? 1992, Alexander, I believe. So when are. we invented 3D hey, graphics? Pretty much. You're not thinking about Cosima, are you? Hmm? I suppose I am. <laughs> His mouth is Son, funny. It's been months. You've got She's got to a... Put she together. looks... You know what she kind of looks all, like? You, you are killing the plot. Sorry. No, it's okay. She looks like a plunger. She does. A plunger on a log with an arm. No one's even heard of it. It's like she's just vanished. I wish I could help. Please try to think about something else, dear. I'll try, Mother. <sighs> so, do you remember in King's Quest V, the, the slave girl? Yeah. That, um, uh, King Graham helped? Like, she was like yeah, the scullion? Yeah, the Yes. That's the girl that Alexander fell in love with. So, ne all right. <laughs> so, yeah. So now, um, now he's dreaming of her all the time, and he can't do anything with his life. Oh, these graphics God. are too amazing. It's like Beast Wars, <laughs> but like not as good. 1990, goddamn too. Oh, he's still sitting in the same spot. So he's completely like, just L obsessed. He's, with he's her. just lovesick. But wait. Oh shit. What is this upon the mirror? The pre precursor to Facebook. What is this? What are you talking? He's looking about? her up. Oh yeah. What is her relationship status? I'll ask. <laughs> I'll ask. That's the douchiest mirror, thing you can mirror do Mirror, mirror on the wall. Has she dumped that guy at all? Oh, nice. That's her. She's oh, there. shit. Yes! Alexander. <laughs> I feel so alone. I don't know what to do. She loves Alexander, him, too. In a far-off land. I wish you were here. Oh, shit. Yep. Kasima! Wait! Mother! Mother, come quick! God damn it! Alexander, what on earth? You're white as a ghost. Uh, Mother, I've always <laughs> been white. She was in the mirror. In the mirror. Maybe you should have married a more tan man, yeah. bitch. Her, his mom's like, I'm over here, Alexander. <laughs> He's doing that stare. He's like not looking at the person when they're talking to them. Yeah. <laughs> Your favorite thing to do. Just if you ever talk to someone, don't look them in the eye. Just look to the right of their head. It will really upset them. All right, so he he basically just told his mom like I love this girl. I need to find her like, I need to dedicate my life really? to finding her. Yep So he went out to sea for three months three months. She lives in the Green Isles, man. That's far as fuck That's like fucking that's like where Daenerys is compared to like I don't know like Ned Stark in the ground <laughs> <laughs> You shut up about Game of Thrones. <laughs> oh Wow, look, it's like one of those like Stiff uh, plastic seagulls that you throw, like a balsa wood glider. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't flap a lot. These seagulls. Yeah, these these seagulls. They've they've. Uh, they are gliders. They're incredibly aerodynamic. They're like test. Yeah, even the seagulls and. Oh hey, Susie. oh hey, Susie. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're recording. We're recording. Oh, hey, oh, we're going down to the store to get some ice cream from Godiva. Just want to let you guys know. Thank you. Sure. I'm I'm Can okay. I have some. It'll melt. How long will it melt? Guys, guys! I mean, they close at, at like 9 and it's like 8.30 right now, so we're just gonna run down and get some ice cream. Wow. Because by the way, guys, like, Godiva just started selling ice cream. Godiva ice cream. Oh my fucking Okay, uh, Barry, put up right. the Godiva logo right now. No, don't and put- And waffle it. cones, like, dipped in Godiva chocolate. Holy uh. shit, we have to go- we have to go try it right now. Thank right. you, Susie. Godiva's not paying uh, us! Alright, go, go, go <laughs> have fun. Get out of here! Go right. have fun, right. you crazy right. kids, you people. Guys know. Thank you, Bye. thank you. I was amazingly fortunate that yeah. she came in and gave us that information during like a 12 minute sailing scene with no- <laughs> While the Godiva no, logo no was directly there. I hope Barry didn't put that in. Make oh wait! Bigger. Oh no, I thought we were coming to land, it was just the bow wow. of the boat. They uh- God, this is like worse than a Wind Waker sailing scene. Yep! Uh, so... 
What you been up to lately, Dan? How you been? <laughs> <laughs> how, 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 how's, how's life been? Oh, you know, stuff. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah, had some Lucky Charms for the first time in a while. Really? Yeah, they You know, are, I've never had them. They are violently not food. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh... What do you think they're made of? I don't know. Poop. Because that's what happens. Leprechaun poop. Land ho! Oh, hey, oh, hey! Hey! Oh. <laughs> Land ho! Hello, jaunty pirates! That is a very phallic-looking telescope. <laughs> or periscope. I don't know which one it would be. Hours pass. It looked like HR's pass. Too too far a distance. Okay, so we're on our like uh, <laughs> low poly boat heading to the three lumps. We'll we'll make this an extra long episode because this is pretty plot heavy. Yeah, pretty. Uh, I don't know. Is this? Would you call this plot heavy? Not a lot's been said since uh, we've been I on mean, this, this boat. Is, this, yeah, it's pretty sailing heavy. Pretty silently sailing heavy. Sail away. But it, at the time, away, again, I know we said this a lot in King's yeah. Quest V. In, in 1992, these were pretty amazing graphics. The, this hadn't been. Oh, day turns to night. The sea turns violent. Oh, oh no! Our jaunty trip is becoming. Oh fuck! Oh damn! Oh shit! This is like that bit from that m movie. The the the, the the the. Very good, Ross. The the frozen bit where the kid. The, you know what I'm talking about. You mean frozen? Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> God, you're nailing it. Oh no! Oh god, the water looks like it's made out of liquid Terminator. Yeah. Get out of there. And it swallowed our ship. <laughs> <laughs> and our oh, computer. Man. Yeah. And the composer goes crazy on the Casio keyboard. Is this to... Is it holding a dramatic pause to show them that they might have died? I believe this is just a loading screen. Oh. Yeah. King's Quest! That's us! Okay, we're playing it. Oh, sweet. Oh, Roberta Williams. Jane, Jane Jensen. Jensen. That sounds like a porn star name, but I'm sure you don't do porn anymore. I think she's anymore. in this game. <laughs> I think she's in this game, Skirvin. Let's see if we can skip this. Oh, we can! Okay. Do you know what I found out? I guess it was 93. Did I, I don't think I've ever said this on, uh, like, was, she, was she a voice actor or producer? Jane Jensen? Was she, why did I miss, was it say producer? I believe- Oh, Sierra! I Yay! love Sierra! Uh, fucking, um, I found out that yeah. my wife Holly's- Yes grandfather's ex-wife was the voice of uh, the princess in uh, uh, fucking Dragon's Quest. Get out of yeah, here! Yeah. What? Yeah. That's awesome. Isn't that crazy? Alright, now we're playing. Oh! Okay. Oh, so we shipwrecked. Okay. It's time to play the game! Okay, hey. so, we are Alexander. We are now the son of King Graham. This is after the events of King's Quest V. There's a lot of uh, looking and talking in this game, so let's look. Alexander searches for a way to reach the black-haired girl whose memory will not escape him. All swells being dressed like a clown. Seems that way. Mm. I just saw a little twinkly thing here, so let's take oh. a look at that. Alexander's royal insignia ring lies abandoned on the sand. It must have slipped from his finger during the shipwreck. Fortunately, it was not lost in the sea. Boom. That's what you need. Let's can, pick that the fuck up. Can you lick shit? Uh, not in this game. What? This is not, this is not King's Quest or, I mean, oh, sorry. This is not, uh, Leisure Suit Larry. Or Space but you Quest. can lick stuff in other things. Okay, hang on, hang on. <laughs> oh. Alexander picks up his royal insignia ring from the beach. I love this guy's voice. Yeah, it's the same narrator, right? Alexander something something. I love it. Let's touch the plank. Oh, rub that up and go. Oh shit, Alexander what's under there? pushes the plank to one side. A box has been partially buried under sand. I like that after he, yay. I like that after he like moves the thing, he just stands there like, yay, yay, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even react. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, shiny. What is this? Is gold? I think so. Alexander takes the coin and leaves the ruined box oh, where it is. Funny. Yes. Okay, that's Treasure good. Suitcase. That's good. Let's take Make a run. Let's take a look at the land. Alexander oh. is standing on a beach littered with debris from his shipwreck. A path leads north into the lush green island. Did everyone An else occasional die? breeze rustles the nearby foliage. Oh. Yeah, our buddies are dead. Everyone? I think so, yeah. How many buddies did we have? We had that... We had like three. We had like three jaunty pirates with and us. And a telescope. Yeah. <laughs> the telescope died too. R.I.P. Telescope. Although, Alexander, I gotta say, like, his clothes are perfect, his hair is perfect. Yeah. Things really turned out well for him. Royalty is buoyant. It's true. Ooh. Okay. This... I like the look of that town on the left. 
A hollow in the trunk of the old tree forms a perfect nesting place for wildlife. Ah, uh, probably like a magical squirrel or bird, right? That's to the left, yeah. a an owl maybe seems to invite the weary traveler. Okay, so we got a town on the left, and a castle. In the distance, a majestic castle shines in the sun. Let's go check out the castle. I say castle. She's yeah. probably she's probably in the castle. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> she's just there, and the game ends. Yeah, <laughs> thank credits you for, roll. Thank you for playing King's Quest VI. The rest of it becomes like one of those like hentai like Sims where you like have to undress her and like. Yeah, that's like, what. Touch that, bits. That's a touch bits. Not that I know what that's like. Right. Oh. Touching bits. Look at these. Look at these doggy guards. Doggy guards? They're just guys Two with helmets. Two guards take their stance in front of the castle oh, doors. Oh no, wait, they are dogs. They look quite fierce and have the stiff, blank expression of soldiers on formal duty. Yo, you got your pass <laughs> to the furry convention. Great. Let's annoy them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> they look stern. Let's talk. Alexander politely addresses the odd-looking guards at the castle doors, hoping to learn more about his predicament. Good day to you guards. <laughs> I was cast upon this island in a storm, and I'm like a little confused Everybody's about my hand. location. Could you tell me what place this is and who lives in this castle? Hey, what is that you say? A castaway? A likely story. We haven't had any foreigners in this part since El Hazaret arrived. No, no, no. What? Ah, don't be so rude, Cuff. <laughs> He's not asking for any secrets. You're standing on the Isle of the Crown, lad, and this is the Castle of the Crown. Mm. The royal family resides here. Uh, rather, what's left of the royal family. The Isle of the Crown? But tell me, am I anywhere near the land of... Of the Green Isles? Duh. This is the land of the Green Isles. Oh, fuck. Oh, the Isle of the here. Crown is the main island, foolish boy. You dumb shit. Then Princess Cosima must live in this very castle. Aye, the princess is indeed our treasure jewel to God. Nice. And we consider it an honor. She is up there. Well, now that we know that, let's get a frisbee and throw it so they run away. Yeah. Well, excuse me, guardsmen. <laughs> uh, uh, guard dogs. Nice. I've been traveling oh, for months God. to see Princess Cosima. I would like an audience, please. I'm sorry, but the princess is not receiving visitors, particularly not strangers. Okay, so what do uh, we have to do? Um, well, what do we got? Give him a... We got, we got a coin and our ring. Oh, our ring will oh. show them that we're royalty. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's try that. Alexander decides to show his royal insignia ring to the Castle of the Crown Guards. With all of his papers lost in the shipwreck, it is the only possible calling card he can think of. I'll just eat it, and you'll have Good to day. wait for it to come out. I'm Prince Alexander of Daventry. I'm an acquaintance of Princess Cosima. If you could just inform her that I'm here, please. Yeah, so everyone says. Let me just look at that ring. What does it say, Gruff? <laughs> <laughs> His name's Gruff. Kingdom of Daventry, Prince Alexander. <laughs> Wait here while I go see what Captain Saladin thinks of this. Oh, Captain Saladin, I remember him. Who's from Captain Saladin? He's a fucking, he's the badass, awesome lead dog. Lead dog? Is he a German Shepherd? No, he's like, I think he's a Collie. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Quickly, there's three Clark clowns trapped down a well. Later, with a majestic-looking creature, <laughs> Captain Saladin speaks with a voice that is gentle but reflects a will of iron. Morph, <laughs> Bork! Prince Alexander of Daventry, I presume. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm unfamiliar he looks like with an your orangutan. country, but I'm sure him. Wazir Al Hazred will want to meet you if indeed you are a friend of the princess. Please follow me. Okay, walk this way. And so you, and you follow him like a dog. <laughs> what freakish experiments are they doing here to have dog people? No, they're just it's fantasy world. They, yeah. Oh wait, Al this is important. A visitor to see you, oh, Prince Alexander of Daventry. What is it that you seek, Prince Alexander? Count Dracula. Pardon the intrusion, my lord, but I came to see Princess Cosima. Some months ago, my father, King Graham saved my family and I from imprisonment under an evil wizard named Mordak. Remember that? Yeah, I remember that the happening. The same wizard that kidnapped the princess? Exactly. Do you have any hair when oil? When my father rescued us, he also liberated Cosima and sent her home. 
Then your father has my gratitude, and that of the entire kingdom. But I'm afraid I still fail to see the purpose of your visit. That dog's kind of holding that sword kind of threateningly. Yeah. <clears throat> He's... Well... I want to fuck the I princess. came to make sure <laughs> that Cosima arrived safely and to pay my respects. Before we parted, she gave me an invitation to visit. I want to pay penis respects. She gave no me a piece she of paper exactly that says that room 203. Yeah. Alexander. Let's fuck. However... <laughs> Things have greatly changed for Cosima since her ordeal in Mordak's castle. Cosima's parents both became ill and died while she was gone. Cosima oh is sequestered in mourning for them as befits a princess. She is not receiving visitors of any kind. Oh no. Even if she was the guy who looks like I do not Dracula. think your yeah. visit would be appropriate. He's just fucking you see, in the back. It Dang is enough. time for Cosima to take her responsibilities seriously. With her parents gone, she no longer has the luxury to be a carefree maiden. This guy sucks. As yeah, was I mean, her parents' wish, it's kinda Cosima obvious. and I are to be wed. We shall rule the kingdom together. Oh, he's gonna marry oh, Cosima. Yeah. Our marriage is all Stop Cosima him. wants now. As a prince and a gentleman, it would be best that you leave before there is any further embarrassment. I see. I suppose that I was mistaken. I thought she was certain the that Cosima... Well, I apologize. A young man sees what he wishes to see. I'm sorry you've wasted your time traveling to the land of the Green Isles. <sighs> May oh your journey God. home yeah, snaky, it. dude. Swished. Perhaps I will take the opportunity to look around your fair land while I'm here. Like turban things, just looking back and forth. He's like just hanging out. It's like a tennis the match. The kingdom yeah. is rather, shall we say, inhospitable these days. But it is your neck. You may risk it if you please. God damn! You just said like, well, we'll Captain kill you if Saladin you stay here. Are you we'll serious? Escort you I mean, from basically. the castle. Fucking dick. Good day. Oh, we put the sword away. Yeah, well, thank you. I feel very non-threatened. That was a fun audience with the queen. Yeah, being surrounded by a dog, a topless guy, and... You have had really... your hearing with Wizir Al-Hazred. I trust you'll respect his wishes and not return. Oh. I have been instructed not to let you into the castle again. Good day, my lord. I'm a good boy. <laughs> Captain Saladin whispers something to the guard dogs at the castle gate, and they nod with understanding. Frisbee at three. <laughs> Frisbee, kibble, kibble. <laughs> All right. Alexander has a feeling they won't be letting him into the castle again. Dang it. Gosh darn. All right, well, let's see what we can say. Let's run with our tail between our legs. Let's get out of here. Ooh. No. Oh. I think we found something. The side of the castle is one big blank wall. Well, all right then. All right then. We will not go here then. Let's go to the town. Let's go to the town. But you know what? Mm-hmm. Why don't we, we go to the town next time on Steam Train? That sounds like a good idea, Dan. I really like this idea. I like this idea, too. I think the, the general public likes this idea. If you like this idea, rate, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> hey! Welcome back to Steam Train. Welcome back All to right. that show. Yeah, we are in King's Quest VI. We just checked out the castle. Now we'll check out the town. See what's up. Hopefully we won't get shanked. There's a pawn, porn shop! That is a pawn shop. A prawn shop? Hold on, let's... The sign above the door says, Ali's books. Okay. Ali's books, you can't have them, they're mine. Alright. <laughs> Look at that guy selling Pikmin. Yeah, uh, I think I just missed something he said, whatever. Let's go check out the bookstore first, we'll get back to him. Okay. I love the sound of opening doors in this game, by the yeah, way. Yeah, let's, let's hear it, let's hear it. Yay. Hello. <sighs> I will be right up. What the fuck? Steve Jobs, what are you doing here? He's now, what can I do for you? I'd like a turtleneck! Cut that who's, fucking goatee. Who's that fucking badass know. wizard yeah, who, who looking at? The Grim Reaper? Is that the, the Grim Reaper? The man occasionally steals sidelong glances at Alexander from under a concealing hood. Shit, it's probably someone important. Yeah. Is it your dad? Is it your... <laughs> is it your dad? Yeah. Is it Darth Vader? The bookshop owner is a thin, middle-aged man. His intelligent eyes are slightly blurry from long nights spent reading by candlelight. Ah, mm. let's talk to his ass. Let's talk to him. Here we go. 
Good day, sir. I am a stranger in this land. What can you tell me about the land of the Green Isles? That is quite a question, young man. Who are you? And what would you have me tell you? Then you got that business! <laughs> My name is Alexander. I know I am on the Isle of the Crown, but I'd like to know whatever you can tell me about this island, and if there are other islands nearby. Why do I talk You like are this? indeed a stranger. Anxious is the man who knows not the customs of the land beneath his feet. What? This oh. island is called the Isle of the Crown, because the royal family's castle is here. Besides the castle, we also have this village, and the docks over to the west. And my there house. Are at least <laughs> Come three over. Other and my islands. books. You can't the have them. The Isle of the Sacred <laughs> Mountain, the Isle of the Beast, and the Isle of Wonder. Oh, yeah, we'll go all those places. At least three? Does no one know for certain? <laughs> Shut up. This is no ordinary land, Alexander. The land of the Green Isles has always been a place of vague boundaries, as if islands come and go. Come Legend like speaks of a fourth yes. island, an isle shrouded in mists. I myself have never seen it. They call it Fart Thank Island. <laughs> the land of the Green Isles is said to exist on the boundaries of this world and the next. Even darker places are reputed to be closer here Fart than anywhere <laughs> else in the world. That's quite a claim. <laughs> claim, <laughs> yes. <laughs> But probably just local superstition. We who live oh. here on the Isle of the you know Crown, what? at least. I think I know who well I think this guy looks like night. now. Who's that? He looks like a young Michael Those Keaton. First three islands <laughs> you Doesn't he a little bit? I learn there? more about them. Ideally, a young man. <laughs> <such and> such <laughs> Barry, put, put up that picture, picture of Michael Keaton. Picture of Michael like Keaton. Yeah. yeah. I was like, he looks like a guy of multiplicity. Oh, Michael Keaton. place would be helpful, naturally. Unfortunately, the ferry no longer runs between the islands. There has been much political unrest, and it has been too dangerous to travel for years. Hmm. Perhaps the ferryman can tell you more. He has little enough to do these days. Pulling all those teeth. And yeah. if you Being haven't fairy. been there already, uh, fairy. Hmm? you fairy. might seek an audience at the castle. What? Thank you kindly, merchant. For all your good advice. Let me give ah, you... Ah, but advice is free, uh, Alexander. Hunter. Making use of it costs much more. So true. Okay. Let's go. All right, so we know there's a ferryman. Let's see what this book is about, because it is suspiciously right there. Oh, is that a book? It looks like a typewriter to me. Alexander rests his feet for a moment. Alexander picks up and leafs idly through a book called The Changing Role of Court Entertainers Through the Ages. Well, that was refreshing. Okay. All right. <laughs> Alexander farts into the chair. <laughs> oh, that was refreshing. <laughs> Alexander <laughs> is a little like old for those children's books. You can't tell me what I can't Alexander read. Alexander is a little old for those children's books. <laughs> like Game of Thrones. Right. Alexander isn't interested in the cookbooks on that shelf. Mm. He's had an aversion to cooking ever since he experimented with a certain cookie recipe involving cat hair and fish oil. Uh -huh. uh. Let's try over here. Thinking of Cosima, Alexander decides to leaf through one of the volumes of love poetry. He reads, Thy hair, thy lips, thy beauteous face, and all thy studied female grace have won for thee anon a place within this broken breast. Oh, damn. Oh, Not bad. And another. <laughs> Upon the shore the lilies bend, untouched by worldly care, where shadow they her earthly bed. Oh, that she were not there. Uh, Yikes. <laughs> and another. Damn. What was it when Jeez. I looked at you? What power has chained me through and through and binds my heart with links so tight I cannot live without the sight of you? What Slap nameless thing has captured me <laughs> and made me powerless to flee? 
What thing is it without a name that brings my mind? Oh my God! How many enough, fucking enough, poems enough, are there? Enough. Why? Its commonness does not Rub it decry. Rub fuck in the tub. No. A little close to home, that one. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Alexander returns the love poem book to the shelf. My God. Oh shit! Oh, we learned what? What did we learn? How to love? No, no a page fell. Oh. Keep it. Alexander is not interested in those self-help. God damn it! Not that. You did it! Alexander picks up the fallen page. It's the love poem he particularly liked. It must have fallen out of the poetry book. Now make a paper airplane. I see that old volume has lost another page. You may keep it if you like, sir. I have glued the stubborn thing back in place two times already. I'll take the whole book! <laughs> I do rather like it. Thank you, merchant. Thank you, I'm out of toilet paper. <laughs> I look forward to rubbing this against my butt. I've been getting poop smear raw shacks for too long now. Oh. Uh. An old man occasionally steals. Huh. Did you hmm? did you notice something about this guy's eye when he turned? He like it went twinkle, just like the fucking yeah. turban dude. <gasps> yeah. Do you think it's the turban dude out to kill you? I don't know. Let me talk to him. Maybe you pull it back. Good day, sir. Turban. The mysterious old man just ignores Alexander. Something, yeah. Super awkward. Something ain't right. Something ain't right with that dude. And that guy wants to murder you. He's like, Dark Brotherhood bullshit over here. Yeah. Alexander picks up the book from the small table. Oh, yes, please take that book. You have my most humble thanks for doing so good, sir. What? Really? Thanks. Hey, how do you stay in business? Yeah. Please, take the page. You know what? Take the whole <laughs> book. I hate books. Why do I do this? Yeah, it, it... Alexander is carrying a book from the bargain with... table in the bookshop. Okay, I guess there's All right. not more to it. Alexander. Oh, well, you know about the love phone. All right, let's get out of here. Let's skedat. Okay. Fuck this guy. That door now. looks like a chode penis. It, that's just an Arabian design. Oh. <gasps> what is going on? I love this music, by the mm. way. Makes me think of Ren Faire. a girl mm -hmm. in the yard. The girl is dressed in a long, plain orange robe with a thick headdress. From the appearance of her clothes and from a skittish, fearful look about her, Alexander gets the strong impression that she is a servant, or even worse, a slave. Whoa. The serving girl appears to be stealing a quiet moment tending the rose bushes. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> you tending those bushes? Oh. You enjoy a quiet moment? Get back to work and stay away from those roses! Uh. I've told you a million times, those flowers are too sweet for the likes of you! Damn. Oh, you shit. still got to do the breakfast dishes, make lunch, and clean the stables yet this morning! Your veil back on! No one wants to look at your face! Yes, stepmother. Uh, <laughs> love you too, Ma! <laughs> what a biznatch! Oh my god. Yeah, that was sad. It doesn't look like she's a slave, but it looks like she's a slave. Yeah, seems like it. Alright, well, we'll worry about that later. Not much we can do now. Oh, it's a boat that's not on the water. There's the ferry. <gasps> Is that a naked person? Hey, stranger, come join me! The water is wonderful, and I can show you the way to the next island. I don't think you should listen to him. He's probably a, a mer shark. Yeah, I don't, or a I don't know if I like this guy either. A young boy is happily swimming in the sea off the docks. What's your deal? Come on, jump in. A little water won't hurt you. I bet it will. Yeah, I don't oh, like totally this will. guy at all. Good day. I'm Alexander. What are you doing in the sea? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm swimming. I mean, come join me. The water's wonderful. <laughs> yeah, dude, just get naked. To the yeah. next island. Peel out of those itchy pants. Just get out of those pants, man. Just you know jump what? in the water. All right, we'll do it. Uh, but first, <gasps> yeah, it's your favorite. Time to save yes, the game. Yes, 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 yes. All right, all right. Is this me? Is yeah, this me? You. It's all me. <laughs> so Welcome bad. back. Welcome back. Yeah, Welcome yeah. back. It is really happening. 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 Okay. Let's save it. All right. Let's get in there. Considering the poor condition of the shore, it looks like the easiest way to get into the water is just to jump off the pier. 
Oh my god, I bet he's a shark. I bet he's a, he's a wizard. The powerful currents grab Alexander. Oh. What? Struggle as he might, he feels himself being pulled out to sea. But that guy's fine. What Wait. the? <laughs> Not a very good swimmer, are you? Oh. <laughs> Help me! Sorry, I think not. <laughs> what? Fucking dick! What? As his head submerges for the third time, Alexander Why? finds himself pondering the wisdom of going out on a limb for a stranger. Oh. Damn. What? Oh. What? Next. Alexander couldn't handle those currents. That boy must be an unbelievably strong swimmer. Son of a bitch! Or a mermaid. Yeah. Merman. Merman! Man. <laughs> Restore. Yes. Do you like that cool, like, death mm. scene? Where you yeah. go into the gates of whatever? Of, uh... Of death, hell. death town? Oh, what fuck this. For? I said I chose go fuck yourself! Alright, uh, next time on Steam Train, we'll continue this quest. Okay! That's oh. strange. The young boy in the water just disappeared. Oh well, perhaps he just dove under the water. No, no. his ass disappeared. He's a shark man. That's that. not correct. Okay. Welcome back Welcome to Steam Train. Back. We're having a nice, peaceful Train. playthrough of King's Quest VI. And it's been quite enjoyable to be here again with you, Dan, playing Sierra games. It has been a long time. We I are do doing love it. it again. It has a peaceful pace for it sure. Does. Um, this is also early on, so. Oh. Yeah. What do you want? Is he a chef or a pirate? I can't tell. He's a fairy man. He's a shirat. But he does a. Sh <laughs> Yes, he makes shards. Shira promises himself that he will not go home until he has determined what Cosima's feelings are for him, and if she needs his help. Blah blah blah. Go away! The fairy's out of business. Oh, he's the fairy man. Yeah, that's I what I said. He didn't have wings. He's not a fairy, Ross. He's a fairy, fairy, fairy man. Alexander feels his I'm pockets. Oh. That boat is uh. not. There we go. I said the fairy's out of business. What do you want? Eat dicks. <laughs> the rope is... Nope. Excuse me. There My name is Alexander. The owner of the bookshop in the village told me you might be able to help me. I hear you used to run this ferry for the islands. I'd like to talk to you if you have a moment. You say old Ali sent you? I can't see why. The ferry's not running, you know. Very busy jerking I off. I understand. <laughs> I'd just like to talk to you about the islands, if you don't mind. Well, I guess it'd be all right, if Ali sent you. Well, don't just stand there, come on inside. Guess it'd be okay to have a nice, hard-bodied young man I inside my- I thought he was naked. Yes. His pants are, like, totally skin color. <laughs> I don't like to wear pants on the boat. I also never leave the boat. <laughs> Let's see what he's got to say. I'm a visitor to these islands. I'd like to learn what I can about the area. So you said outside. What is it you want to know? Well, for one thing, why has the island's only ferry been dry docked? Huh. You want to dock? Safe to sail <laughs> I'll dry dock you. Yeah. <laughs> and all. Wazir Al Hazred ordered the ferry closed till things settled down. Me, I don't think she'll ever see water again. <sighs> but why are the islands feuding? You got me. Something about stolen property or some such thing. Tis a real shame. Things used to be so friendly. Then this unrest is recent. A few years is all, but it's been long enough. Perhaps if the ferry were repaired. This old thing? This ferry. <laughs> it's funny when you just look at the characters so long, sitting there no and pretending worthy. they're talking instead Her of paying attention to the little squares. She'd yeah. fall apart at the first taste of seawater. But there must be some way to get off this island. <laughs> oh my god. There's only one other he way to travel. He looks like Hulk Hogan meets a chef Imagine and a pirate. That. He does. The owner of it also looks like he's wearing lipstick. Tell you more about that I'm gonna I cook you something and take you somewhere on a boat, brother. <laughs> All right. Good enough for me. Yeah. The ferryman seems to be the only one. Oh. Tell me more about the blah 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 blah. blah. Princess Cosima, what do you do now? Me? Is there no other boat stone? <laughs> Tell me more of- Ah, your mother would- oh, Are you trying to get something out of him that what you need? Can... Let's see. Just trying to see if, what like, I keep talking island? to him, he'll give you something. What else? The inhabitants of the- What else? The castle of- Okay, blah, blah, blah. Blah, I blah, blah, okay. blah, blah. Maybe you can get into bed with him. 
Finally. Alexander Our quest is over. <laughs> Besides, he finds the thought of the old sea salt's bed linens rather uninviting. Well, well, that's just that your makes personal one of preference. Let's see what this is. I mean, I see you have a rabbit's foot. Has it brought it you much me. luck? As you can see, my luck's been out for some time now, despite that old charm. Why don't you take it with you? Perhaps giving the darn thing away will bring me good fortune at last. <laughs> and bring terrible Perhaps suffering to you! <laughs> Alright, cool. I got a rabbit's foot. Yay! Let's get out of here. Are we building a rabbit? Well, I think I'll be going now. Thanks for allowing me into your home. Posh, not at all. It breaks the boredom. That's a you know really what I awkward mean. long handshake. Yeah. Uh, just keep holding my hand for a while. Never. Oh, okay. I'll see you later. <laughs> Come back anytime. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Boats don't go on ground, silly. They go in water. <laughs> Should we go talk to the 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 like poor girl that's getting? Smacked across the ass no, by her she's mother. inside the house. Oh, no. Yeah, I can't do it right now. I want to see it. Hold on one sec. Let me check one more thing. I, I seem to remember there's a dude if you get back in the bookshop that wasn't there before. Yep. Good day oh. again. How may I help you? Substurve. I want to talk to this douche. Who's that douche? The fellow in the chair seems to want to be left alone. Great, I'll talk to him. <laughs> Good day, sir. Is there anything you can tell me about the land of the Green Isles? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god! No Jesus! Whoa. I'm too worried about the princess. Too worried? He sounds like someone. He sounds like Snaggletooth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exit stage right. right. Hold on, let me show him this. Get him, get him all royally impressed. Determined to learn more about the strange man's relationship with the princess, Alexander shows the man his insignia ring and formally introduces himself. I'm sorry to insist, but my name is Alexander of Daventry and... I could have you killed. I appreciate the offer of the ring, Alexander, but I'm afraid I'm already spoken. <laughs> Daventry? Where have I heard of Daventry? Flying flit mice. You must be Prince Alexander. Kasima told me. What did me I about just fucking say? <sighs> How came you here? How did you come to that conclusion? Why, oh, by, by listening. Now Good right job. upon the sand. But you know Kasima? She truly spoke of me? Yes, yes, I I saw her briefly when she first returned home. She mentioned a prince to me. A Prince Alexander of Daventry. I'm afraid that was before she was told about. Oh, oh my see, God! Okay, what you know what? We're we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna skip this. I, as oh, riveting as it is. Mm. About her grief over her parents, you mean? Well, the truth. Nah. Blah, blah, blah blah blah. Okay. Yeah. So her parents died. Yada yada. She's upset. She he used to work for her. Yeah. Uh, yada yada yada. yada. Whatever. All right. Let me just make sure he didn't leave anything. Alexander rests his feet for. <laughs> and farts into the, the chair. Smells of farts. That was refreshing. Well, that was refreshing. Okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> yeah, let's get that. I should. I, I let's should. Let's exit stage left. I should never have come back. No. Ah! <laughs> Look at him shake his boot. See you later. <laughs> it's such a silly walk. Okay. Let's, let's what try about the guy selling Pikmin? What's his deal? I don't. I. I feel like I. You're, I'm not supposed to talk to him until later. Okay. Why? I can't. I just remember that. Old lamps <gasps> for new. Oh, the Old lamps. lamps. For new. Oh yeah, he's a lamp trader, but I don't have a lamp yet. That's what it is. Pawn shop. Let's go in here. Oh my god, that bear! It's so fucking buff. Was oh, that? A... It's the fucking dude again. Oh, I thought it was like a girl with a midriff. What's your deal? Because the belt kind of looks uh, like. Good day, sir. The old man just glares at Alexander and Ugh. does not reply. Yeah, <laughs> look at that bear like, yeah! yeah! I just hit the gym! I'm swole! Whatever, check it out. Oh, let's talk to this guy. There's a lot of talking up top at the yeah. beginning of this game. But we gotta find out what's going on. I like the skeleton button in the foreground. Me, Merchant, yeah. But the ferryman mentioned that you might have a magic map of the land of the Green Isles. It's called Why, a GPS. As a matter of fact, I do. <laughs> I keep it under the counter. It's been gathering dust so long that I nearly forgot about it. Look, it's Morpheus. Yeah. 
It was quite a few years ago, you see. The estate of a wealthy wizard fell into my hands when he died. I like his voice. It was useless magical junk mostly, which reminds me, I've still got some things of his in the back that I need to dump out. Maybe that's him. Anyway, yeah. the magic map was the one true treasure in the lot. The wizard was quite old and feeble and had enchanted the map to aid in traveling. And he kind of looked it like the guy over there. Yeah. That one need <laughs> only weird. desire to be on an island depicted on the map to find oneself there. It is a very valuable map, as you can imagine. Oh. Unfortunately, no one is interested in traveling these days. It is far too dangerous <laughs> with the current state of the kingdom. <laughs> Ross just almost fainted from so much dialogue. I just like looked back and had my mouth open like a turkey oh. looking out with rain. Yeah, I know. There's like, oh. there a lot of talking. I would be willing to take anything of equal value in exchange. Oh, okay. Let's see what we got. Let's give him fucking, give him the rabbit foot. He likes dead animals. Don't give me a ring. Let me try the rabbit's foot. The long. There we go. Would you be interested in making a trade for this merchant? Hmm, a rabbit's foot. I do not believe I could use that. Oh, for fuck's sake! You got dead animals everywhere and trinkets and shit. Well, that's what he's saying. He has too many dead animals. Okay, well, give him something that he might need, like uh, like a piece of paper. Try the ring. Are you serious? It's the only nice thing we have. Would you be willing to take my family ring in exchange for the magic map? Daventry, are you a king then? No, that's my father, King Graham. I'm just Alexander. A princess. Well, Prince Alex, she is a beautiful ring. Are you sure you can part with such a unique family heirloom? The ring does mean a lot to me. I didn't always have a family, you know. Still, it is only gold. There are more important things at stake now. Yes. Like baps. Sweet you baps. now own a magic map, Prince Alex. Sweet, we got I the map. I will keep your ring out of sight for a few days. If you find anything else of great value in your travels, you can come back for your ring. I would hate to see it melted down for gold. Oh, good. Ah, and a warning about the map. It will only operate when you are out in the open and within sight of the Operates sea. Operates a piece the of paper. It's magic, something though. To do oh, so it's the GPS. Spell yes. Ingredients. You might try the beach. The beach. Thank you. <laughs> right You're near the kind. beach. What if it's and like... Boy! The what if the map's like Curse and you thought it was Google Maps, but it's really Apple Maps? That's probably... And it's going to take you off a cliff. Wait a second. Suddenly, the old man in the concealing cloak <gasps> sneaks past Alexander, oh, and with a sneaky dart of his hand, steals a mint from the candy jar. The old man stuffs the mint into his mouth and wobbles unsteadily out of the pawn shop. Oh. Thanks for narrating that. <laughs> All right. You can walk the walk, but can you talk the talk? Okay, Seconds goodbye. Seconds later, in the castle. Master! <laughs> Master! I followed Prince Alexander as you <laughs> wished from the pawn shop owner. He just abstained. I uh, just reprieved. <laughs> oh, that's right. This guy gets drunk off mint for map. some reason. Mint. Like mints. Yep. Mints. Yeah, I don't know why. Fool. I never understood You've that as a kid. you eating those mints again. I ordered you to stop that. How would you get Yes. Master. Sorry, friend. Yay, master. You, what, was, you his eyes sparkled. Yeah, because he's, he's got a gold eye. He was the, the man map. in black. Prince Alexander could travel Now he's all fucked up on the mint. Quickly, uh, quickly as I can. You can't fucking just decide I'm drunk. You, know, you can't travel. just decide. You know my, my real dad. Oh I my can't God. have him stirring things up now. Get a hold of yourself and listen carefully, Shamir. Go to the other islands and your tell bitch them. Ass together. Okay. He's going. So he's going to another island. He just got another assignment. Let's see what happens when we give him the coin. That's the only other useful thing we have. I have this copper coin. Is it of any value to you at all? Hmm, most interesting. I have never seen a Daventry coin before, but it is copper genuine enough. I might even find a buyer who is interested in foreign currency. The items on the front counter are the only things in the store that I can let go for the price of one copper. You may make your choice from there. Hmm. 
Yeah. Alexander looks at the items on the counter to make his selection. Dan, can I just point out that yes. in the left corner, you just do this, but in the in the left corner, uh -huh. it looks like a giant fucking batarang, like just broken into two. <laughs> yeah. like, what the fuck is it? It looks like, like gargantuan Batman came to the store and was like, dude, do you need a giant batarang? Do you need a giant batarang? I see you have noticed my mechanical nightingale. She is I'm made of plain nightingale. tin, but she sings the sweetest song you can imagine. Barely distinguishable from the real thing. Oh, let's take that. Is it, wait, is it a bird? Yeah, like a wind-up nightingale. Oh. That mechanical nightingale looks intriguing. I believe I'll take it. Very well. Thanks, Your Peach. coin is well spent. Remember, this is a pawn shop. I am always willing to take back my own goods in trade. I'll remember. Thank you. Foreshadowing. Yeah, right? Okay. You know what? Let's grab a mint. You're gonna get drunk, though. Alexander takes a mint. Don't eat it, though. There you go. I won't, like, no look, one else gets drunk except that- I don't know what that, that thing in the corner is. It does look like a giant batarang. A strange-looking winged device occupies one corner of the room. It is frail with disuse. Alexander finds it intriguing. Perhaps oh. he thinks it was once used in a local sporting event, in which enthusiasts jumped from cliffs, glided on air currents, and then attempted to land, frequently crunching a bone or two in the process. Crunching a boner? <laughs> That's what I thought Alexander he said too. Alexander shudders at the thought and decides to stick to dragon slaying. <laughs> All right, seems easy enough. Dragon slaying? What, when does he slay a dragon? Oh, he did it in King's Quest 3. Oh. Uh, yeah. Now he's just slaying ladies. Oh, oh damn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <No>. mm -hmm. <laughs> next time on Steve Trade. Oh, there's the girl. Wait. Not next time. Just yet. Oh, all right. Next time. We'll next, talk time. To her. next time. Next time. Ah, uh, Sierra! Woo! Yeah! I love Sierra! Dan, how much do you love Sierra? <laughs> like... Fucking... Like so much? When I ask you a question, I expect you to <laughs> fucking answer me, bitch. Hey, welcome back to Steam! Welcome back to Steam Shane. Alright, we got most of the talking out of the way now. So it's time to go do some shit. FINALLY! Yeah. Ugh! Oh wait, he just threw some shit he out. He just threw out all those special trinkets. Let's fucking rummage through his garbage. Yeah, let's touch syringes. I'm... I'm... that's probably not what he was... well... Alexander he was very mellow. Through the he was. Ends ...that the pawn shop owner dumped into the pot. Magic exploding gum wrappers. Near the bottom, Alexander finds a little glass bottle labeled ink. It appears to be empty, but Alexander decides to take it anyway. Cool. You never know when a small bottle will come in handy. Alright. Sure. We got ink. We... well, an ink bottle. Whatever. Cool. Okay, so, time to use that sacred map. He said, no, um... Is, is it called a sacred no, map? No, 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 the, the magic map. Ma magic map. Okay. Sacred would be uh, something yeah, else, or take you to something sacred. <laughs> magic maps just take you to something magic. Damn straight. But remember what he said? Oh, a bird was just landing. Oh, shit. Just like a second, like, as you were walking out of frame. Really? Should yeah, I, like a bird was coming back? in top Should right. All right, I can't, I can't. It's in, still in the loading Oh, okay. Thing. Fuck it, we'll get to the bird okay, later. Okay, you'll look at the bird later. Um... All right, now here's the map. Oh, do you think the bird heard the other robot bird? Wait, wait. Alexander pulls out his magic map. Oh fuck! Fuck! All right, one of those looks like a kind of like a weird horse stick. That's the Isle of Wonder. <laughs> <laughs> of course it is. I wonder what's there. Horse stick. All right, let's do the Isle of the Sacred Mouth. Let's start. Up that now. looks Alexander like a feels a strange tris pulling sensation. Uh, mm -hmm. It looks like a triceratops. Oh fuck! <gasps> yeah! What? It takes you there? Okay. Like a fucking Star Trek? <laughs> Beam right. me in him in. But <laughs> there appears to be no way past the cliffs. There's words in the wall. Though roughly They're hewn, up. the cliffs do not provide regular handholds for climbing, and they seem otherwise impenetrable. Nor do they provide hand jobs. <laughs> it's unfortunate. <laughs> it's, it's... Which isle is this? This is the Isle of the Sacred Mountain. See that big ass Sacred Mountain everywhere? Uh, you mean all around us? Yes, that's the one. Alexander takes the feather. Okay. Oh. And what, what about the rose? Yeah, let's grab that. Let's just pick up everything. 
Alexander picks the flower and okay. is startled by its hideously strong, skunk-like odor. For a moment, he can smell nothing else. He hmm. tucks it gently under his nutsack. <laughs> <laughs> there appears to be something etched into the face of the cliff. Alexander decides to get closer. Hmm. Chad was here. <laughs> oh, ig ignorance kills, kills wisdom, wisdom elevates. elevates. Okay. Okay. That's Fucking, interesting. That's like some stupid Facebook status or something. And yeah. It's just like super like... By like a gym tan laundry bro. Oh, yeah, but it like it really just meant his girlfriend dumped him, but he just didn't want to say that. Out his <laughs> magic map. true. I think we got everything we can do here. Yeah, jump back in your paper map. Uh, let's try... Let's try the horse dick. I want to see the horse dick. Oh. Alexander <laughs> feels a strange I bet you do. pulling sensation. Oh shit. Oh shit. Take me to the dick. Oh, oh. Whoa. little people sleeping. Oh. Well, I mean there's a little Z mark coming out of that little tent. Yeah, and there's a little pack of eyes thing. Okay. It's the Shire, Dan. We've been there. What the where the hell are we? Oh look at that Alexander worm in the standing water. on a rocky beach. To the north is dense tropical vegetation. Near the shore are a dozen or so oyster beds. Oh, oyster beds. They're oyster beds. Adorable. I thought they were like little tents for little people. What is this thing? A string of letters floats in the water. What? The letters spell out, where are you going? Alexander's heard of alphabet soup, but this is ridiculous. Yeah. This is, uh, this is like okay. some Alice in Wonderland kind of stuff. Yeah. Alexander wades into the sea to get the strange object in the water. I can reach a the boots ocean dirty. currents talk at Alexander's legs. Wait. Hmm. That object is just a bit out of reach. Dang it. Okay, let's get back on there. You know the worst thing about going in the water is? What's that? Everything's too cold until you get your Ghibli's under. Yeah, that's true. I'm one of those guys who walks around like an old grandpa. Well, yeah, once the Ghibli's are under, it's 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 much better. Well, I no, there's agree. a second phase. There's top, first phase, getting your Ghibli's under. Yep. Second phase, getting your nips under. That's once true. the nips are <laughs> All right, under, hold on, I gotta talk to the oysters. Heat up, man. That's true. Why aren't you asleep like the other oysters? Because you're fucking oh. talking. Oh. I'm so weary, but I can't sleep. I have a terrible ache in my mouth. Oh, I bet there's a pearl in there. Oh, shit. Oh. Well, I just floated by. Alexander d Fucking grab the letters. Grab, got him. <gasps> Alexander picks up the object floating in the water. It appears to be a string of letters. They say, where are you? I know Alexander? what they say. You just told me. Okay. Um... Let's try some shit on the the oyster. Where are you going? Those oysters are all asleep. That won't do anything for the little oyster. He <laughs> gave it a crown. Oh. Yeah. What um? What should I use on this oyster? Uh, okay. Well, to we'll get rid of a tummy sleep. ache, I would say. No, we need to help it sleep. Oh, sleep. Oh, the 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 music box. The music box. The nightingale. Yeah. Okay. It'll play a cute song and it'll fall asleep. That won't do anything for Come the on, life. man. <laughs> Fucking hit it over the head with a rabbit paw. Book? Oh, yeah, hit it over the head with a book. <gasps> read it a bedtime If story. you're having trouble yeah. sleeping, perhaps you'd like me to read to you. Hey, that would be great. <laughs> oh, yeah, because the book was super boring. Oh, my God, that's right. I almost fell asleep. Dulcimers raised to the degree of 40 half dulcimers. Divided into equal parts by the third of a cackle of grouse geese, Aww. put over the result of ten fine mackles, or by small. Yeah, mackles, exactly. Stretched over the total of fifty-three Ross. and an eighth bottles of wild beast blood. Sleepy lard. sleeps. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Yields a gilded minnow of precise Dude, measurements. Dude, okay, hold on a second. Two thousand six. Oh! Grab the pro oh, fuck! Indicate a fabrication or derivation. So mm. Yeah. Alexander makes a grab for the pearl. <gasps> oh shit! Yeah. Hey, you fixed my mouth. It feels great. <laughs> hey, I you stole my life savings. Ah, <laughs> yeah. uh, the little oyster drifts into peaceful slumber with the rest of his oyster friends. Alexander chucks it into the ocean. Ah, mm. oh, that is cute. All right. Let's save it, because we did a thing. Yay! Time for saves, Ross. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do it, do yeah, it, yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go for yeah, the gold. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Slap good. Slap good oyster. <laughs> That's all right. Well done. Okay. Uh, all right. We did a good deed. Yay! Let's go up here and see what's up. Alexander hears someone coming. <laughs> oh! It, oh! It's super hot. <laughs> Someone just coming, like jizzing really fucking hard. Nice. Oh look, what's this guy? I hear scars of the IOBB. Watch for a foreign man, said he. With ears and nose, tongue, hands and eyes. Its nature cannot be disguised. If mad it be, what then the mad fuck? it dies. Oh, okay. Oh, God. Old control, smell your smell. Do that which you do so well. Um. Okay, oh. so he's got a giant nose. All right, so basically they just said they're gonna fucking kill me if they figure out I'm a guy. So we gotta trick him. A guy? What do you mean? Like a man. So just teleport out. They won't be able to do shit. We need to get past them. Though. Okay, let's uh. Let's the flower. The flower stinks. Alexander holds the flower of stench out to the gnome with the jumbo nose. Tom Troll I am, that's all I'll be. My nose knows all on land and sea. Who gives a shit? A flower of stench has washed ashore. A flower tis all and nothing more. Nice. Get out Wait, of my they're face. All, they're all blind? They, no, they all have, they're all Listen, one sense. You, oh, shut up. Oh, what does he do? Oh shit, was he eyes? Uh, no, he's ears. He's got giant ears. I thought that was the guy... Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, they're all one sense each, so they're just like... So we just have to trick each one of them with a different thing. Okay, well if he's ears, wouldn't you do the the, the, the bird? Yeah, let's try the bird, because that'll make sound. Alexander winds the tin nightingale and plays it for the gnome with the monumental ears. Yeah. It's like we play some dirty rap song. Yeah. All the bitches in the house say, huh! <laughs> Oh, there he goes. Gotta get my nuts pushed. Yeah. Right. Nuts? Get your nuts pushed? Yeah, you know that song? No. Method Man? Method Man says I gotta get my nuts pushed? I think so. What is- Better yet, let up. What is it? some head. I like to work it and beat a jerk it and jerk it instead. <laughs> you don't know that? No. My ears cannot be told a lie. A nightingale is all there be. No man is near, and so say me. Okay, cool. Taste oh, this is a I don't know. I don't. Oh, oh, he's got a big mouth. Put your dick in it. Put your dick in it. No, put. It... He'll know I'm a man. Dick in it. He'll know I'm a man. The mint. Oh, he'll know you're a man. The mint. Got to put the mint on his gross fucking. Ugh. Alexander holds the mint out for the gnome with the gigantic mouth. Grump Flump knows a tasty treat. Meh. It matters not what others bleat. Wait. No danger is this one so sweet. I know that voice. It does sound familiar, doesn't it? Oh bother. Oh, uh, the hands. The big <laughs> it's got giant kitchen gloves. Wait, was that Is that Winnie the Pooh? Bleh. Oh bother. Oh, it oh, might be. Oh bother. Wait, no, it's shit. Who says that shit? What oh rap rabbit's foot? Rabbit's foot? What's that guy's his hands? You think? Mmm Yeah. Oh, feather, maybe? Ugh, I'm, I'm nervous. Oh. We saved already, so I mean, we know the combo. Let's save again. Okay, okay, all I'm right. I'm scared, I'm scared. Because that could that could definitely be either one. Bit, bit, b bog. Bog hammed. Bog hammed. <laughs> f f bog hammed for... For Junior King, Jerkin, <laughs> Bug hands for Jerkin. Great job, Ross. So, <laughs> some of your best work. Alexander holds the rabbit foot out for the gnome oh, with the it's huge not hands. The right one. I don't know. I think the feather will. Nervous. Be all you mad? What aileth thee? A bunny can't trill merrily. Oh, good. A hare does not at all taste sweet. A rabbit here is all we greet. 
Awesome. Oh, it's this guy's deal. Who's the only one left? Vision can resolve this matter. Look you now and Oh, he's getting the eyes. Oh, this I fucking remember. What? Okay, th this is like the one thing I remember from this what game. What do you do? Ink? Uh, the ink, but the, it's... Remember how it's... Here. What? Alexander's carrying a little ink bottle. It appears to be empty. The, this took me fucking weeks to figure out as a really? kid. Really? Yeah. It's not an empty ink bottle. It's a bottle full of invisible ink. Oh! So, yeah. So you put that shit on yourself. Alexander pours the contents of the empty looking ink bottle over himself. Yeah. By all that's beauteous, fair, and sightly, four morons do I sleep with nightly. There's nothing there at all, I say. Me too, Enough brother. of this. Let's now away. God, that voice is so familiar. All these right. voices are super familiar. Yeah. They probably got, like, Disney people to do this. Or not. I don't know. Yeah, I bet, like, one of them sounded like Winnie the Pooh or something. I can't remember. Alexander did it. He's fooled the guards. Nice! Okay, cool. We're good to go. Wow, they were really relentless. They, 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 they were kind of useless. They were bitches. Let's uh, let's go. Oh, oh shit! Oh, you know what? Let's deal with this next time on Steam Train. This next time on Steam Train. Next time on Steam Train. Okay, okay, okay. Hey! Oh, okay. Back to Bumblebee's b books. There's a lot of shit happening. Reading Rainbow. I can fly twice as high. Okay, okay. Bumblebee in the sky. Let's see what's up. Let's take a look. Whoa! Whoa! Hey! Hands hey. off the goods there, son! Oh, it's a bookworm. Oh, sorry. Worms don't have arms. Alright, I should. Are we gonna. Hello? Is it. No, there's no one here. Give him the page. No, he- there's no time to even give him anything. Oh. Here, let's- Talk to the spider? Yeah, let's talk to the spider. Mm, wow. Hiya, gorgeous. Oh, damn. Oh, what damn. a luscious-looking hunk of flesh you are. Uh, thank you. I guess. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Get out of my How charming of you to pretend not to know. I'm Black Widow, of course. Oh, the she'll kill us. The tell of all them fatales. Dude. Know what I mean? If I found a spider that could talk like that, well, I would just keep know, it around and make it talk to my I friends on the phone. Yeah, say it to my girlfriend. I keep it in a jar, though. Uh, mm -hmm. Another husband. It would be quite a horror. Uh, I mean, an honor to have me as a bride. Uh. Mm -hmm. Just mm. look at my beautiful weaving. It's so light. So delicate. Except for this fucked You'll up never part want here. To leave my little yeah, nest. a little shoddy workmanship there. Hmm. It is a lovely web, but my heart is elsewhere. I'm afraid. Also, you're a disgusting oh, spider. Uh, <laughs> also, mean, my dick couldn't even fit inside you. It would like break you apart. That'd you're be disgusting. Sure change your mind once you consider the advantages. Of what? Yeah, slapping a, a spider. Fucking a spider. Slapping a spider with your dick that's six times, maybe one, two times the size of the spider. You know what? Let's get back to the details of that. That's <laughs> the details. Into my web from those Am I right, buddy? The wind just this guy right here. <laughs> this guy right here. <laughs> okay. A thread is hanging from the otherwise tightly woven web. Oh. Oh yeah, pull that shit and she'll fall. It'll fall apart. Let's see what happens. Hey, don't touch that thread! Damn! Grab it. Alexander snatches the scrap of parchment. Yeah! Curious to see what's written on it. Oh, she got fucking fooled. Aww. Love. There's love. Love! <laughs> the wind blows the scrap of paper from Alexander's hand. Oh, for fuck's but sake. But he remembers what it said well Good. enough. Good job, Butterfingers. Yeah, well, <laughs> I remember what it said, too. It was one uh, fucking word. Dove! All right. Let's get out of here. We've been... We've done everything we're You gonna never do. told me why there's bumblebees. Uh, I don't know. Let me, let me look at them. The tail end of this island is a riotous scramble of books, sand, and a spider's web. It didn't say anything about the bees. This island is a riotous. I. It's not saying anything. 
The tail end of this. The tail end. The er, tail end. Damn. I, I can't. Yeah, see. I guess it's just bumblebees here. There has to be a reason. Little bees buzz around the books as though the pages were laden with the sweetest pollen. Maybe they're spelling bees. Oh, uh, you're pulling my leg. <laughs> <laughs> spelling bees. Adorable. All right. Onward we go. Let's see what's up here. Fucking weird ass gnome people. Oh shit. This looks important. Oh my god, monster from the, the Black Lagoon or whatever. Gonna come out. Dude, do you see the fucking faces around here? What? Oh god, yeah! There's like a dog, yeah. a pug over there. There's a happy log yeah, right there. Yeah, creepy thing in the log. Let's, um... Oh my god, it's like Game of Thrones. It is. Hold on, let me see. A large tree stretches knotted limbs out over the swamp. Part of the tree's trunk is shaped like the face of a dog. Why, it must be a dogwood tree. Oh, okay. Come on, man. I guess. I wonder if its bark is worse than its bite. I bet they'll fucking say that, oh, too. Oh, come on. Oh, Alexander sweet. takes a bottle of milk from the milkweed bush. Are you serious? Nice. Whoa. 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 <laughs> Apparently, the dogwood tree doesn't like Alexander standing that close. What's it gonna do? Eat him? Yeah, it's right? A fucking tree. Let's get the... You do photosynthesis and all that shit. You don't need people. Let's get the fuck out of here. Ooh. Oh, it's a pizza castle. This place is crazy looking. Whoa, what are those fucking blobs in the ground? I don't know. This, this one looks fucked up. Oh my god, that one's all dirty and gross. <laughs> They're all like, yay! And it was like, oh, Alexander <laughs> takes a close look at the tomato in the ground. It appears to be darker than those on the vines. Oh, so it's not allowed to be on the vines because it's darker? Out there, boy? Oh, God. Go away, you rootless thing, you! Yeah. Yep. That tomato is definitely rotten. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh. rotten tomato? Well, what why if I we... punch him in the face? Hey! Oh. What do you think you're doing there? Get your hands off me! Hey! Never mind. Let's Alexander keep him. Alexander picks up rotten tomato and puts him away. Yay, one never we have knows a friend. when one will need a rotten tomato. Alright. Got him. Let's see what's over here. Alexander picks a head of iceberg lettuce. Oh. Okay. Iceberg lettuce? I didn't mean to, but... Ye gads! Is that cold? Oh, because it's iceberg okay, lettuce. Okay, okay, okay. I get it! Okay. Doi! Um... Try to pick up other things. Okay. Alexander approaches the snapdragons. Oh, don't. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, shit. Whoa! Goddamn. Unfriendly snapdragons. It looks like it's don't a bit want Alexander dick. anywhere near them. Oh, dude. Where he's standing? It totally looked like a giant red boner. Yeah, it did. It did. What is this thing? There appears to be a hole in the garden wall. Through the hole in the oh, wall, oh, Alexander sees a land that resembles a giant chessboard. Wow, it really is a hole in the wall. What the hell is going on here? Sounds. Those wallflowers sure are shy. Aww. And the snapdragons are awfully protective of them. Alexander can't even get close to the wallflowers without causing quite a stir. Okay. Okay. What if I take the hole in the wall? I love yeah. how the, the snapdragons have a stir of Alexander two frames of animation. to pick up the <laughs> hole in the wall. A hole in the wall could be a very useful thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Especially if it's a glory hole in the wall. Right? Nothing like a, that chair can prop you up a bit. Oh, oh, whoa! Alexander startled the poor thing. It's run off to hide behind the wallflowers. Damn it. What the fuck? All right. This is a clusterfuck of shit I can't do anything about. Are you serious? Well, yeah. Like, I can't get there without the wallflowers, and I can't get near the wallflowers without the snapdragons. And you can't get to the door? Oh. Come on, man. You didn't think I'd check so, the door? I'm sorry, sorry. Triumphant! <laughs> Excuse me. What land lies beyond? What land? Chessboard land, you knave. <laughs> no. I see. And is chessboard land part of the land of the Green Isles? 
You must take it LSD. The home of the red and white queens, <laughs> rulers of the Isle of Wonder. No sober people pass this point. <laughs> no loyalty to the king of the land of the Green Isles. But perhaps not for long. What do you mean? What is the purpose of unity with the great king and queen dead? Oh, the princess no, no. is worth serving, but the feud with the other isles is strong. Okay. Thank you, random so all the, voices. Uh, oh, wait. Hello. They're pawns. No, they're queens. Oh, they're king and queens. Or both queens. They're both queens. I must insist, your highness. I shall send the lump of coal to the wizier and the princess <laughs> as a present for their wedding, and that's the end of it. And I suppose you'll leave me with only this stupid spoiled egg to send Whatever, your bitch! <laughs> I want to impress the new king and queen of the realm as much as you do. As queen of this island, I have every right to that lump of coal. Oh, yeah. Who isn't they're, queen they're of this island? The yes, egg. they are. That doesn't... It... That's all we need to know. Excuse me, my good man, but could you settle an argument for us? No. Which of us should get to carry the coal and which the egg? Remember, white is the color of deserving truth oh, crap. and virtue. Look, I gotta get this off Quiet, my chest. Your Highness, You're both and let bitches. Him make yeah. up his own mind. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get this I off my chest. It should be more proper and not even mention the fact that red is the color of love. I'm sorry, your majesties. Hey! I'm partial to both red and <laughs> What are you gonna white, do? But I'm afraid that I don't know how to solve your problem. One of you will just have to be gracious and allow the other the lump of coal. Yeah. What a ridiculously stupid idea. Oh. Quite ludicrous. He was a lot of help, wasn't he? Oh, yes. Obviously a man of high intelligence. God damn, these broads suck. Well, at least they can agree oh. that they hate you. Wait. Also, she The lump of coal goes much better with my gown anyway. Black and red are imperial colors. That is a good color combo. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's the silliest thing I ever heard. Oh, God. Shut up. Oh, my God. Go away. Please. Enough. Yeah. Picking up that thing. Alexander picks up the Red Queen scarf. Finally, something to wipe your butt with. <laughs> Finally. So much. So much in this game for the butt oh, wiping. Oh, god damn. Let's get out of here. Okay. Um. God damn it, hole in the wall. What are these things? Unless Alexander is mistaken, those plants must be baby's tears. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> really? Yeah, dude, I mean, that's what, that's what these games are. They're a little heavy on the puns. A little mm. heavy on the puns. I'm trying to keep up. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh god, what was that noise? I don't know. Crickets, I guess, or something? There's some pretty low... Yeah. Like... Low crickety goodness. Yeah. It did not sound like crickets. It sounded like a... I don't know, like a faulty television signal or something. Yeah. What, what, what? So you got iceberg lettuce, a really mean tomato... Yeah. And the queen's the, the queen's scarf. We're just collecting shit. Oh, and some milk bottle from a uh, milk bottle. Did from we actually get any? Look, I thought the dog barked at us. We actually got it. Oh, we got it. Yeah. No, he he got pissed, but fuck him, man. Yeah, fuck the dog. What's yeah. he gonna do? He's a tree. He ain't gonna He's do a tree. shit. Yeah. He's a tree. You're stuck there. You're sedentary. You get you got roots. You, you're rooted. You're rooted. You're already rooted. You might as well have a family. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, we're going to the next island next time on Steam Train. Next time on Steam Train, you should go have a family. Yeah. Alexander pulls out his Woo! magic map. Oh, yeah. So we can go look for his magic maps. <laughs> mm. Rust, hey! Tell me something. What's that then? You ready to go to the Isle of I'm the Beast? I'm ready to go! Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. Good! Pulling sensation, I feel that every night. Yeah. Oh, damn. <laughs> I pulled a muscle. Mm -hmm. Not the muscle I'm usually pulling. Mm -hmm. Hey! Hello, dear. <laughs> Let me guess. Uh... A deer pun. A yeah. little fawn is feeding on a grassy uh -huh. hillock near the sea. Just a little fawn. Just having a little fawn. <laughs> yeah, there yeah, it is! Hey! Alexander resists the temptation to pet the fawn, thinking he might frighten it. Alexander resists the temptation to slap the fawn. He was very fond of the fawn. Aw. Yes. Ooh. It looks like... 
It, it sounds it, like a bong. It looks like danger is what it looks like, which means it's time for you to do your thing. Oh, shit! Yeah, can you beat bog hams for jerkin? Okay. I believe you can. I believe you can. Okay. Pum puns for moms. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Ross. Well done. Um... Let's go in here. See what happens. Uh, Alexander decides to brave the boiling pond. Bad idea. Oh, that was a terrible idea. Uh, yeah, oh, uh, yes. Oh, shit, it turns you into and soon fucking lemonade. sympathy <laughs> for soup vegetables as he learns the true meaning of being in a stew. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Tickets. Up. Tickets. Up. <laughs> I love it. Next. They look like, like, 80s cartoon villains. They do. Yeah! Mm, Skeletor! <laughs> okay. We restore. Ross? Yeah. Okay, we need to cross this... What do we got? Oh, uh, you need to cross the lake, so I think you should use a boat. Do you have a boat? <sighs> no, Ross, but... Throw in the milk. The milk? Not the fucking iceberg oh, lettuce. Oh, the iceberg <laughs> lettuce, of course! Okay. We'll freeze it. Durr. Durr, Ross. Hoping to cool down the boiling pond, Alexander throws in a head of iceberg lettuce. Yeah. The pond's water fucking did slowly it. stops boiling, Thank cooled you. by the ice. It still looks hot, but bearable. Okay. Nice. Well, you might as well just chill there for a while. There's you also know, a, like a genie lamp in the an tree. An old abandoned hunter's lamp is hanging on one of the trees. <laughs> yep. Alexander Remember? wonders yeah. who might have That's hunted cool. in these dense woods. <laughs> okay, let's grab that lamp now. Alexander decides to brave the steaming pond. Ooh, ah! <laughs> oh, that was a brilliant Ow. dance. Ooh, 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 ouch! I kind of want to see that played back, Barry. Could you rewind that and then play dance music with him going back and forth? <laughs> Thank you, Barry. Alexander takes the old hunter's lamp from the tree. Okay, cool. We got a lamp. Let's keep going. As Alexander continues down the path, he gets the strange feeling that he's being watched. By Come who? on over here and see what I'm doing with these flowers. Never mind that stone fella on top of the gate. He won't hurt you any. He's just there to scare you. Okay. Oh, I don't trust him. Oh, the yeah, arrows. the glint right in the eye. Oh, 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 that's not good. Fuck that shit. Oh, I don't like that. I don't enough. trust that shit at all. Okay. Okay. Let me see what's up with this thing. A stone archer sits atop the lintel of the gate like a silent guardian. His stone bow is tightly drawn and fitted with a single stone arrow. Oh yeah, he's gonna kill our asses. The path through the woods runs. A man tends to a small garden plot on when the other side save? of the wall. When did you last save? Uh, a minute ago, before the boiling pond. Do you want to save again? A brick lies in the grass. It must have come from the old brick wall. Yes. All right, let's grab that brick because that's not past the archer. Mm-hmm. Don't look at me like that, Come man. On through, I say. I can show you. Shut the fuck the up. I don't trust anyone in this game. I know. Come in the water. Cross past the weapon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got the brick. All right, let's save it again and then see what's up. Okay, puns for moms. What is? <sighs> Russ. <laughs> Looking back at all these things, it looks like the ramblings of a lunatic. Stones can't move. Okay, great. Thank you. Hey. Right. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, it's very unsettling when it like follows you around. Oh, I hate that shit. Ugh. It's like one of those weird ass paintings that looks at you when you're like fucking. Oh fuck! Why'd you? Do... He's jo What are you doing? <laughs> Got gotcha you this time. What? Did... Gotcha yeah. this time? Like, there's gonna be a next time? Dickens. Up. Dickens. Up. Next. Next. That uh. move was slightly erroneous. Oh, for oh, fuck's sake. Jesus really? Christmas. All right. Stones can't move. All right. All right, so fuck this. We're, we're not meant to be here yet. Like we know, Archer. Jeez. You aren't gonna listen to me, are you? Well, we'll just see about that.
What the fuck? That's odd. The gardener just disappeared. Maybe he dove beneath the waves. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking asshole. Maybe he wasn't that genie that's oh, been trying I, to kill us. Uh, yeah, exactly. With the glinty eyes and such. Who gets drunk off mints? That is weird. Oh, a plant moving in the wind. That is strange because they don't normally animate that. Wait. Did something jump in here? Alexander can't see any way to hold. Hmm. If the tree stump is hiding anything, it's only local fauna. Okay. The denseness of the forest makes it inadvisable to stray from the path. Okay. Mm. All right. Okay. 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 Oh, look, it's a bunny! I know, he's adorable. I love bunnies. But I don't know what to do here. Do you know I once owned a bunny? Did you? His name was Thumper. It was a black bunny. It was a girl. Oh, and one boy, day, Thumper bunny. got out of her cage. And then she became feral, and she lived in her backyard for an entire year. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. And then we ended up catching her, eventually, after she dug a bunch of holes. And then we gave her to the lady across the street, but she was so feral that it, it was attacking and biting her cats. What a strange tale. Yeah. It would, like, pounce out of the bushes and, like, maul at her cats. <laughs> it was amazing. Good times. Yeah. Let's go back to the Horse Isle dick! Of no! Oh, oh, yes, actually. Isle of Wonder. A strange pulling I wonder how much I can take. <laughs> Whee! Wait, pause. Yep. Hey. Okay. So. Uh, we just realized we missed something, so we did a little thing and we went back. And now this little guy's here. Yeah, we had to go back to town, get a book, and then come back here. Talk about it, blah, blah, uh, blah. Blah, blah, blah. It, it, yeah, it yeah, doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah. It wasn't interesting. Here we go. Here's a guy. There's an odd little creature dangling from that tree branch. Awesome. He's cute. I like him. And he's a cute voice. Say, Hello, friend. Aren't you an odd looking little fellow? I'm not Whoa! Ah, oh. you are. Jesus. Oh, I'm sorry. I. I didn't realize you could speak. Sorry, terrifying Muppet creature. Speak not. Funny is, speech I am and nothing but. Wow, what a Yoda ripoff. I know, I was about to say that. It sounds Damn. like Yoda. Uh, what is this thing? There's an odd little... Oh. You speak strangely, friend. Strange? My speech is not... Ripoff of Yoda I am. <laughs> but who are you? And why are you here? Away I fly my home from. Lost I am, therefore. Uh, As my name, too? Can you guess not? It's what I do this branch with, and the way I speak of. Alright. Alright. Let's just try giving him shit. Yeah, sure. Just give him, like, a fucking feather. Feather? Give him a cube of salt, whatever that is. What is, what is that, that box thing? I don't know. Would you be interested in this? That I like not. Take it away, do! Damn. What? Give him the pearl. He might probably like shinies, like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Let's try it. Would you be interested in this? That I like not! Take it away, do! What? All right. Come on, man. Alright, well, try... You know what? Like, we... Mm... <sighs> the tomato. He might like tomatoes. Piss off tomatoes because he's also mean. <laughs> I like friend. that little tomato icon. Yeah. <laughs> Would you be interested in this? That I like not. Take it away, do. All right. You know what? Usually, okay. the thing that has, like, the most interesting thing about a character in a Sierra game mm -hmm. is usually what they're all about. So the fact that he speaks weirdly makes me think it has something to do with words. So maybe, maybe the love either. poem. Maybe the left yeah, home? maybe. Would you be interested in this? That I like not take- No, alright, alright. Well, uh, 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 play. Okay, sorry. Let's try the fucking wordy thing. Yeah. Alexander holds the sentence out to the creature. This sentence seems in need of an ending. Perhaps you could finish it? Like an idiot? Where are you going? Where are you going? No, and I do! Where are you going to? Like you, I do! Go I with you! What, what the, the fuck? fuck? What? Well, that was certainly interesting. 
It looks like Alexander now has a passenger. Oh, oh, it's fitting because the steam train. Oh, oh, yeah. Whatever. We just put a weird lizard in our shirt. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Let me, let me. Before we go, let me see what this thing is. One end of the creature resembles a miniature dragon, while the other looks like a possum. Okay, that's what, what I thought. Strange-looking fellow. All right. One little day, a dragon made a made a possum and had a little stir. No three bad bunny, no some frog. Blah, 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 little possum dragon. All right, next time on Steam Train. <laughs> okay, next time on the Steam Train. Bye. Danny will learn about where possum dragons come from. That's not going to happen. Looking forward to it. Boy, that is fucking random. Mm. You can't complete the game unless you randomly ask the bookstore owner about one book on that screen. Mmm. Sierra. Welcome back to Steam Train. Uh, Alexander pulls out his magic. Map. We are going back to the Isle of Wonder because I uh, realized what we have to do. Alexander feels even though it's really fucking esoteric. Yeah. So Such the, as most games like this. Yeah. So the bookworm was looking for uh, a dangling participle. <laughs> I got your dangling parcel right and, and, here. You know, put first of all, pull up your pants and sit back down, please. Sorry, I had wedgers. So that creature, mm -hmm. did you notice what he was doing? No. He, he was hanging. He was dangling. Oh. And he was speaking strangely because he was dangling all his fucking participles. Hello, bookworm. I have something you might be interested in. Well, what is it this time? Uh. I found this little fellow lost on another island. Coming home, I am too. There you are, you naughty boy. No, I told not you not boy. to leave the island. Glad I am seeing you too. A most what? <laughs> what? 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 Um, celebration. What are you doing? God, it looks like a fucking weird ass Furby. <laughs> yeah. God, this is weird. So, you found my dangling participle. <laughs> I suppose I'll have to give you something. <laughs> is oh, let's see now. It Was it a rare book you wanted? Yeah, give me the rare book. Yeah, yes, give me the rare book. Well, then none of these will do. They've been sitting in the sun far too long and must be well cooked by now. Oh, Jesus Christ. Just give me a rare book, please. This one is far more rare. A delicious little tidbit. Mm. Thank you. Uh, thanks. Okay, right. uh, guess we gotta read it. Let's read that. Read that book, yo. Alexander is carrying a rare book from the bookworm. I know. Thank you. I guess we'll read it like this. Oh, it's got a giant R for rare. <laughs> Alexander opens the rare book and looks inside. Boring, boring. <laughs> the book contains riddles and has a page missing. Missing the thing Alexander we took. glances at a few of the conundrums, but finds himself more curious about the one that is missing. It's the same what border. What was the riddle, he wonders. Yeah. More importantly, what was the answer? Love. The answer is love. Yeah. Do we get that page scrap back or do we need to remember? And has a page missing. Alexander glances at a few of the conundrums, but what was the riddle? Oh, okay. Alright, so the answer is love. We gotta remember that for later. Dan. Yeah? The answer is always love. I know it is, Ross. You know what I have for you? Mm-hmm. The answer is love. <laughs> yes! <laughs> okay. So, now we've done all the shit we can do here. So let's go back to the Isle of the Crown, and uh, and Alexander trade in some of the stuff map. that we've done for the next part of the quest. Yes, 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 yes. Alexander feels a strange <laughs> pulling sensation. Oh, I feel that every night. God, Ross, you said that already. I know, but I'm just letting people know again so I don't forget. Yeah, but it's important that you understand how much I jerk off. <laughs> yeah, it's so important. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, oh, now we can do the thing with the nightingale. Right! Is it still there? Yeah, there it is. Okay. 
I'm sure that's what the nightingale's for. Gotta it's be. Like, it's like fucking almost obvious thing in the world. Boop. Yeah, we did it. What if it just started like brutally having sex with our robot? The nightingale <laughs> and places it on the ground. Like he just chucks it at it and knocks it out of the tree. <laughs> yeah. The mechanical nightingale sings a sweet tinny tune. The real nightingale in the tree cocks her head and listens intently. The nightingale flies to a lower branch and looks at Alexander curiously, as if she were deciding that this human might not be so bad. Oh, she's into you. Interesting. Okay. As it comes closer, we break her neck. Wait. Touch. Although the Dinner. nightingale seems interested in Alexander, she would never allow him close enough to grab her. I want to grab it. Use the red ribbon. Wait. Hello, little nightingale. Of what do you sing? The nightingale only looks at Alexander curiously and continues to sing. Hey, yo, <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> you know what? I think we befriended it, so that's enough for now. We'll we'll come back to that yeah, later. Yeah, should probably come. It's probably important and like super like vital and yeah. probably would end the game if we didn't do we, it. We definitely did something right. Like that fucking rat thing or whatever. Do you remember that in the last one? Uh, the rat thing? Where you had to save the rat from the cat. Oh, yeah, yeah. And if you fuck that up, you're like screwed. Oh, wait, this fucker's back. I am sorry, sir, but I have no more mints. Somebody has <laughs> eaten them all. Well, get some more then. I fear that is impossible. Without the fairy, I can no longer get imports from the other islands. And we do not grow mint extract on the Isle of the Crown. Oh, I hate not getting what I want. All right. Okay. Dude, shut the fuck. I mean, what an asshole, right, man? <laughs> All right, let's let's do some trading. How fare you, good merchant? I cannot complain. I hope. Ah, uh, fuck it. Okay. The pawn shop is already filled with curious things. Oh. Would you mind if I traded this in? What it's shitty it? and I hate it. Alex, please choose something in exchange for the items on the counter. Okay. Well, we use the Alexander nightingale for looks closely at what the we're items supposed to already. Counter to make his selection. Yeah. So now we'll just trade that in for the next thing, which is the flute. Oh. I'll take the flute. Which we'll need for the stuff. Flute. Like a snake or something. Who knows? May its music always be sweet. Feel free to trade it back at any time. Thanks, Shitstain. Thank you. All right, let's see. What else did we get that's valuable? Um, well, the ribbon. The, the lamp is for the guy. The lamp's for the guy. Stinky the pearl. Pearl. Oh, pearl would be good. Yeah, let's try. Pearls always have value. I like. I like the little circledness. Mmm. Mmm. No. Mmm. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Sorry. I found this large pearl. Might it be valuable enough to ransom back my family ring? He That's a weird way to whistle. Yeah, with your mouth open. Ah! <laughs> if you hit you whistle with your mouth open, you just hiss like a cat. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you didn't sell it. I'm a bit attached to it, I'm afraid. Of course you are. You would be cold-hearted if you felt any differently. I am happy to see a family heirloom back with its rightful owner. I warn you, however, it has been on my cock. <laughs> he like pulls it off. Like a yeah, you go. Yeah. Put it back on your finger. Yeah, like a give lot. It's now, been on my dick like all the time. Now give it a kiss. Kiss, kiss it hard. <laughs> all, right, it. all right, get away, get away, Russ. Now You're freaking me out. Ah, stop, stop, stop! Too close. There has to be the invisible wall. Hello. There ain't no walls between us, Danny. Hmm. Sorry, I was super no. busy well, with, with, all these, pants. with all these customers. <laughs> I bet I gotta give him the rare book. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's a goddamn bookstore owner. I found this rare book, <sighs> and I thought of your offer. Very interesting. It is a wonderful riddle book. Riddles are much more marketable than spells these days. I guess people believe more in mirth than in magic. Okay, cool. Give us your Here fez. Is the spell book you wanted. Oh, sweet. And a fair trade it is, I must Dude, he gave say. us a spell book. Oh, Enjoy. fuck. We're fucking wizards. And Harry pot up so. this shit hardcore, bro. See how rusty Absolutely. My spell casting truly is. Nice. Okay. Um. 
Is this the spell book? Fucking... Dude. Yes? We've got a fucking spell book. I know, I'm excited. 420 Mage It. This is hold, gonna be awesome. Hold on. Magic Paint Spell. Ooh, cast. Let's, let's, uh, let's, uh... Ooh, make Rain Spell. What? Awesome. So are you saying that if we find these things, we can make yeah, that yeah, shit? Yeah, yeah, we're wizards now, bro. Fuck. Charming a creature of the night spell? That's what I do at the club. This nice. is the last page. Okay. <laughs> okay, this so we got three spells. This is the first page. Cool. We can worry about this later. Awesome. That's cool. very good. So now we have a little bit of direction and goal. Yes, we do. We certainly do. Um. Okay. Let's see here. Now that I got my ring back, I definitely have to do something with it. Because I didn't ask for the ring, it, he just gave it back to me. So like, there's gotta be some shit. I'm gonna try something. Oh, shit. Alexander shows the object to the bird, hoping to interest her. The little bird does not appear to be interested in that. Oh, shit. Okay, well, now we know that that's a thing you do. Okay, so, oh, so she's looking... Wait, what if she wants the, uh... Hmm, scarf? I doubt it. What the fuck would a bird want? It's gotta be something small. Alexander shows the object to the bird, hoping to interest her. The little bird just ruffles her feathers at the sight of that large, brightly colored scarf. Nope. Okay. Well, uh, maybe we don't have anything. I don't think she's gonna want the grumpy fucking tomato. No. What about the flute? Could you play a song for her? Oh. Because every time she... she likes music. Alexander plays his flute. The nightingale just looks at him curiously. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. What if it's the ring? Because it's got to be something small. Alexander yes! Alexander holds out his insignia what? ring to the nightingale, hoping ring. she perhaps is the nightingale that Jallo spoke of, oh, shit. and that she might be able to take the ring to Cosima. Oh! The one thing he has that might alert Cosima to his presence on the Isles. Shit, but the guy turned into the snake! Oh fuck, you're right. And grabs the ring. Bye, fuck. bird! Flies off towards the castle. Perhaps to Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Sing Sing! What have you got in your mouth, my pretty? A gold ring? Dude! Sing Sing! Where did you get this? We finally- Realm of Daventry. But this is Alexander's ring! Shit. Oh my soul! He must be here! Yes! Yes! Sing Sing! I wish you could tell me what you've seen! Oh, is Sing Sing is the really name of the bird. Here? Oh, oh right. On this very island? I thought she just like, oh, had a weird twitch. Yeah. Only I sing, could leave this sing, castle sing. as easily as you. <laughs> Take this ribbon, Sing Sing. If you know where he is, return it to him. Please be careful, Alexander. It is so dangerous, and yet I could not wish you away. Damn. What is that? She she basically was saying she's got blowjobs waiting for us. What's she giving him? Oh, His that's her, awesome. Is that her panties? No. Ross. The little bird makes a delivery. It's her panties. <laughs> Dude, that's a really pretty. That's a really sweet scene. Stanky panties. <laughs> Shut up. Stanky panties. It's a red velvet hair ribbon. <laughs> I recognize that muff smell anywhere. What is wrong with you? Herself? Or am I merely wishing it were so? Oh. Uh, where's your sense of romance, Ross? Hmm? The lady's hair ribbon is made of the Oh, hair ring. ring. Yeah. Not hair ring, hair ribbon. Oh, whatever. Okay. Alright. We'll continue our quest for love next time on Steam Train. For smelly, smelly love. That's... Mmm, damn it. Hey, Dan! Do you- yeah. No. No! Alright. Hey. Okay!
We are in the process of communicating with our girl, our sweet girl. Through a bird. Through a bird. So, let's inspect this thing a little bit more. Alexander examines the red ribbon and finds a strand of long black hair. Oh, oh she shit. sent one of her pubes. Oh, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Wait, um. Floss your teeth with that. <laughs> it's so gross. Um, oh, we've got a love poem. <gasps> yes, and that shit back. Give it to her. Alexander holds out oh, the love shit. poem, hoping that the bird will deliver it to the same place she took the ring, in know? the chance that the receiver might truly be Cosima. Nice. Oh, this is so fucking romantic. This is really sweet. He swoops down, grabs the love poem, and takes it towards the castle. <laughs> yes, another cutscene. Sing, sing, my sweet. You bring another present. Let me see. I promise I it won't poem, move the top of my sing. face. <laughs> what was it when I looked at you? What power has chained me through and through and binds my heart with links so tight I cannot live without the sight of you? Mm -hmm. oh, I am Alexander. so hot, wet, sweet, and tight. I was hoping he'd return <laughs> Come give to me you. a little Take bite. This to him <laughs> Hurry, my fleet one. She gave me something back. It's a note that said, Y'all was my number. This is how people used to email. Through birds? Yeah. Is that what you did with that before the AOL? That's correct. A little bird makes a delivery. Oh, this was the time. What of kind AOL. of bird? What kind of bird did you use? Dude, pterodactyl? Because it's so old. <laughs> oh, ah! I'm don't sorry. hit me. I'm sorry. I'm trying to control a mouse here. It's a note. Dearest Alexander, I cannot believe you are here, my friend. Nice. Please, please Ooh, be careful. Friend. Abdul Don't isn't like about word. to let anyone interfere with his plans. Watch out for Abdul's genie, Alexander, and do not do anything rash. Wait, I am Abdul's not without genie. resources, and I will prevail if I can only find some small means of defense. Do nothing to try to get to me. You must not be endangered again for my sake. Oh, fuck that Greatly shit. Greatly in your family's debt, Cosima. Okay. So Alexander's hand trembles as he reads the note. For the first time in his long search, he has heard her voice again. <laughs> if only in writing. Stop. Alexander's no hand love, trembles. Only <laughs> friend. Is the maiden merely shy, oh, or sorry. does she regard him only as a brother? I can solve all this this quest's problems. Yeah. One, we what? get a gun. Two, we get bullets. Three, we give the guns and bullets to the bird. <laughs> she takes the gun to the girl. She has a gun. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Shit. What? The game just closed. Oh, no. Well. Oh, no. Let's just... Shit. Whoa, okay. Oh, okay. Whoa, uh, whoa, okay. Yeah, all right, okay, so the game just crashed on us. So we had to get all the way back so here. We had to get all the way and back. And we're back. Here. And we're, now we're back. Uh, you know what, Ross? We better save it just Yeah, let's be, just in case. We, we don't have to do that here. again. Oh. Yeah. Here you go. It's your time to shine. Okay. Com Come to C compu computer computers are aren't car cars. Don't. Crash. <laughs> okay. Well done, Ross. Solid, uh, solid statement for all computers everywhere to. Solid no. state. Drive, cars, good pun. <laughs> okay. All right. We got to go back to the Isle of Wonder. That's what we got to do. So let's, uh, let's yeah, take this little map party. Oh, yeah. Oh, there ain't no party like a horse stick map party. We yeah. Alexander feels got to go back to that horse stick. Okay. Now now we have a bunch of new items and I believe things yeah. will have changed. Yeah. 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 Well, you think it's James Dan? I don't know. Oh. Look it's a dog tree. But we didn't do a whole hell of a lot here, so got to got to be something else. Oh, it's that hole. The hole. Yeah, the hole in the, the glory wall. hall that runs around. That glinty thing on the chair was that there before? No, I don't think so. An elegant padded chair provides a cushy seat from which to enjoy the lively garden. 
Let's go over and have a look. A delicate china teacup. <gasps> oh. Someone's been drinking. Oh, let's grab their cup. We're gonna take that shit. Don't snap at me, dragons. Alexander takes the teacup. We did it. All right. Let's... Hmm. Let's see if we can get that thing yet. God damn it. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Wallflowers overcome with shyness. <laughs> I'm freaking out! <laughs> what do they, what do you call those things that they're like... Alexander can't get it. Oh, the little castanets? Yeah, like, something like yeah. a little castanet. Um, maybe... Alright, what have we got new? Uh, maybe they would like the smell? The smell? Oh, yeah, maybe they'd like more flowers. Alexander doesn't need to do anything to the garden wall. Oh, they... Mm. Would you ladies be at all interested in this? The wallflowers shyly decline. Okay, what about the, the piranha plant? Wait, Please. we can talk to them? Oh. Greetings, ladies. Oh. How charming you look today. <laughs> oh, the wallflowers so are too shy to talk to Alexander. Aw. Oh, they're adorable. How about we tickle them? With a feather? Mm-hmm. Tickle your ass with a feather? Mm -hmm. Would you ladies be at all interested in no. this? No. No. The wallflowers... Never a good sign. Um, and they repeat the same dialogue. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I doubt the flute, but let's give it a try. May I have this Got dance? It. What? Oh May, I, May I have this dance? Are you serious? Yep. Yeah. What? Oh, they are like, like yeah. fucking casting it. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Man, I guess <laughs> a little too right. Ah, yeah. Do you notice the hole in the wall move too? Yeah. Maybe we can grab him now. This is a party now. Yeah. Oh shit! I'm gonna put the crown on the tomato. Yeah. yeah. Look how happy I'm he is. I'm the king. Alexander stops <laughs> playing the flute. I'm but the, the wallflowers king. and snapdragons continue to dance. Yes. Caught up in the music and oblivious to everything around them. Nice. Nice. Grab it. Grab, grab to grab it. Oh, gotcha, you can't bitch. get away now. Alexander snatches the hole in the wall. Awesome. Oh, we got the hole in the wall. Now we awesome. Can, now we have a portable glory hall. We can bring it anywhere. Oh, dude. Think about it. Oh, I remember now. What? Do you remember where there was a wall? Yeah, the blank wall inside yes, the castle. Yes, exactly. We can just stick our wiener in there and she can, no, she that's can not, suck. It's not what, what we're no? it's not what we're trying okay. to do. Okay. Wait. All right, there's got to be something more here. A mushy swamp lies just off the path. It doesn't look like very good swimming. Um. Well, how about we put? What is this thing standing there? A mushy there? swamp lies just. No. Nope. Oh, it's like it's like a sassy stick. Like, mm-hmm. a good-sized knot or bump. Oh, it's a bump on a log. I get it. What? Never heard that term, bump on a log? No. It's it's an American term, maybe, but it refers to, like, people who don't... They're lazy. They don't do anything. You're like a bump on a log. I've never heard that. Oh. You know what? Let's save it, it because... It's, like, strangely British, actually. It does. Hello! Okay. My son's just a bump on a log, he is! All right. <laughs> Hello! Save it. Is just a <laughs> pimp on a log. <laughs> he is. <laughs> well done. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can fucking grab some of this swamp. Yuck. Alexander doesn't want to put his bare hands in that oozy swamp. Ew, continue your Ninja Turtle. But we're gonna need. We gotta. How about we? Hmm. What's up? Look at your items. Okay. What if we put the hole in there and drained the the lake? The hole? Yeah. Let's try it. Why would Alexander want to throw that in the swamp? Because it would cra create crazy physics. It'd be like portal, like he's <laughs> like shooting a portal thing in the middle of the like the ocean and then shooting at the moon. Stupid. Physics. Um. Good. Teacup? What, what the fuck what would a teacup do? What if we scoop it up? Scoop up slime. That part of the swamp is out of Alexander's reach. 
Oh, I think you have to click in the the, the less the, like, like here. No, 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 the, the, to the right there. Here. Yeah. The less mossy. Ugh. What do you think you're Whoa! doing? You startled me. <laughs> I was just getting some swamp. Like you did the head waggle. <laughs> yeah. Well, you certainly won't <laughs> get it there. <laughs> <laughs> Swamp ooze? That's Swamp Sludge! He's right, you know. What? But he could be a little nicer about telling you he's not a very pleasant stick in the mud. Uh... uh... Nobody asked you! Be quiet! <gasps> <sighs> oh, the trials of being a mere bump on a log. Got it. What the fuck is a bump on a log? It, I just told you, Ross. But he's the lazy. Okay, so he's the lazy guy. Yeah, and he's or, the well, stick he, in the mud. He's the nice oh, one. yeah. He's the lazy guy, and he's the nice guy. But he's the he's okay. That makes sense now. And he's a stick in the mud. Oh, I got it. Okay, so if 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 one is nice and one is mean, and he's the one barking up the wrong tree. Yes. Ah. Uh, so what, got it. We've got a mean thing. So maybe we give the mean thing to the fucking stick in the mud, and then yeah. they can party. Perhaps I can help you out by. Throwing a rotten tomato at stick in the mud for you. Nice. Really? <laughs> um, I appreciate the this gesture. Way too fast. But the swamp <laughs> is broader than it looks. Only a native like myself would be able to hit him from here. What? Oh. Oh, what's so a dog? Why don't, why don't you take it? Nice. Oh. I thought this might come in His handy arms? the next time your brother starts picking on you. Weird. Aha! Finally, old bump on the logs not so defenseless, is he? Hey, hey! What are you doing there? Watch the pump, would ya? <laughs> now, Bumpy, remember all <laughs> I've given insane. you? The only thing you've ever given me is mud. Take this. Oh, watch. No! Not into the swamp! <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, Do shit. It. Here it comes. Fuck Here that it guy. comes. Get out of the way! Oh shit! Oh, oh he's shit! Pointing it out. He's oh. pointing it out! Headshot! Yeah! That's oh, oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh damn! It's hey, okay. I give up. Jeez, uh. sorry. Oh damn. Well, I guess it's not very pleasant having things thrown at you. I'm sorry. You mean it, really, <laughs> brother? Brother. <laughs> Stick in the mud and bump on a log, exhausted from the battle, immediately doze off into naps. <laughs> Rotten Tomato, being equally lazy, decides to join them. What, now everyone's just sleeping? Yeah. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> I think we can pick up the slime now with oh. the mug. Oh, like f off yeah, the Yeah, because he, he said that's not the stuff you need. You need, this, you need the slime. Uh, so Okay. So let's try that. I did it! Yeah, Ross! I'm a regular You're adventurer. You're so smart. Making yeah. progress. Look at you. Okay. Um, I think we're good here. Yeah. Next time on Steam Train. Uh, t I don't know. <laughs> Watch it, find out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Solid ending, Ross. I'll go off back where we were. What? I'll go off back where we were. All right. Okay. Oh. Now that we've accomplished what we need to do in the swamp, pulls out his magic uh, and with the flute and stuff, we can go trade it in back at uh, the pawn shop for the next thing. Alexander feels a strange pulling sin. Yeah, we know. This dude gets pulled like fucking pork. Am I right? Pulled like pork, I know what Am you I mean. Am I goddamn right? He just right? sees his weed and he pulls it out and he's just like, ah, oh, I gotta pull it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You started doing that jerk-off thing we've been doing, too, huh? Like the... Oh, you mean the silent jerk-off that you did in, in front of me while I was trying to fucking work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you like that, I could tell. <laughs> yeah. A little bit. Yay. Good day, Prince Alexander. Yeah, good day. It's the same fucking day it's been since we got here. Good day, Prince Good Alexander. day. <laughs> You, n not a single day has passed since you've been here. It's to been the loot, take back your flute. Do you flute. mind if I <laughs> traded this in? 
Of course, Prince Alex, please the fuck is money? something in exchange for the items. I don't know. Alexander looks closely at the I items. I guess on there's the only like five people on this island, so it doesn't matter if you sit in a pool of crap. Mm -hmm. Um, give him take. You know what? Ooh, I'm thinking. What would we need? I don't know. We've got we've got a brush, brush and a tinder box. Tinder. Let's fucking take the tinder box. You think? I believe oh, I'll no. take the tinder box. Very good, Prince Alex. Enjoy your Have tinder a tiny box. crown. <laughs> Yay! Time. You're the birthday Thank boy you. today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now we gotta go to the sacred mountain. We gotta, cause we we left that part open. We didn't. Uh, we never solved that. Cause there's there's something going on with that writing. Okay. Here I go, slowly over the hill. Go again on my own. Going down the only road I've ever known. Like a drifter, I was born to walk alone. Alexander pulls out his metal. I fucking made up my mind. Oh, oh sorry. Here we Alexander go. feels a strange stop, pulling man. sensation. <laughs> okay. God. All right. Now this is this is a riddle. Now. I hope this game ends with a strange pulling sensation. There appears to be something. Okay. Ignorance kills, wisdom elevates. Um... Shit. Is this a- this a riddle? I... Oh. Oh! Or... Oh, it's- you're trying to spell something. I don't think I did this right. You're gonna kill yourself. Nothing happens. Okay, okay. go back, go back, go back, go back. Okay, okay. I think okay. I figured this out. All right. to be something etched into the. Okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, ignore. Ignore. Uh. Ill. I think this is right, Russ. Uh. We. We do. No, dude. I think it's like a word find. Ignore is. Ignore ill dumb. Is. The eight eight. The, no, nothing. No, do you do it? Nothing happens. Ah, oh, fuck me. Wait, look look for there a to be look something. for a word. On the internet? No, we just played Boggle, dude. Like okay. fucking look for a word. Okay, alright, 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 alright. Uh oh like going right? Going is just Oh somewhere. okay, yeah, 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 okay. Um Um it is Right. Yeah, motherfucker! Boom! Nice. Thank you. Oh, looks like we got some motherfucking steps. Yeah! Oh my god, dude, that was amazing. Oh, all right, awesome. That long pause. I could Th just that was us thinking. I could just hear the cogs turning. We just miraculously played Boggle yesterday or the day before. Did you really? Well, yeah, we all played it. Um, and uh, Susie and Aaron and I. So I got good at like spotting words. Nice. Um, okay. So, uh, hmm, I think it's time to save, because this looks dangerous. Okay. Go. Oh. Rise like a morning dongle. <laughs> okay, thank you. Well done. All right. Let's see here. The steps cannot be moved any further backward. Oh, okay, so. Strut up that. Whoa. Oh, you have to know Whoa, which ones to jump on, which not to? Maybe? I'm sure there are some faulty ones. Remember? Uh. Ah! Whoa, wait a minute. 
All right. Now. So you gotta wait for him to finish dancing. God damn it. Oh my Jeez. god, come on, man. I can't, I can't make it go any faster. Uh. Ah, Sorry. come on! Stop with the dancing! Stop! Stop! All right, add the music again. <laughs> Whoa! Wait a minute! Whoa! Wait a minute! Whoa! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Whoa! Wait a minute! Okay. Okay. God <laughs> damn it! Well, it's an even better dance. I know. These games really preach patience. Oh my lord! Stop with the stop! Come on! Alex, it actually you, does look like a specific dance move. You buttery footed. Yeah, Barry, I hope you put some sweet music behind this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Stop. 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 <laughs> I can't do anything to stop him. Whoa, wait a minute. No. Okay. okay. Oh my god. Are you serious? Wait, uh, oh, okay. I guess I am just supposed to do it. Whoa, wait a Okay, can you just spam click it? Okay. Oh shit. Are you fucking serious? Uh. Uh. Whoa, wait. He won't do it unless you just so just spam click it until yeah. he lets you. I'm I'm terrified to spam Whoa, click, dude, because you can definitely fall and die on this. Do you think? Oh yeah. Are well, you dude, kidding me? It's this another. Is... Whoa, it's another riddle. Yep. Oh my god. But now we know how to do them. Uh. Whoa, wait a minute. All right, all right. Okay. God damn it! Whoa! Whoa! Wait! Don't 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 be a hero! <laughs> Whoa! All right. We made it. Okay, okay. Look at it. Stop dancing. Yes. Alexander examines the strange etchings in the face of the cliff. Okay. Oh, fuck Whoa! Sake, that's not even English. A master of languages will. Are you fucking serious? What the hell is this? Wait. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, this could take some time. You've been to Egypt? What's this? <laughs> I'm, I'm, no, wait. Do we... Oh, we don't have any... I wonder if this is copy protection. No. I think this is, dude. I think these are th symbols from, like, the booklet. You're kidding me. Which, uh, well, we just need to look it up on the internet. All right, internet. All right. Do they really do this in these kind of games? Oh, absolutely. Okay, let's ask. Let's 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 ask the internet. Ugh. Uh, the mass. I mean, it sucks. I kind of want to guess it, but it looks impossible. Wait, wait. Is there? Uh. Oh my God! It actually comes up. Really? Yeah. When you type it, everyone's just like, I don't get it. What? Like, you know when, like, Google suggests it? Uh, it's like, the, the Master of Languages, and it's just, like, automatically added will. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I don't think we're the first ones to be like, uh, What the fuck? Yeah, see if it says anything. Hold on, hold on. I, I, I hope- I wonder if there's anyone who actually got this straight away. I, I mean, I, you'd have to probably have played the game many of times to remember that. This is riveting stuff. Uh... Mm. Oh... What? The answer is sore. But how... Really? Look well, up, you're right, look up each letter in the handbook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I hold figured, on, hold on, I hold figured. on, hold on. Okay. Wow, is that really serious? Sure, copy protection was a big deal back then. Because the discs were so easily, I like, tradable. on mine, because I can't, I can't do it. Wait, oh, here it is, here you it is. You got it? This is riveting steam trading. Yeah, I'm by the sorry. Way. I'm so oh, <laughs> God, I can't I can't do it on this because it's gonna be impossible to find through on my phone. Alright, well we'll just pause it for Pausing! A second. We'll figure this out. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're here. Thanks to our good buddy the internet. Mm -hmm. We found out that it's one, two, three, four. The stone beneath Alexander's feet trembles as more yeah. steps emerge. Okay. So right. it's just basically copyright protection. Oh yeah, no, so absolutely. back in the day. Yeah, sure. They would want to keep people from Passing around, the game, the, yeah, those and not have the discs. not have the instruction manual to actually figure that out because well, that's crazy. Also, there was no internet back then, so the, the, ah. yeah, it's real tricky. So we'll just uh, keep going. We'll keep climbing up this mountain next time on Steam Train. Next time on the show, you'll come back, don't you know? 
Oh god, with this nonsense again. We'll just be at the next challenge. Barry, put on the dance music! No! <laughs> Whoa, wait a minute. Whoa, wait a minute. Whoa, wait oh, we're- wait a minute, we're okay. back. Whoa, wait a minute, we're back, okay. Let's- let's- Alexander examines the strange etchings in the face of the cliff. Um... What is this? Uh, more copyright protection? Alexander gets the feeling that was the wrong button. Oh. Are you Oops. fucking serious? Oh, Did you save? Stop! No! God damn it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Up. <laughs> Next. What a riddle. Stone Are you fucking stone. serious? Oh, God, God damn it. All right, All right pause, pause it. it. God damn. Oh, God. This is... Oh. <laughs> so many stones. Oh. Okay, this was just more copyright protection. Fucking hell, man. So, <laughs> the code written down is 412. 412. The stone Boom. beneath Alex. Oh, sweet. Awesome. Oh more stones. Huh. All right. We'll just... Why don't you put the copyright protection at the start of the fucking game? Oh, damn. Why, you ever heard of fucking serial keys? Dude. God fucking damn it. The people who uh, did this, Ross, I mean, this was 25 years ago. Haven't they ever heard of Facebook? Haven't they ever heard Whoa. of iPad? They have Whoa. not. They, well, they have now. Oh. Whoa. God damn it. Are you fucking serious? Alright, we'll just get to the top of the mountain, and we'll meet you there. Fuck everything! <laughs> fuck everything! Woo. Barry, fast forward this song! Fuck, 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 fuck you! This game okay. is dumb, but right, I like right. it a lot! Fuck, 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 Le fuck, fuck you! Leave that, leave that part out about the game being dumb. Fuck! Hey, I'm Ross. What? Guess what? Bum, bum. No. <laughs> Stop it! Stop no. it! Bum, 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 bum. This is so annoying. <laughs> I can't Whoa, stand wait, it anymore. No. No. Whoa, wait a Only five more steps. Whoa, wait a minute. Go faster. Bum, 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 bum. Whoa. I can't take it. Like, dude, I don't want to fall. Whoa, wait. Oh, I'm not gonna save it save? either to make it more exciting. Oh, why are we? Bum, bum. Oh. No. Whoa. This Whoa, step's wait. a doozy, huh? Bum, 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 bum. Oh man. Duh. Better step correctly Whoa, on this one. <laughs> yes. Yes! Yes! Oh, thank God we did it! All right, we're back. We're back. We did it. We did it. We did it. At the top of the cliffs, exhausted, he steps over the lip of the plateau and stands. Why do you make such an effort to climb the cliffs, young man? The winged ones who live on this island have the power of flight. Ooh, the winged ones. Oh. You could have it too if you'd only eat a berry from this magical flying nightshade bush. Bat people. God, I love. Yeah, love Clyde. What the fuck? <sighs> oh, she was probably the person who owned the bat wings. The sweet <laughs> berries will make you float like a petal on the wind. Try some. Don't. Yeah, fuck that bitch. It's like meeting a person at a like a music festival, and being like. Try this LSD heroin yeah. cocaine. It's Wait. definitely not laced with rat poison. <laughs> Wait, first we have to save. We okay. have to save, so we never have to do that again. Yeah, ever. Ever. Oh man, that was... That was rough. It's really rough. Done eat the berries. Okay. Come, stranger. Oh, go the fuck away. I'm gonna... It would be rather rude to crawl into that cave with the old woman standing right in front of it. Well, then knock her out. Yeah, fucking knock her ass out. Whoa, whoa, I forgot to slow down the speed. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, that's better. Young man, you offend me. I try to help you and you insist on being rude. Just peace out, bitch. You're, well, we you're the fucking genie. We, the... we saved. Do you want to... No, oh, her, she's, her she's... eyes glinted. She's the goddamn genie. I don't know, man. Grabbing at the old lady wouldn't solve anything. Oh, it might. Right, it might. Stay tied to the ground like a load of lead. See if I care. You, you, you 
human. Oh. Oh. How odd. The old woman just disappeared in a club. Yeah, maybe she went swimming. Maybe it was a genie! Good call. Do you think? Let's climb, let's climb in. Do you think it was a genie? Okay, okay. In the rock. Oh, okay. oh my god. Alexander finds we should take those berries in a anyway. dark cave. Oh. What? Alright, we're in a dark cave. Dark cave? Um. Watch out for bats. Thank yeah, you, you know what it's lucky we have? Please. Fucking tinderbox, bro. Do we? Yeah. Oh, we have a lantern. Pink. Honk. Alexander takes the candle from his tinder box and uses the flint in the box to light it. Nice. Nice. Wow. Jeez Louise. Sweet. That's sort of helpful. Oh, oh, there's a cave. Okay. Right? I, yes. Oh, which, 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 oh, we came in that side. We want to go on that side, the left side, right? No, we came in from the left side. Did we? Yeah. Oh, I'm really confused. The lighting in this part of the cave is, is better. Dragon? Alexander extinguishes the candle's flame and places it back in his pack. Oh, okay, so we're, we're exiting out here. Yes. To like a tree area. Yes. Things are good. Things are good. Things are great. We're not gonna die. Wait, what is this? A natural window-like opening in the rock provides a view to the outside world. A peppermint plant grows on the window's ledge. Oh, we need that for mints. Yeah. Okay. Let's take some peppermint leaves. Alexander takes a few leaves from the plant. As he does so, a strong smell of peppermint is released. Ah. <laughs> okay. Mmm. Ah. Oh. All right, let's get out of here. We got what we needed. Minty farts. Minty delicious. Alexander crawls back into the first room of the cave. Who fucking Ray? Who fucking Alexander cares? Can't see a thing. Whatever. Turn on your lantern again. Gotcha. Alexander takes the can. I bet we die if we don't light this. Like he, he like hits. He yeah, stumps like, his stubs his toe or whatever. Fall, yeah, fall, stubs his toe and then dies of gangrene six weeks later. Alexander crawls Thus back. Thus were those times. Yes, it was a difficult time to live. All right. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. Let's see what's up here. Uh, something big is happening. We gotta kinda... load it. Yeah. Oh whoa! Oh Don't yeah! Do... An intruder. Hold. Birdman. How did you Hello! get up here, human? I climbed the cliffs. That is not possible. No one has solved the cliffs of logic in several centuries. And if the cliffs were to be solved, I wonder why. It would certainly <laughs> not be by a human. I I didn't mean to trespass. I only wanted to visit this beautiful island. No visitors have been welcome on the Isle of the Sacred Mountain in years. <laughs> not, not we will not. Oh, what? Oh, oh. Oh, oh, yeah, just, okay. Just, you better not be taking us down to the fucking bottom again. Yeah. Or I will dance up a now, storm to get back here. <laughs> climb the stairs. <laughs> the stairs of wonder. With what oh. trickery did you master the cliffs of logic and reach the city of the winged ones? With the internet. Only the magic of clear thought, my lord. Nice. I meant no harm. The cliffs of logic. It is the sacred oracle's prophecy, Azure. I know yes, sugar tits. <laughs> Let the man do the talking. You, human, that climbing the I don't know, he's got kind of sugary of tits too. He does, he I does. Cannot ignore. We have just been ordered by Wazir al Hazred himself to dispose of any strangers that might land on our fair isle. But the prophecy would have a different fate befall you. The prophecy predicts that whosoever climbs the cliffs of logic will defeat the Minotaur. Shit. The oh, Minotaur fuck. The has Minotaur. violated our sacred catacombs and eats our young in sacrifice. Our own daughter, Lady Celeste, was Ooh. taken there only this morning as his most recently demanded offering. Wow, that's very convenient. For A dilemma reasons. then. Whom shall I obey in regards to your fate? The Oracle or the Crown? Oh, but since Al Hazred did not dictate how I was to dispose of intruders, and since you cannot possibly survive the catacombs, your imprisonment there should serve both purposes quite admirably. What a fucking douchebag! Wow! I will not resist you. Just in this run moment. over there and pinches him in the nipples. I shall do my best to save your daughter. Hmm. 
first I must tell Whatever, you that the asshole, die in the catacombs. Rooms, a place of exceeding danger. You will need many tools and clear wits to survive it. Okay. I am ready. Very well. My guards will take you there now. You seem courageous enough, but the catacombs will determine how brave you really are. I'm going to wax my chest. Oh, Ross, we're flying away. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, this is a lovely scene. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, we're back. Oh, okay. We're back. <laughs> what would have happened if we just what defeated the Minotaur you, before Doctor, talking to them? Ready and willing to face the we catacomb. couldn't get in. This door no was locked. Is ever ready, and only a fool could be willing. And you are far wiser, I suppose, to leave a maiden to die. To not fight this plague on your own people? Damn. Bravery and suicide are two uh, different things, uh, human. You will have a chance to renounce your choice. Talk so not shit to, to me. Because I can't throat. thy take it. <laughs> yeah. Just give him the fucking spear. Thanks, Whoever man. smelt it is in fact the one who dealt it. May escort <laughs> you to your death. May the fates make it quick so that you do not have to scream long. Mm -hmm. What a dick. Okay. Oh, good. Oh, good for you. Oh, good. The catacombs. Good. One's guards. It seems that leaving the catacombs by that door is not an option. All right. All right. Um. Let's go. Let's go. Walking through the. Or do a save first before you get fucking murdered. Oh, that's a great idea. You don't eat the berries. Let's take a tour. Let's take a tour of the mino mino to my. Let's take a tour of the mino tour. Yep. Great job. <laughs> Oh shit. Alexander hears the distant sounds of a wild animal somewhere in the maze of rooms. That's not good. Oh, that's right. Minotaurs inhabit mazes. I forgot. Yeah. Oh my god, this is gonna be like one of those uh, Sierra things where you go in the wrong room and you die. Yes, it oh, is. Oh god, here we go. I'm excited about it. Uh. Nah. What are these things? Skeletons. Niches in the wall form stone burial beds. Ancient bones lie crumbling on the unyielding rock. Yeesh. Oh, hey. Bunch of dead people. Yep. Hi, guys. The remains of several unfortunate souls haunt the room. The These room. bones seem more recent than the ancient catacomb bones that Alexander has seen so far. Great. Perhaps they were victims of the Minotaur. Or perhaps they died while wandering lost in the maze. Either way, Three of the take their shit. Are completely intact. Nice skull. Mm, let's look at that skull. skull oh, lies put on a crown on it. <laughs> the skeletons. Where the skull came from is a mystery, since the other remains seem to have their skulls intact. Mm. Can I take it? Alexander picks up the skull. Yeah, I did a good thing. You did a good thing. Why right. is a good thing? Well, it's time It's time for next time on Steam Train, so let's save it one more time. Make reference to the fact that I got a skull, please. Scalar bones. Scalar bones, yay. All right. Next time on Steam Train, our fucking quest for the goddamn Minotaur continues. Goodbye. Bye. Whoa. Oh god. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> well, this is number four. Oh. <laughs> 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 fucking serious. Oh you man. Fucking serious. Hey, welcome back to Steam <laughs> Train. Okay. We are, uh, in the Minotaur's cave. Is it Minotaur or Minotaur? Uh, it's whatever you wanted to be, Dan. 
I, I, that's, I'm sure that's not the case. It can be your tour, my tour, what? anyone's tour. Okay, okay. <laughs> Let's take a tour of this cave. Oh, I see your game. Oh, shit. What was that? Was that a knock? Yeah. <gasps> it's a bat! It oh. is. <laughs> well, I saw one. It went... Oh, I missed it. I missed it. I have to consult a map for this part because, like many Sierra games, uh, this is a section where they were encouraging you to, like, sit there for hours and create your own map. Um, oh. to work your way through the dungeon, but... Before the internet. Yeah, that was one thing when I... Oh, dear. I like the look of this room. Let's it immediately has, save this. It has scythes on the floor. I like the looks of this as something that will immediately kill ooh, us. Oh, 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 oh. Ross, it's time to shine. Oh, oh, shit. Don't step on the cable. Okay, okay, Fuck it. okay, okay. Some, like, beautiful passengers, like, heard that we were, um... having problem... Sky That's not how you spell scythes. Scythes for life! Um, so, some, uh, beautiful passenger, I apologize, I don't have your name on me right now, heard that we were complaining about the fucking cable for the keyboard being too short, so you fucking sent us an extension cable for it! Oh, yeah. It's like the most practical gift ever! It's super awesome. And Dan keeps fucking stepping on it. Uh, well, because I got giant feet, man. Yeah, you do have big feet. Thanks, Big bro. hands. Big body. <laughs> and a big old... I need you to... I need you to take it easy right now. I need you to... To, to just cool off. Show me the big dick. Alright, <laughs> easy, easy. Okay. If right. we stepped on the wrong one, what happened? Uh, we would have died. Oh. Yeah. Would have summoned the Eurotor? That's, that's very... The, the <laughs> no, that's the Minotaur. Uh... The Minor Tor? You his, need his younger brother? You need... Well, okay. Oh, a thing. A shield. Take the shield. Hold on. An old wooden shield hangs on the wall. Oh, thanks. I love why it's incredibly informative. It's like, yeah, it's like, no shit. Yeah, thank you. Alexander, Alexander takes, takes the shield. I knew it. The wall. Saw it coming. <laughs> this show is so predictable. Alexander takes the shield. Really? Is that not what I just fucking did? Imagine if he's just like, Alexander puts his finger up his butt. He's like, I'm not doing that. Yeah. I'm, I'm not doing that. That doesn't count. That wasn't, that was like just inner cheek. <laughs> oh. It's bat. Yep. It's Dracula. I don't like that bat. There's, I got a bad feeling about him. Unlike, he, he's the Minotaur. I don't. I, th I think he's Batman. We kill the Batman first. We kill the Batman. <laughs> yeah. All right. This is weird. Why? Why did the walkthrough send me here? Right. Walk through? Well, I mean. Maybe because you're supposed to walk through the wall. No, this, this like is where the direction. Harry Potter. The wall forms stone burial beds. Ancient bones lie crumbling on the unyielding rock. Alexander notices that this skeleton has old coins over its oh. eyes. It's, uh, okay. They do, used to do that, you know? What's put, that? Put gold all over skeletons. It was like a burial, burial ritual. No shit. Alexander finds two coins on the skeleton's eyes. He takes the old coins. Oh yeah, that's right. Wasn't it supposed to like pay like the the guy who would like row you down the river Styx or some oh, shit like that? Um, yeah, past the the the, the fucking hound, the three-headed hound. I don't know. I only saw the Disney movie. <laughs> <laughs> Super spooky, scary. I haven't been to Hades yet, so. Not yet. No, not yet. Oh, I saw a little thing in the what corner. Is that? What was little, that? It was a little mousy, a little, little ratty mouse. It's cute. Whoa. Okay. Oh. It's a trap. oh. The doors have sealed Alexander inside. Oh. And the uh, ceiling is coming down. I know what you're gonna need. Can Do I guess? You? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Let me look. I've, if I've seen a movie before, show us our items. All right. It's either two things. Okay. It's either the brick or the hole. The brick. Oh, the hole in the wall. I'm gonna say it's the brick. Okay. Because, like, if there's clearly cogs there, and this is the most solid object you have right now is the uh, a, brick. Good point. Look at this fucking spooky skull. Yeah, spooky skeletons. Now, that would have freaked me out as a kid. Uh, is there a thing coming down? Yeah. Yeah, you gotta put it in the cogs. In a desperate oh. move. Alexander throws a brick into the grinding gears. Ross. Whoa! Yeah, Ross 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 wins. Ross wins. Good job. Yeah, I guess that shit. The mechanism grinds to a halt. The ceiling is stuck. The trap is sprung. 
Dude. Good fucking job, yeah, Ross. Thank you. I was very impressed. I mean, I was just thinking, like, we need to throw something in the cogs. It's like a real-life scenario. It, dude, it... You... I don't know what it is. Maybe it's some kind of savant thing, but you have an incredible gift for Sierra games. I like adventure games! <laughs> Alexander hears <laughs> a growling, so faint as to seem <laughs> born like of his fired so imagination <laughs> rather than of any living creature. No, seriously, I love these games, man. I can't believe I'm playing them now as an adult. I know. And it's... figuring them out, like, really quickly. They're so, I, I, they're so dear to me, man. There's something weirdly irreplaceable about these games. There's only, like, 20 of them, you know? Sierra didn't make too many games. I know, right? What did Sierra... Did Sierra shut down or become something nope. else? Nope, this is... Sierra was bought out by... A company called Vivendi, I believe. Oh my god, they own, they well owned Blizzard. Oh okay. And they own, wait, shit, they're they're a huge company. They are huge, and they 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 f basically fired everybody, in um. The, the parent company was yeah yeah yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Okay, and they, they they gutted Sierra and made that it into sucks. something. It was a, oh shit. Oh um. Zounds a trap floor. Zounds. Did you say Zounds? Yes, he did. Oh my god, he, cartoon physics. Whoa. What, um, what, uh, uh, Alexander seems rise. to have fallen to a lower level of the catacombs. Wherever he is, the place sure is dark. Let's look at your eyes. Alexander can't even see his hand in front of his face. Oh, that's a spooky kind of situation, you know? I'm more spooked out of the fact that you got glowing eyes. Yeah, oh yeah. Like an animal. Like an animal. Okay, I'm gonna say... What's that? I forgot what the top thing in the uh, it's next to the skull is. What's that? Oh, those are the coins we okay, got from coins, the dead guy. String. We've also got another page of items. What is the bottle? The bottle is the milk bottle from uh, the swamp. Is the f what was the and the flower stinks. Flower stinks, but we already used that, so okay. I don't know what we. I also need. just want to comment. This is our second session, so there has been a little bit of time before the yeah, between these items. So I'm just refreshing my memory. Uh, lamp. The lamp we we got hanging from the. From the hot pool. So it's not like a fire lamp, okay? Don't think so. Uh, this is the mint leaf. Shit. Oh, we had another page. Um. Oh, the the the, the fucking, oh, we got a fucking tinder box. Fucking tinder box. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps the lantern. <laughs> Alexander Perfect. takes the candle from his tinder box and uses the flint in the box to light it. Yes. Aha! So that's why it's dark in here. A torch is out. Nice. Alexander lights the extinguished torch and puts his tinderbox away. Okay. That's good. Yeah, we're, good. We're, we're on the right track. I thought we were definitely, like, dead. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Wait, so there was no light coming from the next room over? Uh, highly implausible. <laughs> uh... Okay. <gasps> yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah. That's that was trippity trippity trippity. Far off into the catacombs, the sounds of hooves faintly echo. The hooves. They're getting closer though. That was definitely louder than before. Oh, way louder. So if you just meet him, do you die? I don't know. Should we save? Yes. Do you want to save? Yes. Let's see, let's see. Save, 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 save. Alexander hears the sound of a wild beast again. This time, so loud that the creature itself seems to be in the same room with him. Oh my god, please save. Okay, the noises okay. are coming from the other side of the east wall. Oh. Oh, okay, good, 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 good. Okay. Save. Go for it. You're a... You're a tour. I'm a tour. Great job. <laughs> okay. Alexander examines the wall closely, but sees only a solid rock wall. Oh, shit. All right, he said it was the east wall, right? I think. Yeah, I said it on the other side of the east wall. Oh, this one. We've got the yeah, fucking hole fucking in the wall. Fucking glory hole. Stick your dick through there. Make that guy give it a little suck. Okay. Like like a fucking salt lick. Maybe I'll just like put Cal the... just going... Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. Mm, this is good. Alexander puts the hole in the wall on the east wall. The hole in the wall trembles slightly with dread at the clammy feeling of the stones. Shut up. Shut your mouth. 
take a peek. Alexander peers through the hole in the wall and sees just another room in the catacombs. Wait. He's jerking it. Oh, wait, no. Aha. Not just another room at all. So that's why Alexander couldn't find the Minotaur's lair. At least Alexander now knows the lair exists somewhere in the maze on the other side of this wall. Huh. Hey, hey, come back! While Alexander contemplates what he's just seen, the hole in the wall, frightened by the Minotaur, makes a run for it. Alexander hopes the little creature finds its way home to the Isle of Wonder. Oh, poor little guy. You don't want to be lost in here? Come back. Oh, well. Oh, well. Fuck him. All right. Yeah, peace out. We uh, we will save it here, okay, and we will okay. continue. Uh, well, we don't need to save. We just we just saved it. But we did just save it. We'll, we'll do this next time on Steam Train. Next time on Steam Train. Uh... The quest through the catacombs continues. Yeah. That was alliteration. It was. Slightly. Yes. Hey, oh, okay, we are getting back. out of this goddamn catacomb fucking today. This is this is the episode. This is the episode? This is the one. Whoa. Enough of this shit. Whoa! Okay. So is the bat trying to help you? I don't know. I think I think the bat just indicates that you're on the right Well, no, it doesn't. <laughs> I think he's just an asshole. Just a Wait. douchey, douchey bat. Oh god, it's getting close. It's fine, it's fine. Everything's fine. You know your way, you know your way? Yeah, yeah, I have I have a map. Oh, good. Yeah. Uh, dude, we'd be doing this for hours and hours otherwise. And I did. Yeah? But I'm not 11 years old anymore. And I've got... <laughs> it's on me. Many, many women to bed. Mm -hmm. That's not entirely true, but... I'm just saying I'm very busy. Can't be... Can't be mapping stuff out. Get your hand away from me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're we're close. Okay. I'm, I'm really nervous. I know. We've been oh after this thing oh, a long shit. time. Okay. Oh, that's it. That's the tapestry. That's the, that's the fucking thing. A very beautiful, very dusty tapestry hangs on the wall. How would that not be? Suspicious to anyone who found it, you know. I don't. I mean, it's like the, it's, it's like the one piece of art just it's like hanging. Art deco, like... But we should definitely save right here. Go for it. You didn't even click on the thing. Oh. I'm not. Oh. It's... The typey thing. Is it? Yeah. Thank Boom. You. It ties the room together. <laughs> well done, Ross. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Poke it. Lick it. Hmm. This tapestry looks familiar. Like I just saw. Now it let's see. Eight seconds ago. I don't feel anything. Aha! A hidden latch. Alexander triggers the little latch. A secret door rolls open. What could possibly go wrong? I'm wearing pajamas right now, and just notice there's a huge hole where my scrot is. Really? I, mean, <laughs> yeah. I don't want to show you, but here, no, look, look at that hole. Yeah, that if is I just been a little bit to the left, you would have seen my scrot. That is... that is... Do you want to see? No. Okay. I mean, probably just looks like every scrot in the world. Like a wrinkly piece of chicken? Just... <laughs> ugh. Whoa, whoa, whoa! No! Whoa. I beg of you! Please don't hurt me! Your struggles are useless. <laughs> it's the Minotaur. And he's struggling with a winged one's girl. She must be Lady Celeste. Shit. Not good. Alexander steps further into the room. The movement catches Lady Celeste's eye. She screams for help. You there, human! Help me! Help! Thanks for the cover. Don't oh, have a shit. cow, man! Oh, God. Who dares enter my lair? You know, I dead, ask you to release your captive or suffer the consequences. Oh fuck! Never. <laughs> oh. You die, human. As the Minotaur advances in attack, Alexander slowly backs away. 
Uh. What if he squirted milk at you? Until he can back away no more. <gasps> now where to, little man? Oh, he's gonna run. Uh. You ready to duck? <laughs> yeah. He's gonna hit the fire. I no, I gotta use something. Oh, okay. Uh, did you save? We did save. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, you know what? We should save here. That's a good idea. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Boop. Um. Uh. But well, I'll just, I'll just save. It ties to the room together. All right. No. 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 This is this is special. This is, this is special. This is okay. Special I'm sorry. Special thing I'm sorry, between you and you and I. I mean, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ross. Feel special now. Um. What now do I use? You die. I don't know. I oh god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you did! Alright. Right. Something to be said for taking the bull by the horns, Alexander. No. Oh wow. Restore. Okay, okay restore and we're just gonna fucking immediately pull an eye down. Pull an eye down! Okay, let's look. <laughs> okay, what we got? What we got? Okay, so we I'm gotta... thinking uh, something stinky or go to the next. What's the next one? Shield. Absolutely. Yeah, you're gonna block that that beach. That shield won't do much good in close combat against a minotaur. Okay. Alexander will have to think of something else. Quickly. You don't now have much time. You God damn it! It didn't give me a chance. I. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, that Did is... just go like directly up. That is brutal. No, I got I got shot back into the fire. It didn't look like it. It looked like you went directly up. Oh my god, this hole in my pants is getting There's way bigger. Stop! Dude, this, this stop thread, getting all up into it. This thread breaks. I'm just gonna have like my wiener hanging out. Okay, Ross, I focus. Put some pants back on. Focus, please. Um. Just puppies. Oh, red! The red, red ribbon, of course. The Wait, red, the red. It's a, the, he's the, a fucking bull. The ribbon or the, the scarf? Scarf, scarf. Oh, he's a bull. That's a great idea. Alexander yes! Yes, told you. inches from the fiery pit. Good job. Tempts the Minotaur with the Red Queen scarf. Look here, you bully. Nice, bright red. <laughs> red. <laughs> now you die. Yeah, bitch! Oh, damn. The Minotaur drops from sight amidst the consuming flames. Slowly, his scream fades as well. Have you been harmed, Lady Celeste? Are you all right? No, I am not all right. I assume you do not intend to leave me tied up on this vile monstrosity. Oh, God, I might. Uh, yeah. Of course not. Sorry. Let's see. If you'll give me a moment, I'll have these untied in no time. I can't wait that long. Look, I wear a small dagger just inside my belt. It should be enough to cut the rope. Oh, all right. I, I've got it, Lady Celeste. Why don't you use that to Here shank him? Here we go. Him? Yeah. It looks like she's just jerking him off. Jerking her off. Yeah. Thank you. You may keep the dagger as a gift for Stop saving my life. That's very generous. Forget it. Do you mind if we just get out of here now? Yes, you've been a huge pain in the ass. <laughs> Wait, really? The exit was just there? Well, I don't know. Oh, cutscene. Yay. The Winged One's guards, bored with the pointless waiting, are startled by the sound of rock moving against rock. No, we weren't checking off! <laughs> we were kissing. Lady Celeste, quite the well. I'm quite well, thanks to the bravery of a mere human. So much for your superior intellects. Yes, me lady. Now bring him along. I'm going home. Toodles. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whee! So it's like, I oh. see you have proven yourself the hero of the prophecy. Well, I am expected to thank you for saving my daughter's life. So I thank you. I am obliged to thank you for the restoration of our sacred catacombs. It means much to our people. We have already begun the process of clearing the deadly traps from its rooms. It is also my duty to grant you a visit with the Oracle. So this I do. I will grant you the freedom to leave here unharmed, despite my orders to the contrary from the Crown. 
But there, my obligations to you end. I have no love for Alhazred, but he is my liege, and if Princess Kasima trusts him and wishes to wed him, my guards will take you to the Oracle now. When your time with her is through, I want you to leave the City of the Winged Ones and never return. I don't know who you are or what you want here, but I will not disobey my crown further. I thank you, Lord Azure. I will respect your wishes. Did you fart? Nope. That's the food Aaron brought. Oh. Yeah. Oh. We're eating farts tonight. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the Oracle. Hail to thee, great Oracle. Lord Azure sends you this wingless mail. It appears that he solved the Cliffs of Logic and... Defeated the Minotaur in his lair. So I have seen. So this is the one that haunts my pool of late. Welcome, young seeker. What knowledge do you desire? Princess Kasima, whatever you can tell me, great oracle. Where is she? Where is she? Princess, that explains my images. Let us see what we can see. I see a maiden. Lovely and pure, people. but <laughs> surrounded by evil. She is a rose set amidst bitter thorns. It is her fate to be the pawn of dark powers. And yours to try to redeem her. How? How do I redeem her? Fate is not like the cut of a blade, young one. But rather... Like the myriad of paths formed when a hammer cracks ice. What? I will tell you what I can. But what will actually come to pass is up to you. I see that any attempt to reach the girl will force you into battle. A struggle against a dark force. If you lose, your life will be forfeit. Who must I fight? A great darkness surrounds your adversary, preventing me from seeing clearly. I can only make out the shape of a black cloak. But before this final struggle, I see an infiltration, a dangerous game of hide-and-seek in corridors filled with enemies. Deadly game of the risks are high, but it is the only way to reach the one you seek. There is more than one way into this place. Your choice will dictate much. What else do you see, mighty oracle? Can you talk for 30 or 40 more minutes? Mm-hmm. Thanks. Oh, fuck. Oh, let's go. Oh. Oh, such pain. That was nothing. <laughs> Shit, did it wrong. You're fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. Restless spirits crying out for revenge. It's like blowing a smoke ring and then making a, like a skull. Oops, did it wrong. <laughs> if they were to be brought back from their spiritual form. Yet this is only one possible path to your destiny. I'm afraid this is getting beyond me. I know very little about the afterlife. No one animated my body. <laughs> advise getting counsel from the druids. Be warned. The druids are reclusive and dangerous. They might aid you or they might destroy you. Now grab a straw, this shit is delicious! <laughs> the druid's nature is hidden in the mists. There is nothing more I can do for you, except to give you this. Oh. It is water from the sacred pool. I peed in it. <laughs> and my blessing. It's my I'm special brew. You. I call it. Thank you, Gatorade. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Fucking finally. We're at the beach. And you know what that means. What's that? Next time. On Steam Train? Yeah. That's the one. Yeah, yeah. you were you were just like, oh god, shut up, lady. Yeah. Let me end this episode. Got that thimble full of Gatorade though, bruh. Mm-hmm. Yes! Hey, welcome back to Steam Train. Alright.
Time to get out of this. We're done with the Sacred Mountain, so... Alexander pulls out his magic map. Time to pull out our magic map. Let's see what kind of tasty... Mmm. Mmm. Oh, shit. Mm -mm. Check it out. What? What? We got a new aisle. Oh, shit! The Isle of the Mists. Boom. It's the Alexander fart one. Feels a strange pulling sensation. <laughs> I'll be feeling that at the end of the game. <laughs> okay. From the northeast come the sounds of mysterious drums and chanting. Oh yeah, listen to that. Some fucking dubstep. <laughs> One of the paths inland branches off to the northwest. Yeah, maybe I'll do that since you just... Oh. Just told me one of the phone. Excuse me. From the east come the sounds of mysterious drums and chanting. Okay. Okay. It's either two things. Yes. Ewoks. Okay. Or the set of Blinky Bill. I uh, <laughs> think, think we got a. <clears throat> think we got the, the jub jubs. Mm hmm. A horned animal skull is on display in the center of the village. Based on its central location, it may perhaps serve as ceremonial protection against danger. Hmm. Love me some horned skulls. Let's see what this is. A communal fire pit occupies a place of honor in the center of the little village. The fire pit, naturally enough, contains coal. The coals okay. are cold. That's odd, because Alexander definitely smells the smoke of an open fire close by. Oh, good. That's probably where the ritualistic human sacrifices are taking place. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's just see if we can... From the east come the sounds of mysterious drums and chanting. Alexander reaches into the fire pit and takes a lump of coal. <laughs> Somebody's been very naughty this Christmas. <laughs> this thing? That's a scythe, is it? A wooden-handled scythe hangs against oh, yeah. a bearskin on one of the treehouses. That could be useful if we can... if we can take it. Nice. Alexander takes the scythe. Did he walk seed people? I don't believe they did. I think they did. I don't think so. I think they were trying to hint at it. Eat people? The east, yeah, because it the had sounds like, of mysterious drums and chanting. Trooper helmets? <laughs> left over and no bodies? I think they... Well, I think they killed him and they just took the helmets. And why were they kidnapping them and putting them over a fire? They weren't kidnapping them. Yeah, in the movie. They took they took Han Solo and they took... Did they really? It's been yeah. a long time. They were like... Hold on, save this. They, they had them on a... They, they were fucking, like, people munchers. I don't think they were. <laughs> yeah, man, they're people munchers. They were so adorable. Pe yeah. People, so, comma, uncher. So are fucking koalas. You can't trust them. Purple munchers. That could be purple munchers, but it's fine. Are pee pee munchers? Yeah. Alright, let's see what's up over here. Whoa, 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 whoa. The way north is blocked by impenetrable forest. Alright. Oh. Can't go in there. Alright. Dan doesn't even know the word impenetrable. <laughs> That's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In the east come the sounds of mysterious drums and chanting. Everything's penetrable if you really put your mind to it. Mm -hmm. This might Alexander not be good. Is frozen at the spectacle before him. Oh. Robed figures are gathered around a bonfire. Oh God. Some mystical ceremony is taking place. But as to its purpose, Alexander has no clue. Brothers, look! Uh-oh. Alexander's been seen. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. This must be the foreigner we were warned about. How appropriate that he should come during our rain festival. Place him in the sacrificial cage. Wait! Hmm. I must rescue the princess! There's an ancient druid saying, a man who would save others must first save himself. Nobody says that. Alexander is pushed into the confining yeah, wicker cage. Yeah, that up. Also, this is Stonehenge. Yeah, this is not good. This is not good. And the cage is swung out over the bonfire. Fuck. 
<gasps> oh, someone's playing a Casio keyboard Alexander nearby. Alexander starts to feel a little warm. Oh crap, I can't do anything. We're boned. Are you the serious? The cage is getting uncomfortably hot. Use an item. I, I don't even have an option menu. Alexander is getting really hot. So we just have to watch him die <laughs> slowly? It's pretty Alexander fun. Alexander passes out from the heat before the first tongues of flame ignite the wicker. Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> Damn. Fuck! That was a shitty way to go. Yeah. Tickets up. Next. That was a bit too hot to handle. <laughs> oh, okay. For God's sake. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. This good game make, even makes me groan. It's it's hilarious though. Um. All right. Note to self. From the mm -hmm. northeast come the sounds of mysterious drones. Yes, we know. From the, the east comes the sounds of the people who would righteously murder us. The slightly tall Ewoks. Okay. Alexander pulls out his magic map. All right. Well, we've gotten a bunch of stuff, so. We can do other things in the meantime. Maybe we have to go back to fucking Morpheus to trade Alexander in something. Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. Sure we do. <clears throat> Ooh. Hmm? Ooh. Is Hello, that, little dear. Is that plant moving for us for any particular reason? That's just in the wind. Oh, that's right. Wait, didn't we cool that off? We did. Now it's just steaming. No. Okay. Yeah, it was it was crazy bubbling before. Mm. Oh, he's gone. The guy, crazy guy. Oh wait, the arrow will still shoot you. Oh, the shield, the shield. That's what I'm saying. Ah, uh, you you're a clever duck. As are you. You also figured it out. Quack quack. Okay. Let's... Alexander decides to pass through the gate, preparing the shield just in case. Yeah, suck the magic it. arrow completely shatters the shield. Good thing the arrow didn't hit Alexander. Haha, <laughs> yeah! Yeah, suck it! Yeah! The guy with the spear just goes... <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, fucking... The archer's bow is empty, his lone arrow spent. Yeah, suck it. S sorry about that arrow, friend. <laughs> the stone archer looks really? resigned and does not reply. What about the other guy? Sup? <laughs> Sorry about Carl. He's stone a statue doesn't respond. Okay. Uh, all right. All right. Well, let's just Alexander. go to that oh. lovely patio. Yeah. Or veranda. What do you call those? Gazebo. Gazebo. Well, that's right. Grow on either side of the path winding north. Yeah. Uh, can we? Can you take one? Alexander yeah, takes a magnificent white rose from the rose hedges. Nice. 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 Chicks love rose. Alexander walks forward to step onto the gazebo. But the rose hedges on either side of the path, sensing an intruder's presence, reach out their vines and blend together. The path is blocked. You just jump over it. I mean, plants. Nope. <laughs> no jumping. Okay, no jumping. But we did just get a scythe. Oh shit, you're right. Yeah. Alexander yeah. wields the scythe, determined to get past the magical rose hedges. That noise is satisfying as shit. Mm -hmm. The leaves fly as Alexander tries to cut the branches cut faster it, than they can grow back together. He sees light. Dude, he's taking some, like, real stress out on that <laughs> fucking bush. Fuck <laughs> this bullshit! <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Who dares enter Beast Garden? My name is Alexander. I didn't mean to disturb your private garden. No. And yet, monsieur, you could hardly have accidentally broken through the three enchanted traps of the Isle of the Beast. Um, I, I suppose it is simply my nature to break through enchanted traps. The Isle of the Beast? <sighs> it looks like a You Muppet. must be a prince then. I know the nature of princes all too well. This face you see before you is hideous, is it not? Well, for the face of a beast, it is really quite noble. Ha! I'm glad you like it, for you will soon own one just like it. 
I too was once a pretty prince, caring for nothing but adventuring and rescuing fair maidens. But I rankled one too many evil hags. One dark night, I was turned into this obscenity you see before you, warped in shape and trapped on this enchanted island over a hundred years ago. Oh. Surely there is a way off this island. Oh, surely. You broke in, did you not? And yet, think, where would I go clad so eloquently as I am with this silk and this pelt? Pelt! You see, <laughs> my prison is also my sanctuary. You are the first to break through the barriers in lo these many years. That is, except for the druids who stole my heirloom coat of arms. But... If there's any way I can help, Help? You? I'm afraid you don't understand. The enchanted barriers were a warning and protection for you more than for me. Your prize for forcing your way past them is to join me in this dire life. By the laws of this sorcery, you are doomed to be trapped in the form of a beast. Your reward for broaching this garden is to be my slave. A slave as beastly as I am. You have only a few hours of humanity left. Oh, fuck. But that's not possible. There must be some way to break the enchantment. That's a dick Spells move. Spells always have a weakness yes. somewhere. The enchantment you are under is tied to my own. Or oh, the sorceress left me a way out. But I'm afraid it was only her final bitter joke. You see... I need only find a maiden to join me here, to share my castle, my life, willingly. My butt. Take another look at me. You can't help but admire the hag's terrible cruelty and cunning. You will be my maiden. I shall try to find <laughs> such a maid, for Cosima's sake. Truly? How determined of you. I personally would not waste my last few hours as a man on an impossible errand. However, you may do as you please. I give you this token. It's my family ring, and the only heirloom I have left. If perchance you should... If you think you have found a maid... <laughs> I shall give her this ring. Yes, she must accept it of her own free will. By doing so, she accepts me. Not that you shall find anyone, mind you. Your time is short. Count the minutes on your fingers while your fingers you have, pretty prince. Before your master you. will always <laughs> do. Uh, I bet it's that girl who had the mean mother. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Oh. Yeah. Of course well, you want to get want to get out of that crazy well, person. Shit, time. now we're on a fucking timer. Are we really? Yeah, yeah. Now there's an internal game clock. Can you use the map? Before we turn into a beast. Cool. We could probably fuck people up as the beast. We do not. Really? We become his slave and we lose. Like, what kind of slave? Like, is that a sex thing? Ross? Hmm? Don't know. Oh. Frankly. Frankly, don't know. I do know it's next time on Steam Train Time. Oh! Oh! Hey! Oh. Hey! Okay! Bye! Pelt! <laughs> I thought you were worried about, like, my scrote hanging out. <laughs> no. That's why I was really nervous. No. I'm trying to make sure it doesn't slip out. It's pretty terribly close to happening. It's totally fine. I'm Welcome back to Steam Chain. We're gonna save the game real quick. Real quick. Done. Beckham. Dumb became a monster. <laughs> Good job, Ross. You're welcome. You did. Okay. So, boop. All right, and let's get back to the Isle of the Crown then, because you're right. We do have to talk Alexander to Morpheus. Pulls out his magic map. Yeah, boo. Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you said. The girl. The girl. Mm hmm Okay. What's up, little nightingale friend? You do truly nothing all day. Mm-hmm. What birds do? 
Let me just make sure no one's sitting in Ali's books. Because hmm. sometimes there's someone there who has info. Like this fat guy. The guy is always there. Jalo, my friend. Jalo. Is the wedding still moving forward at the castle? Yes. Alex, he gads. Yes, that confounded wedding has a whole castle a bustle. Look, I didn't come here to talk about that though. I came to warn you. Warn me about what? Isn't the wedding bad enough? Your dumb flat <laughs> face. No. Listen. The Wazir knows that you're here, Alexander. He's posted extra guards, and he's telling them about a foreign saboteur. Who else could he mean Ooh. but you? The Wazir's genie must have learned of your presence in the land, Prince Alex. <laughs> I don't know how, but he must have. Didn't we have a huge conversation I exactly before? exactly been discreet, I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. Alexander, this is serious. El Hazred will never let you get close to Kasima now. He stumbled the castle guard, probably to make sure you keep out. Dead Zooks! <laughs> oh, it's too bad there isn't some way to convince Al Hazred that you left the islands or even died. If he thought you were out of the way, you might be able to get close enough to... Hmm, what an interesting thought. Tell me more about this genie. Happily! The genie Shamir Shamazel. Al Hazred brought Shamir with him when he came to this kingdom. Shamir probably won't directly threaten you, but that doesn't mean he isn't dangerous. He can be a terrible trickster and an ingenious spy. <sighs> it's and too a bad naughty we can't bitch. Get our hands on life. <laughs> Is he a genie as well? I don't know. He Al looks like it. All of our problems with I mean, maybe it's a racist thing to say. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a fine thing? You would wish to be master of such a wicked creature? Oh, Shamir isn't necessarily evil. Genies never are, you know. They only reflect their own as heart, for good or ill. <laughs> Al Hazred is hardly a shining example for an impressionable genie. Hmm. So how do you propose we go about getting Shamir's lamp? Well, this has been uninteresting. What? <laughs> oh, yep. Prince Alex, I was only dreaming. I mean, the lamp is heavily guarded. It would be easier to steal Al Hazred's own trousers while he's wearing them than it would be to get that lamp. But surely a clown's hands are quick and agile. You well, are yes, clown. they are, as a matter of fact. But then the theft would be detected almost immediately. And then... My poor neck. Hmm. If the theft were detected. Oh, I see. Yes, well, there might be a slim chance, but only that. If you could find a replica of the genie's lamp, uh, an exact replica, I might be able to make the swap. I alone might get close enough. But I couldn't tell you what to look for. I caught a glimpse of it only once. My theme music is going crazy! I know it if I saw it again, <laughs> oh but to God, say I, I chat, chat. cannot. Well... I'll just have to see what I can do. Good luck to you then, Prince Alex. I, uh, really must be going back to the castle. I don't think I'll be able to come back here. If we were spied on, well, it's too high a risk. I hope you understand. If I see Kasima, I'll tell her I saw you. If you do ever make it to the castle, look me up. And do be careful, Shut friend. that calliope up! <laughs> I will. Room Goodbye, Jalo. Thanks See you there. The <laughs> oh, Jala. Fucking walk. He is ridiculous. Alright. Ali, I don't even want to fucking talk to you. I'm done talking to people. Yeah, I'm done talking. I can't. I can't anymore. Let's just give that girl a... <laughs> See you later! Oh! Only 30 or 40 more things! <laughs> <laughs> also, I think someone sent me a tweet saying that uh, he... Is the vo it's the voice actor to Droopy Dog. No, no. Or Droopy or Boo Boo or something It, it like was that. Droopy Dog, but that was in reference to somebody else. That was it, to one of the gnomes. Oh, like, then who's yeah. that? Oh, I, he sounds so familiar. He sounds like Snagglepuss oh, to me. Oh, Snagglepuss! Yes. Hmm. It would have been Alexander like, Alexander doesn't yeah, yeah, remember yeah, yeah, that yeah. sign being on the wall before. He decides to take a closer look. It's a proclamation. It reads, Citizens Rejoice, announcing the royal wedding and coronation of Wazir Abdul al Hazred and Princess Kasima. For reasons of security, the wedding will not be open to the public. 
Long live the new king and queen of the land of the Green Isles. Alexander feels his stomach turn at the thought of the dread event. If he doesn't do something soon, Cosima will be another man's wife. Another man's property. <laughs> doesn't have to stop ya. Yeah, right? God damn. <laughs> it says proclamation. Citizens rejoice. <laughs> Alexander, his skin begins to itch. Oh, crap. Oh, what, what? Oh, no, we're turning. We're turning. Get out of there. Well, I can't. I'm all... You're not turning completely. Oh, my God. Talking to that guy wasted the timer. Oh, fuck. Are you serious? Are you serious? We can't even see ourselves transformed behind this fucking poster. Yeah, this seems to be frozen now. Well, isn't this a fresh pickle? Mm-hmm. So glad we talked to fucking... Jalo for half an hour. Yeah, Jesus Christ. What a waste of fucking werewolf time. Wow, I think we really might be frozen. <laughs> no, we're not frozen. Just there's a cutscene happening behind. No, it would not be lasting this long. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like the music uh, that goes behind, like, Manos, the Hands of Fate. Yeah, yeah. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is boned. This is boned. What, when did we last save? We sa we saved after we talked to the beast. Okay. Do you wanna... Yeah. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Be right back. Ugh. I love this song! Me too! Okay, we're, we're back. back. Okay, sorry about that. That was... It was really weird. Yeah. Um... Alexander, his skin begins to itch. Oh, oh no. no! Oh, well, at least we get to see what happens his now. His head throbs. Ah. Oh, damn! I'm sure. Acting! Wee, 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 wee. Was that the beast you could do? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, you, you silly son of, son of a bitch. Dumb became a monster. All right. Well, let's not read that note next time. Yeah. And let's just go. We'll, we'll just book it. Okay. So. Zoop. Alexander pulls out his magic map. All right. Here, here we go. Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. Mm hmm. Let's just gun it. Yep. Run it and gun it, son. Go! Doing it! Ah. So peaceful. What are you doing? Look at this bird. Don't fucking run! <laughs> okay, okay. You turn into a fucking walrus again. <laughs> that was not a walrus. It looks like a walrus to me. What if it's not the girl? What if this isn't the right girl? Well, then we're gonna really oh, wait. right there. Yeah. It's gotta be her. Hey, girl. Her mother's already a monster. She might as well date a monster. Good day, me. Who's nice to her. My name is Alexander. How do you do? I'm sorry, sir, but I'm not allowed to talk to strangers. Nice Jew hat you've Give got there. <laughs> Give her the ring. The girl is too shy and... Ugh, oh, fine. Yeah, the ring will get her... get her nice and talkative. <laughs> I'm glad that's what you said. What, like I was gonna say she's gonna get nice and... Yeah. ...friendly? Yeah, never mind. But I have someone I'd like to tell you about. Please, sir. I'm not allowed to talk to strangers. Shut up and listen! Fucking took the ring. Take it. Excuse me, Mink, mm. but I have someone I'd like to tell you about. Please, sir. I I'm not allowed to talk to strangers. God. Jeez, man. Just want to grab her by the hair and compliment her color. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what if I give her a rose first? Oh, that's sweet. Well, she's cutting roses. She's got plenty yeah. of them. But not white ones. Pardon me, maid. I hope you don't think me forward, but I see that you like roses. I thought you might, perhaps, like a fresh white rose. Alexander can see the conflict in the girl's pretty face as she fights between her distrust of him and her desire for the white rose. The rose wins. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, I shouldn't, sir, but it is so lovely. I've never seen a rose of white. It looks so pale and delicate. Wherever did you find one of such a color? There are many hedges of them on the Isle of the Beast, and they grow together like magic. Oh, truly? 
What an adventure that must be to see them. But I should not speak so, especially to a stranger. Thank you for the rose, though, kind sir. <laughs> All right. You are taking this ring. You are taking this ring and you are loving it. Should have put a ring on it. I'm going to. That would serve no purpose. Yes, it would. Alexander has a thought about the serving girl. He decides to bring up the subject of beast with her. Let me tell you about the place where the white roses grow. The Isle of the Beast is an enchanted place. There's a path running through a deep forest. The path crosses three magic blockades set to keep all visitors away. At the center lives a tremendous beast. He's horrified. Really? Marry him. Magic blockades? <laughs> How exciting. He smells like shit. What kind of a beast? Is it very terrifying and ferocious? It is a beast that walks on two legs and dresses like a prince. It speaks with the voice of a man. A beast that talks and wears clothes? How is that possible? Is the beast magic too? Not magical. Enchanted. Beast was once a prince. Oh. But a witch trapped him in the form of a beast <clears throat> and set him on the island. Fuck. There he lives in a castle in the midst of a maze. Now because to keep that big old beast how dead. Terrible. Shut up. <laughs> Get away from Imagine the mic. how lonely he must be. It is a very lonely prospect, isn't it? Oh. Almost as bad I as living with your him. bitch stepmother. Mm -hmm. He is indeed ferocious, but who would not be? <laughs> he really exists? <laughs> oh, how it breaks my heart. If I could, I would tend to such a beast. Such a beast might find comfort in a kind face. Do you not think it's so? Oh. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I I think like, so. Mid conversation, I you turned into the monster. He's like, Oh God! <laughs> or, <laughs> or. <laughs> Let me tell you about why the right roses. Go, oh God! No! Football! <laughs> Just vomiting on her. <laughs> I could Sorry. take you there. In fact, I would owe you my life if you would go. <laughs> it just transforms. You to go. <laughs> transforms you are like, serious? Jump on the back. <laughs> oh, oh, I have always dreamt of leaving. But to actually go. This is the only home I have ever known. Oh my god, lady. Oh we're going to turn into a donkey Please thing. A place Come on. Leave, even if you're unhappy there. But I will go. If I can help him, I, I must go. Nice. Don't even know your name. Who cares? Could you uh, hurry up a bit? I feel a little hairy. <laughs> yeah. No, take it. Is there nothing you wish to take with you? There is nothing. Then take this ring. It is his. He will be pleased if you would wear it. On his cock. Mm. Why, it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Thank you kindly, sir. Beauty! Where do you think you're going? Oh, beauty. To a place where and roses grow. And to oh. someone who truly needs me. It's the story of Pocahontas. Whoa, that was a quick transition. Whoa. I see you wear my ring. You willingly agree to spend your life here with me? Do you know what that means? Yes, my lord, I do. I have been touched by your story. Pity alone need not <laughs> need to endure this face. <laughs> oh, but it is a gentle face oh, and my kind. God. You look at me so sweetly and are not repulsed. Oh, by the light of your eyes, my spirit soars. Ah! The enchantment! Oh my oh, god, he's George Washington! <laughs> Our first president! I am pleased to have served you, my lord. Do you still wish me to stay? What? Speak not such nonsense, beauty. Do you think that I learned nothing of true love during I my I judge time? you guilty <laughs> of you stealing my, my heart. <laughs> oh! She, she oh yeah! The Wonder Woman! My clothes! This gown! This is your new yarmulke! How well it suits your noble I have forcefully made you Jewish. <laughs> Alexander, how can I ever 
repay you. I have nothing to offer except my gratitude. But please, take these old clothes. Perhaps you'll find someone in need during your travels. Mazel tov. You have already <laughs> repaid me by your example of courage, beauty. And by your friendship, I hope. You will always have our friendship. Fucking genie! Yeah, he's everywhere. But from a fellow adventurer, take some advice. If you find your true love, protect her with your life. We're all beasts without the redeeming humanity of love. Uh. And to aid you, accept my mirror. Now that my life is no longer hung in false shadows, I have no need for it. Give it to someone with nothing to fear from the truth it reveals. At least something's hung. I'm talking about a beast thing. All right, both get, well. get away from the fucking mic, please. Come, beauty. Let me take you Big home. Hair, Shut up, scary. Russ! <laughs> Don't touch me! <laughs> so mature. But yeah, I saw him. I saw the evil genie stoat. Okay. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. Next time on Steam Train. Next time, same time. Okay. Whew. You know when you poop and your bung rim is just like... <sighs> I don't want to talk about just this. Just like, get a little wet tissue and just dab it. Just dab it. <laughs> just dab it. It's so funny to hear you talk about this with, like, the fucking gorgeous medieval green sleeves yeah. music behind it. And I put a wet towel on his bunghole. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I ate spicy sushi. Um, thank you, Ross. Everybody must know. Whoa, whoa, hey, whoa, 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 back to Steam Train, back to Steam Train. Okay, let's save it, because I don't want to watch that cutscene ever again. Yeah, no, never, ever, ever again. It was, it was lovely, but goddamn. Oh, give me that shit, lengthy. give me that shit. Okay. Big ol' beast dick. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Okay, now, I don't remember why. Mm -hmm. But I remember, I remember when I played this before that you needed another white rose. Oh, really? Yeah, I just remember you needed it twice, and that pissed me off. Oh, god damn it! <laughs> how would you know that? What was that? I guess that's a lot of these games. How would you know that? Yeah, you get you get to a point later in the game where you're like, oh fuck, really? And then you have to go all the way back here. So. Fucking just imagine Sierra's Alexander like takes a magnificent white rose from the rose hedges. Okay. Sierra's fucking like tagline, Sierra. How the fuck was I supposed to know that? <laughs> oh, dude, it's closer than you think sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Sierra, good luck figuring that out. <laughs> the game. <laughs> uh, okay. All right, let's see here. Where to now? Whoops. The magic map doesn't teleport objects. Uh, oh, uh, good to know. If, I mean, it was obvious, but... Interesting that that's what it thought I was doing as opposed to just accidentally Alexander hitting buttons. Pulls mm -hmm. out his magic map. Okay. Let's go back to the horse dick. Alexander horse feels dick. a strange pulling sensation. On the horse dick. Yeah. This is a mouthful. <laughs> Sleepy clams. Aw. There. there oh. It's it's an oyster bed. Remember? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> the rotten tomato. I forgot about and all he's that. He's hanging out. Yeah, he's just like fuck. He actually got a lot redder. He yeah. used to be really brown and gross. How are you finding your new surroundings, <laughs> rotten, uh, Mr. Tomato? Can't you see I'm snoozing? All right, you're done good. Now go play in the street or something. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <See? laughs> Sorry, Mr. Tomato. <laughs> That must have been fun times in the vocal booth, saying that line. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's something different here. That's different. See, on the table? Oh. What is it? I don't know. There's a small bottle on the coffee table. It bears a label that reads, Drink Me. Oh. No. Mm. Very Alice in Wonderland. It's kind of, um... I'll just take it. Well, I'll just take it. Your funeral. Alexander picks up the bottle. Ooh, speaking of bottles, mm -hmm. I just thought of something. What? All right. So, these are babies, right? Mm-hmm. Babies love bottles. Alexander is mistaken. Those plants must be baby's tears. Yup. 
And babies especially love bottles of, of milk. milk. And you've got the milk plant. Yep. Or as my grandma used to call it, mookie. I'm sorry, what? A uh, bottle of mookie. Oh, yes. Alexander gives one of the baby's tears a bottle of milk. The other baby's tears seem to resent Alexander's gift for some reason. Maybe because that baby's lactose intolerant. Oh. That's probably what it is. Mm. Hold on, maybe I can get other... Oh yeah, there's like four. Yeah, there's plenty of them. <laughs> I can get other ones. There's milk to go around. Alexander takes a bottle of milk from the milkweed bush. Just keep doing it. Alright, take it easy, tree. Apparently, the dogwood tree doesn't like Alexander standing that close. You got it, though, right? Yeah, I think so I got it. So can we just keep doing that? I think so. Do we have to keep going back uh, and forth? No. No, that wasn't it. Wait, can we just keep picking them up? Uh, well, yeah, but it, it does... Oh, no, you can only grab one at a time. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Alexander gives one of the baby's tears a bottle of milk. Drink it! Maybe you were supposed to give it to a different baby. The other baby's tears seem to resent Alexander's gift for some reason. No, there's something I'm supposed to be. Oh, maybe you're yeah. supposed to turn to the mother. Like, I mean, as by like, Alexander might wear the dress. To comfort the crying babies. Man, I don't know. These games are weird. About picking them up. He's rather new at this. Oh yeah, pick him up. Pick him up. I can't pick him up. They would have done it. Uh, um, shit. Let's just start stab them. <laughs> stab them. Uh. Oh god, I hate babies crying. Uh, is what I hate at Yoshi's Island that had a crying Mario baby in it. it was uh, obnoxious. Maybe the teacup because I got that here. Why would Alexander want to put tears in a teacup? Oh, you can pick up the tears. Tear tears in a teacup. So maybe you can put tears in a bottle. Tears, tears in some. Do you have anything else that can hold things? I mean, a lamp, but that doesn't seem right. What about that? The bottle? Drink the tears, yeah. Try it. Alexander shouldn't give that bottle of potion to the baby's tears. Who knows what the potion will do? <laughs> I don't know. Alright. Try the lamp. No shit. Really? Alexander collects some of the baby's tears what? in the old hunter's lamp. Okay. Alright. Whatever. I guess, that's what we we're supposed to do, I guess. I can roll with it, I guess. Yeah, alright. Um... Oh, God, get me out of here. I cannot. Oh, God. He's giving you a sec to me now. <laughs> yeah, I know. He's like, I'm out of here. Oh, fine. Good luck, children. Oh, God. Here we go again. Your Highness may as well spend her royal time contemplating something else. The lump of coal shall be sent to the Castle of the Crown under my name, and that's all there is to it. Oh, that's right. That's what they were no, it arguing shan't. about. Yes, it shall. If the coal is sent in your name, I shall royally decree a ban on all red on this isle. Oh, God. You do, and I shall royally decree that white shall be henceforth used for all mopping up of cabbage stew. I'm getting you royally pissed. Dare. Jesus Christ. Oh, wouldn't I? Oh, it's you! Have you thought of any more of those brilliant ideas of yours? Yes, I have, bitch. <laughs> I have a lump of coal. You scored the gun. Bow, bow, you're dead. Boom. I got the coal oh, from, so now the, you both got coal. from the fire pit. Why did they gotta give coal to them? I don't know. I found the two of you another lump of coal so that you can stop fighting over the one you have. Oh, let me see. A lump of coal. And what a beauty it is, too. Oh, marvelous. Now we can stop fighting, sister. Your Highness can just keep the old lump of coal, and I'll take this new one. Quite right. That settles everything. Stop playing that timpani! As a token of our endless esteem and royal what? favor, please accept this magnificent and truly incredible spoiled egg. What? Uh, <laughs> uh, 
Hey, thanks. Yeah. Mm, all right. These guys are very good at giving gifts. Let me see that lump of coal, your highness. It is a beauty, isn't it? Why, it's bigger than my lump of coal. Oh, Let God. me have it immediately. Over my dead body, your highness. Oh, it's they sound like my ex-wife. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Shrug. Okay. Uh, okay. I don't have an ex-wife, by the way. I yeah, wanna... I know. There's probably a few people in the yeah, like, who are like, watching. Like, what? Dad has an ex-wife? Oh, my God. Oh, I'm asking what's time for my ex-husband. What? My ex-brother. What? What? I killed him. Oh, wait a second. Hmm? What'd you, what'd, what'd, what'd you wait a second for? Didn't we need tears... For the... Like the spell book. Spell book. Shut up, Ross. You didn't know what I was going to say. Of course. Listen. One cup of swamp ooze. Did we get that? That's easy to get now. Uh, yeah. What we did, I think. Uh, river sticks water, black horse feather. Yeah, we got that. Okay. We don't have sticks water, but that's fine. A few drops of salt water, not from the sea. One vial of sacred water, and falling water. That's tears. Are you sure falling water is tears? Yeah, dude, that's what falling water is. Oh, really? Sure. Oh, okay. All right. I would have thought like salt, salty tears, you know, salty tears. Tears are salty. I'm trying to think. Salt water, not from the sea. Yeah, salt water, tears. These salty tears. Falling water would be rain. Oh, yeah. maybe you're right. Yeah. So, oh, we got a skull. We don't have it full of anything. We 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 don't have the right combinations of anything yet. Yeah, this but is the last page. Oh, thank Shit. you. Okay. Oh, well, you know where we can get water? What, what, what? From the fountain outside the beast's place. Alexander oh, pulls out yeah. his magic map. Oh, of course. I yeah. didn't think about that. I didn't, I didn't either. Seems you always you forget things are just background items, but then they're, like, actually significant. The, this Holy. this uh, game did Alexander a very good job. A strange pulling sensation. I know. Of, like, uh making use of its environments and like, you know, blah, blah, blah. Let's just, before we end this, let's just make sure this works. Yeah, let's check it out. Get one more little mini accomplishment going. <laughs> Don't mind me, Archer. Your one function has been uselessly spent mm -hmm. forever. Oh, I like this music. We just heard those two like violently fucking from a distance. Yeah. Like, ah! <laughs> I'm your beast. <laughs> Say my name. The lamp is not ready for the fountain water. What? Er? Oh, cause it's full of it's full of fucking tears. Remember? No, no. It said it wasn't ready. Ready? But, yeah. Oh, oh, you gotta do them in order. Oh. Okay, because that's the falling water. No. It's yeah, not. It's, it's falling. I guess you're right. Okay, so let me look at this again. Okay. Boop. All right. One, one cup of swamp. Ooze, right. Blah blah blah. That's not the right. One. Okay. A few okay. drops of salt water. One vial of sacred water. Sacred water. Is that what the oracle gave us? It is. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. put it in there. Put it in there. I'm gonna. Um, um, next page. Boom. Okay. How do you, can you go back up? Yep. Okay, put uh, it in there. Alexander pours the contents yeah! of Oracle's vial into the hunter's lamp with the baby's tears. <laughs> oh my God, the vial, make now it empty of its sacred fluid, disintegrates. We're gonna make it rain, bitch! Alexander doesn't need to do that to the hedge maze. Oh, okay, nice. come on. Alexander fills the hunter's lamp to the brim with the fountain water. All right. Let's cast that spell, playa. Oh, let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, 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 uh. What does the spell do? What does the spell of rain? This is the rain spell. Why would we need it to rain right now? I don't know. No reason to put that in the fountain. I... There's no reason to. Come on. There's no reason. Oh, fine. I walk over here. 
sensitive ass bitch. Okay. Okay. That's make paint or magic paint. Make rain. Okay. Cast. Let's cast the Alexander ship. prepares to enchant the hunter's lamp with the make rain spell incantation. Clouds of thunder, shafts of light, come and sup with me tonight. Waters three have I for tea. Brew a tempest now for me. Oh my god. A tempest. Oh, storm in a teacup. Really? Oh wait, that's not Looks right. like he's at a rave and he's like, doo -doo -doo -doo. Barry, add the music again. <laughs> the lamp in Alexander's hand gives a little perk. He hopes the spell works despite his makeshift teapot. Yeah, yeah, storm in a teapot or whatever. Okay, awesome. That's That seems right. I think we did a thing. Nice. We'll do more things next time on Steam Train. Next time on Steam Train. Isn't that right, my friend Ross? Oh, me, yes. No, that that is... Hey! Nope. Nope. Not yet? Nope. Wasn't oh. ready. Hey. Well, fuck it. Let's play it. Hey! hey. <laughs> Welcome back! <laughs> Welcome back! I, uh... That was a sweet opening right there. Yeah. Just a flawless, professional... Why am I walking away? Okay. Okay. We need to get to... Yeah! <laughs> Wait. Hmm? Barry, can you put in the rave music when I cross the river? Again? Yeah! Okay. Sweet. Okay. There's just multiple rave possibilities. Okay. Alright. It's time to time to get out of here. I fucking... The path, like destiny, cannot be altered. What? The path, like destiny, I think... cannot be altered. You Alexander oh, okay. pulls out his Click magic detection. map. God, it's <laughs> hit detection on this. So touchy. I think I know exactly what we need to do. What? What do we need to do? Alexander really? feels a strange pulling sensation. Oh. You know what I'm. You know oh, what I'm, I I'm feel saying? it. I think the audience knows too. Oh shit. Oh well. Great God, did you see that? The man just appeared from nowhere. No, I didn't. Perhaps he was sent by the spirits. I see no boat. That's my voice. No <laughs> playing another right. character. Oh, he was just like this. Perhaps there's luck of spirits. <laughs> He's like moving his mouth <laughs> to the side. I Look, say I'll we leave. let it's him no go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't argue with that guy. <laughs> Alexander is frozen at the spectacle before him. Robed figures are gathered around a bonfire. Some mystical ceremony is taking place. But as to its purpose, Alexander has no clue. Clucks He's found a trespasser on the beach, Arch Druid. <laughs> uh oh, Arch Druid. So now this must be the foreigner we were warned about. How appropriate that he should come during our rain festival. Place oh. him in the sacrificial yep. cage. That's no, why he says bitch. that. Wait! I must rescue the princess. There's an ancient druid saying. A man who would save others must first save himself. Alexander is pushed into the confining wicker cage. Ugh. Love going through this again. But this time we're equipped with magic, bitch. There is a great saying. If a man is quake, he makes great bacon. Fire. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alexander. Um, you gonna do that rain, buddy? This cage is re fire in the cage. Alexander pulls out Beauty's old slave clothes, oh. desperate to beat out the flames. The flame is extinguished, but the clothes themselves burn to cinders. Alexander won't be able to keep the cage from igniting for long. What the? Rain. Why can't the heat and movement must have jarred something? What the? What? Something that Alexander's carrying is starting to jiggle around. Oh. Egad! Something's really percolating. <laughs> we just took a shit. <laughs> the water in Alexander's what? lab is hot. <laughs> it's just about boiling. Yes. Alexander feels a drop. 
it starts to rain. That man is a powerful nature wizard. By the sacred oak, let him down. Why does he have a cheetah on his head? I don't know. It's like great tiger. <laughs> he just he's just like, I just hang out here. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> I'm not even I dead. Apologize for our rude welcoming committee. We've been feeling inhospitable ever since the winged ones stole our sacred miniature oak tree. Huh. Besides, Wazir al Hazred sent a message that we were to watch out for a highly dangerous foreign assassin. Yes. I assume you are the one he meant. Yeah, but that I'm sure a dick. I'm precisely who he meant. I assure you, I mean to harm no one. Unless that person threatens the princess. I'm sorry to have disrupted your ceremony, but I'm running out of time. What is it that you seek? The Oracle on the Isle of the Sacred Mountain told me I should speak to you about the Realm of the Dead. She told me of two souls in unrest there that I might be able to free. Free souls in the Realm of the Dead? You're mad! The souls might be able to help me on my mission to save the princess. It's imperative that I do everything I can. The risks are not important. No, and yet getting yourself killed will hardly help the princess. But I will tell you what I know. Legend has it that it is the right of any human to challenge the Lord of the Dead in order to save his own life or the life of another already passed. Oh good. But the knowledge of how to do this was lost centuries ago. I have only heard of one who tried it. A young knight who came to the land of the Green Isles from a distant land long ago. According to the story, he was determined to challenge the Lord of the Dead for the soul of his dead lover. It is said that he tamed the Lord of the Dead's horse, a black-winged, demon-hearted beast named Nightmare. Nightmare sometimes flies to the human world to feed on certain noxious plants. Those unfortunate enough to see her are glad to escape with their very souls intact. Yeah. Somehow the knight captured Nightmare and rode off on her back, supposedly to the realm of the dead. But neither the knight nor his lover ever returned. If there was a means for challenge, it was lost with the night. I see. <laughs> Can you tell me anything about the Lord of the Dead? He uh, rocks. He's dead. A He's a lord. Still. That's all you need to, to know. The woods, he is Samhain, Lord of coldness and despair. Samhain was once a man like you or I, but he insulted the gods and was sentenced to rule the underworld. Immortal he is and mateless. Robbed of sleep, robbed of movement, robbed of companionship. It is said that he hates mm -hmm. all mortals even more for the mortality that he lost. That is all I know. Interesting. Sort I shall of. remember. <laughs> now, look how the oak embers of our bonfire still glow hot despite the rain. If you're bent on your course, you'll need courage that's just as impervious to the chill. <sighs> May your luck last longer than your storm, brave one. May it indeed. Thank you, Archdruid. My hair remains perfect. So... So... Do we need to take something from that coal pit? I would assume so. Also, I just want to say, uh, every single fucking piece of fiction that uses a scary horse, mm -hmm. you always fucking call it Nightmare. Yeah. Why don't you call it, like, well, the, the nightmare. Trot. The There's... Nightmare is like a, like a classic piece of, like, uh, 
fantasy lore, I guess. Spook horse. Like that, scary man. Like no, like nightmare was like like Pegasus. Like it was Maybe. it was another name. Alexander has already had enough close contact with that fire. Okay. Lick it. Oh, we could just scoop it up with something. Pick it up with a towel. <laughs> I don't have a t I don't really have much. Oh yeah. The teacup I gotta use for the spell, right? The china cup is too small and delicate for those large red hot embers. Uh, the skull. Put the put it the skull. The skull? Yeah. It's part of your spell. Ooh, that's a spooky icon. Yeah. Ah! Sorry, just kidding. Damn, Ross! Mm -hmm. Alexander scoops up some of the red hot embers in the ancient human skull. I read the spell book. <laughs> they said I couldn't read. <laughs> I showed them. Okay. Oh, look, look at the icon now. Now it's red. Oh, shit. It's... Don't touch Flaming that. Hot. It's a hot potato. Because <laughs> this is thriller. Thriller night. Okay. Jungle Jam music. Yeah, it's like very Yanni esque. Um, ooh, spooky, scary. Spooky, scary, skeleton. Okay. Boop. Alexander pulls out his magic map. Here on. Okay. All right, we're gonna go back to the Sacred Mountain. Good. Alexander feels a. And we're gonna. Ugh. God damn it! We gotta climb this thing again if we're gonna meet the nightmare. So we're gonna do that off camera. See you later, everybody. Okay, Ron. Oh God! Sorry. See a doctor. Whoa! Wait. Whoa. Oh, okay, they only make you do it once. Okay, okay. we're, oh, we're back, Alexander we're back. Alexander arrives at the top of the cliffs, somewhat winded after his long but uneventful climb. Okay, we just climbed the mountain, and there's the fucking nightmare! Just like we knew it would be. The spook horse, the scary horse. So Spooky, scary so horse. scary. Um, alright. I was we gotta, eating the bush that we were told to eat, but we didn't. We gotta cast a spell. Of love? Of love. One swamp ooze, one black horse feather. Nope. Nope. Charming the creature of the night spell. We got that. One skull full of hot oak embers. A bit of sulfur, brimstone. Okay, got Shit, that. Do we have a hair? Yes, we do. Shit. The one that fell out of the ribbon. Oh my god, you're a right. Pure heart. Okay. This is the last page. I know. We're totally gonna charm the shit out of this thing. So, Does that horse only have one wing? No, he's got two. Here we go. Alexander. And you had a Pegasus in one wing. <laughs> Just fell over whenever he tried to fly. <laughs> no! <laughs> Nay! Uh. Gotta cast this bitch? Mm hmm. No, I think you're just supposed to pull out the item. Oh, no, no, you're right. You're right. You're yeah, supposed yeah, to do yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Oh. This spell must be cast over a skull containing hot embers, a strand of hair, and brimstone sulfur. Yes! Just! This... This is the last page. Did I do it? Oh, it said something must be cast over some hair or something. Wait, it said something about hair? I added sure? the hair. Are you sure you did? Wait, hold on. This spell must be cast over a skull containing hot embers, a strand of hair, and brimstone sulfur. I think you want to hold, put, use the item first. This is the. Oh, like you don't have it equipped, or something. Try so pick up the skull. So yeah. pick up the skull. The hair is okay. Yeah, yeah, and use it. Alexander holds the skull out to Nightmare. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Nightmare is unmoved by the skull, at least in its current state. Okay. Well, can you? Can, oh, click on the two click. heads are better than one, but Alexander is already carrying the skull. Grr. Click it on the. So pick it up and click it on the book. Yeah, I think that's the way. 
on the book. It's right. It's the same page. It, it's oh, same. sorry. Other one. Sorry. Right. Sorry. 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 The book can only be used to cast spells over prepared spell ingredients. Oh, I gotta use the book on, on the, the skull. Good oh, lord, man. God. Come on, man. Okay. The book can only be used what? to cast sure. spells over huh? prepared spell ingredients. The ingredients in the skull are incomplete. Are they? Uh, mm, didn't we get a ding? Oh, we got the ding. Didn't we get the ding? Uh, Did we not have the hair? Did we not have the... I, I Sorry, I, I put the hair in there. You did? You got a ding? Got the ding. Hold on, let's look at it. Alexander is carrying a human skull filled with embers and a strand of hair. The embers are glowing with heat. Oh, My okay. face. What? <laughs> it's fucking hairy hot skull. <laughs> what more do you want? It's a hot, hairy skull. God. And you know it. You know it, girl. <laughs> <sighs> the things you end up saying on this show are amazing. Yeah. All right. Hot. Oh, a bit of sulfur. Oh, shit. Do we have sulfur? Brimstone. That's in the skull, though. Isn't it? No, we oh. just have the embers. We got. Oh, we got the oak embers inside of the skull. Where's the sulfur? Let's look. Oh. Uh, Did we miss something? No. You know what has fucking sulfur in it? What? Rotten egg. Oh, shit. Alexander cracks the spoiled egg and dumps it into the skull containing the embers and the strand of hair. The spoiled egg hisses as it makes contact with the hot embers. Sounds the steam. <laughs> I'm the king of the ponies. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Thank goodness. Oh my god. That I was, was a... afraid we were going to have to go questing for another ingredient. Oh god, yeah. These games are a lot easier as an adult. Oh yeah. This was we hard have... as fuck as a kid. We have smart brains. Well, we're just... We think they're good. Yeah, it's true. Can do stuff. <laughs> whoosh, whoosh. Submit to me. Yeah. Alexander solemnly speaks the incantation over the skull. I love you. Creature you love me. Creature of to come. Fire and brimstone leave thee numb. Purity bind thee like a chain. To do whate'er I now ordain. Tickling. Oh, it's got the loony tunes. Nightmare flares her nostrils at the scent of the fire and brimstone. That's it. Come on. I need passage to your homeland, fiery one. <laughs> yeah? Unable to resist the power of the enchanted smell, Nightmare approaches Alexander. Her eyes appear glassy and sightless. In her hypnotized state, she is unaware of the human so close to her flank, or of anything at all except that marvelous smell. What a badass now animal. Ride! Oh, I'd love to ride a fucking nightmare. Oh, yeah. It, riding a horse hurts, man. Grab that mane. Not when you're flying. Have you ridden a horse? Yeah, oh, wait. Nightmare deposits Alexander on a strange, cold world. Peace, Nightmare. And some of the inhabitants don't look too friendly. <laughs> Yo, step the wrong hood, bitch. Uh, okay, I'm gonna save it, because I don't like... Anything that's coming near me right Such now. Such as Zombie 1 and Zombie 2, yeah. or possibly the Incredible Hulks. So let's save it. I love how you always go for the keyboard, and I'm just like... Tch. Yeah, always. Look. Out. Is. To the... Pearl. Look out is the Hulks. Good job, Ross. Ugh. Oh, the touch of the putrid for? flesh dissolves the living matter like acid. Oh, okay. Great, we saved at a good point. Yeah, we sure did. Good lord. Can we run from Tickets. that? Oh. Next. Alexander's okay. mother always told him to avoid bad ghouls. Oh. oh. <laughs> Come on, man. It's my favorite thing. Okay, I just want to avoid these things. The touch of god the damn flesh go up there the yeah matter like acid oh my god all right serious it's very hard to control um just gun it 
run it and go. No, I'll just slow down the speed of the game. Oh yeah, good idea. We need bullet time for this bit. Uh oh. One of the wandering ghouls brushes up against Alexander. God damn it. The touch of the putrid flesh. To... I know, I know. The we touch know, of the putrid know. flesh. Mm, restore. What do we do? Shit, no, what? it's okay. They're just they're doing their own thing. That just... guy in the corner looks like he's got a wiener on his head. He's like, he I just... can't get it off. Ah, the oh! wiener. This I just wiener. fuck everything I look at. Wait. Restless spirits are bound to the surface of the underworld. Chained by earthly cares, they are unable to go below. These two spirits wander together. The spirit of a beautiful and noble-looking woman floats silently alongside that of a desperate-looking man. <laughs> Who has a penis on his head. Yes. Could they be the same? That is unfortunate. Oh, oh I can talk to them. Yeah, it's, they're, they're the zombies. No, they're not zombies. No, but they're the spirits of the zombies, you, probably. Spirits? Maybe. I am Queen Ilaria of the land of the Green Isles. Oh. And this beloved spirit is my husband, King Califam. We were murdered in our beds by our trusted wizier. Son of a bitch! Like a viper. He snuck in during the night and stabbed us in our sleep. The viper? Now my husband's Over and Martell did this? And he God not speak. damn it. Then you are the yeah, ones I see. look in his eyes. Are you not the parents of Princess Cosima? Our daughter! Have you news of the princess? Yeah, I want a boner! I know that she is alive and safely back in her kingdom after being rescued from Mordak. <laughs> I'm, I'm a birthday boy in Burger King! Her is keeping her in her room in mourning for you. I am glad to hear of her return, but she will not be safe alone with that uh, devil. Uh, sorry, I can't do it from oh, here. Will uh, be uh, there to protect uh, her? Uh, uh, yeah! Aww! Oh. How I fail thee. <laughs> My poor Double husband game. will never rest while our murder goes unavenged and our daughter is in danger. I came to take you back with me. <laughs> Your people are still loyal to you. <laughs> they like need looks to like know Harry about Archie the wizard. Sure you see what needs you too. Important. But this it's is the jug realm head. of it's the dead. Yeah. We cannot leave it. Nor for that matter can you. The only one who might be able to return us all to the land of the living is the Lord of the Dead. But he would never help us. He has no mercy. I might be able to convince him. I must try. I'm the Lord then of the Dead. This. It is my ticket to the underworld. There you will find the Lord of the Dead. I cannot use the ticket as long as I'm chained here. And if we cannot be avenged... I will never be unchained. Thank you. Perhaps it will save us all. That was very interesting. I saved that shit so we never have to listen to it again. Beautiful yeah. young oh, man. God. If you can ease my husband's torment and help our daughter, we will be most grateful. I will do my best. Goodbye, Queen Alaria. Okay. So you know what we just got? Mm -hmm. We just got a ticket. Like, remember when the whenever we die and the person is... I know, Ross, you're pretending to jerk off. That's very mature. But we got we got the... And he's like, tickets up. Like, we yeah. got a ticket. Shit, we're gonna go... We gotta go there? Yeah. Admit one. Ross, stop. It's very unsettling. And I can tell you're getting, like, a half chub. So it's not, <laughs> it's not cool. All right, next time on Steam did. Train. I know! Next time on Steam Train. You sweatpants wearing boner popping bastard. <laughs> Getting a little sweaty in here, Dan. <laughs> get out, you know get your hands off me. <laughs> and we're back. And we're, we're in the spooky realm of the dead. Oh, crap. And there's God damn dickheads. It. We got, yeah. we got Dick zombies. people stabbed in the fucking back. Let's go this way. Got everything, man. Ooh. Whoa, fucking sp this Ghost. place is spooky as shit, man. It's the realm of the dead. What'd you expect? Oh, that's Ooh. where we are? Yeah. Jeez Louise. Why do you not rest, sad spirit? Rest? I cannot rest. My son is lost. Lost? You mean in this realm? No. His spirit is stuck in the land of the living, probably looking for me. Oh. But I cannot leave to go show him the way. My poor Ali. 
Is there anything I can do? Ali? Take this handkerchief. If you get back to the land of the living and find him, tell him that his mother is waiting for him here. By this kiss, he'll be able to find his way to the realm of the dead. I'll do my best to find him. That's super sad. Thank you. Yeah, that sucks. Thank you. Oh, my Ali. The bookstore owner's named Ali, isn't it? Isn't it Ali's book? But Ali's not a ghost. No, he's in the land of the living, dude. Oh. Uh, uh, oh, 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 oh. Hey, right. hey, you wanna <laughs> hang out on a pirate? Yeah. God, he is a pirate. <laughs> Creepy pirate zombie. Yes. Ah, oh, there, we're here. The skeleton to the left of the path hands something to the spirits that approach the underworld entrance. It's a ticket. Ticket, please. Next. Huh. All right, we better save this. This looks like a place where you could very easily die. Yeah. Also, the door I just noticed kind of looks like a really grody butthole. Huh. Nobody fucking cares. Sorry, oh, I was just reading the, uh, That was, uh, yeah. It's bad timing. Ticket. Uh, er... <laughs> okay. Um... A strange skeleton with a long, horse-like head and ceremonial armor stands at the base of the path to the underworld. He watches over new arrivals with a discerning eye, handing tickets to the spirits desiring admittance. A large bone key ring hangs from his waist. Bet he's a conversationalist. <laughs> Might I get one of those tickets? The skeleton with the tickets must not approve of Alexander's less than ghostly looks. He refuses to give him a pass. How about you, friendly face? I must see the Lord of the Dead. Please let me pass. Tickets only. <laughs> the skeleton at the door seems quite determined. Imagine he's just like, how do I get one of those tickets? He just looks at him. Step, 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 step. Yeah, right? step. Pretty easy. Here you go. Living skeletons are gathered around the entrance to the underworld. Yeah, they look pretty lively. A group of large bones form an interesting arrangement to the right of the path. Two smaller bones are propped up on the ground near the larger group. Too small. Oh. They're gonna play a song. Oh my god, will I? Don't even tell me. Alexander picks up the two bones on the ground. Now what do these bones remind him of? Ah, uh, yes. Now I remember. <laughs> the skeletons are overcome with the musical call of the bones. They begin to jiggle, then to dance. <laughs> oh, oh, are you serious? <laughs> yeah! Yeah, I love it! Oh my god! Spooky scary skeletons. Spooky scary skeletons. Yeah! <laughs> I love it! Woo! Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, come on, horse guy. Get into it. Yeah! <laughs> I knew you'd get it. I knew you'd get it. <laughs> Look at this janky-ass key. This is fantastic. This is definitely my favorite part of the game Yeah, so I think far. this is my favorite part of the game, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Woo! Woo! Oh my god! This is a man. Oh, dude, the fucking... The key flew off his ring. Oh my god, it did. How did I create an entire backing band? I like, a, no I, there's idea. a bass guitar in there. Alexander that was finishes awesome. his tune, and the skeletons resume their posts. Despite their frolic, they don't seem any friendlier. Wow. I love it. That was amazing. Alexander picks up the skeleton key. All oh, right, skeleton. All right. Key. Oh yeah, of course. Now use your ticket. Yep. Now I can use my ticket. Awesome. Yes. Boom. Alexander sees no way to use that there. What? How about here? There we go. I have a ticket. 
on. Next. Ew. Oh, jeez, oh, look at this thing. All right. We've been here many times. Have we? I mean, we've died enough. Oh, I know. <laughs> Save. Okay. Um. Slept good oyster. We'll replace that one. Thar goes to neighbor. <laughs> yeah, there it goes. Okay. Okay. Let's take a look. Alexander is standing inside the underworld. Organic walls form an oppressive passageway from which a spiraling path emerges and descends into the darkness. Far below, the surface of a black glassy river eerily reflects the glow of flickering torches. Look at this. Poor son of a bitch. Whoa! Oh, Apparently, God. Alexander's not the only one who's curious about the body on the path. Ooh, spooky. Oh God, some, some Dark Souls shit happened here. Yeah. A knight's remains lie abandoned on the path. The knight, like Alexander, must have been alive when he entered the underworld. But for some reason, he never reached his destination. Alexander wonders if this is the knight the druid spoke of. We made it like 10 feet. Jesus. Whoa. Wait, what did they, the druids say about him? I can't remember. We were laughing like idiots. Oh. The knight is wearing an old, tattered ribbon. It must have once meant much to him as a sign of his lady's favor. The ribbon is so old, it would crumble at Alexander's touch. Hmm. Alexander takes the knight's black gauntlet cool. and examines the writing on it. Flesh oh, just, may cross the portal off. and seek its master, Death. Flesh may go where Death is trod and challenge, like Scheherazade, he who reigns beneath the sod to spare a mortal's breath. Zounds! That sounds serious. This is the only game I've mm -hmm. ever heard that makes use of the word zounds. What does it mean? It's like... Gee whiz? My goodness, yeah. Like, oh. Oh, there oh, it is. Oh, whoa, this, this looks very serious. Okay. Um, we're just gonna, we're just gonna save again. Papal Monsters. Go for it. Save early, save often. That is the Sierra way. Row, row, row. Row, row, row to boat. Okay. Great job. Alright, let's see. Um... Oh, wait, don't we need water uh, for our spells? Mm-hmm. Um, which one is that? Teacup? I think it is the teacup. Let's just use it. Wait, are you sure it's this water, though? Yeah, from the River Styx. The That's River right. Styx. Alexander scoops a little of the River Styx into the teacup with the swamp ooze, being careful not to get any of the black water on his skin. Oh, yeah, it kills you. Cool. Okay, what that do we works. need to mix that with? I think that was the last ingredient. Let's take a look. Oh, I think. Boop. The realm of the dead is a very dangerous place. There's no time for that here. Oh, all right. We well, can't use magic in the realm of the dead. Guess not. Oh shit. Um. Hello, friendly fellow. <laughs> Hi. You look like a nice guy. I must see the Lord of the Dead. Please let me ride across the river Styx Looking on the ferry. Charon apparently has rules as strict as those of the skeletons at the underworld's entrance. Alexander is not getting on that boat until he gives Charon the appropriate fare. Looks like he's touching his pee pee. Yeah. Charon tickles Alexander's balls. <laughs> Alexander likes it. I do not! <laughs> no. Alright, we'll figure this out next time on Steam Train. See ya! I'd say stuff, but I'm dead. Mm, I ain't got a tongue. Skeletons can't talk if they haven't got tongues. Yeah. And that's a fact. Okay, welcome back to Steam Train. Hey, hi, how, you, how you doing? We're we still, are... still getting fondled by a skeleton. Yeah. This is giving us a little tickle, but... It'd be funny if like one of these people on this boat were like, Hey, come on! <laughs> I ain't got all fucking day! <laughs>
I got places to be! Things to be dead! Uh, mm. Mm. What can I- Oh, the fucking coins! I- I thought he, you knew that! I he, thought he, it was so obvious I didn't need to tell you. That's fair, okay, got it. I knew it wasn't tickling your balls. coins do as fair for passage. Closer. Charon accepts the fare, and waves Alexander onto the boat. Sparkling conversationalist. Mm-hmm. What a spooky, crazy idea that, that love, like, this is what happens when you die. Some people actually believe this. What, the Greek, like, Greek mythology? Yeah, yeah, yeah. People still believe in Greek, Greek mythology? Well, believed. Most of this game pretty much is Greek mythology. Yeah, a lot of it. Um, let's see here. I still can't get over how good that skeleton dance was. Oh, it was marvelous. It was so great. It made me feel so good. Alexander reaches out to open the gate. Suddenly, the wood trembles beneath his fingertips. Oh shit! <gasps> it's Skeletor! <laughs> what touch has awakened my sleep? Oh, that sounds familiar. Yeah. I smell the blood of a mortal. Reach out thine hand again, fleshy human, that I might devour it. It has been centuries since I last ate. Okay. All right, uh, let's give him something to eat. Give him the glove. You know what? Actually, before we continue, can I just say how mm -hmm. fucking cool... Like, look how much they do with, like, just a little pixel oh my thing. God. Yeah, the reflections from the fire upstairs. It, it, yeah, it really makes it feel like a dark river, and, like, all it is is, like, ten little pixels. Like, blah, 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 blah. The fucking environment's beautiful. It's like Geiger yeah, painting. Are, yeah. Like, <laughs> Sierra, I love you. God, you get everything right. Um, I still think the hand's what you need to throw in, because he said, I'll bite your hand. The hand? Yeah. I have this gauntlet. That has not to do with me, human. What about that potion that says, don't, don't be shy, mortal. Me? I shall make thy death quick. Let's try to talk to him more. Despite his fear, Alexander summons his bravest voice to command the living gate. I would pass, gate. I have business with your master. My master and thine, human. I would be pleased to introduce thee. Only step forward and thou shalt meet him shortly. Oh, oh, oh. No, thank you. I come to meet the Lord of the Dead with my flesh still intact. And why should I let you pass, human, when I would much rather eat you? Oh. <laughs> I have been told that there is a way for humans to enter Death's realm. There must be something <laughs> I can do. Some task that will allow me to still pass through the door, so gate. Can you can you make it the giant mm, eye icon when he's talking? I seem to recall uh, something, a trick, uh, perhaps um, a test. Mm, ah yes, should a human try to pass, a riddle is Gates won't to ask. <clears throat> a riddle it is then. And if thou wouldst fail to answer, Gate, oh, his thirsty jaws will be thy fate. Agreed. Oh, good. Listen as though it meant thy life then, human, for it surely does. My first is foremost legally. My second circles outwardly. My third leads all in victory. My fourth twice ends a nominee. My whole is this gate's only key. My first is foremost legally. My second circles outwardly. My third leads all in victory. My fourth twice ends a nominee. My whole is this gate's only key. It can't nose? be it, it can't be nose. Because your nose is always facing like 
forward, and that's where you're gonna probably put the key in his nose. But what does my second circles outwardly mean? Um, and my third leads all in victory. I don't know. No, it mouth, has to. It th this can't just be in a vacuum. It has to like <sighs> go back to something from earlier in the game. <sighs> okay. Um, thinking. Ah. Uh, I fucking know it. No, you don't. I do. I do. I know it. I know it. I know it. But Wait, only give because. Me, give me a hint. Give me a hint. Okay. Um. We. Spider. It's a web. No. No. Uh, Black Widow. That's your second and only clue. It's not a web. Spider from this game, Ross. Yeah, the black spider. Yep. The Black Widow. Yep. She had a web. Right. So my first is foremost legally. My second. Do you remember we got something from the web? Love. My first is foremost legally. L. Second circles outwardly. O. My third leads all in victory. V. Oh my god. My fourth twice ends in nominee E. Yeah, love. motherfucker. The answer's always love. The, always with the love. L O V E. That's, That's a what I want for me. Is get that... in there and get the guy. Ah, thou traitor of the mortal plane. That was How a good didst one. Thou guess love. That riddle should never have been solved. Love is unknown in this realm. Love cannot be banished, even from this place. There are spirits still pining of it on the surface above. Still less can it be banished from my heart. Enough! Burden me not with Gross thy torture. Pass through and quickly before I change my mind. That guy's got an awesome voice. He does. Oh fuck. That Shit. the Lord of the Dead. That's fucking rad. It's super rad! Alright, we better save the shit That's out of this. so fucking metal. <laughs> so fucking metal. Puns from mom. So... Fucking metal! <laughs> Alright. Nice. Okay! Um... Hey, hey guys. The servants of the Lord of the Dead stand silently at the head of the path to his throne. In the center of the great cavern, the Lord of the Dead reigns over the hosts of the dead. He waves spirits into the sea of souls in an endless stream. What things the spirits tell him are best unheard by mortal ears. Okay. All right. Hey, fellas. Excuse me. I'd like an audience, please. The shrouded guards escort Alexander to the throne of the Lord of the Dead. Why have you oh, entered fuck. my domain, still wearing your flesh? If you are so anxious for death, you might have found it easily enough in the land of the living. But since you are here, you are most welcome to stay. Kiss my hand, and you will be one with the spirits. There will be no pain. <laughs> okay. Uh, kiss my hand. Just kiss it. Come on. I'm gonna pass. Yeah, I gotta slap let's, him. Let's chat some more. I seek a boon, my lord. Why should death grant you anything, mortal? This guy's fucking Shh. creepy. He's super Our bad. Will to live is strong, is it not? He's like a Klingon Triceratops Cardassian. I will reach out to you. The Lord of the Dead's oh, touch fills Alexander instantly with a numbing cold and blackness. That's oh not God. good. <laughs> oh damn! Damn! Something, something weird about having a skull with Alexander's like perfectly quaffed slick hair. Yeah, no, it's funny. Wasn't into that. Restore. All right, All right yeah. Good thing we saved it. The guy was definitely so, so fucking, fucking metal. metal. So metal.
All right, well, we'll figure out how to deal with this next time on Steam Train. Next time on Steam Train. It'll it's only, it's only the Lord of the fucking dead. Oh, gross, Ross. There's a tiny fart. Does it smell? I'm sorry. Very mature of me. Once we don't, I think I hope you can still love me. All right, here we go. Alexander approaches the throne of the Lord of the Dead. Why have you entered? Oh, blah blah blah. We know from last time. Mm -hmm. You might have found it easily enough in the land of the living. Look at his stitched together body. But oh, since you are here, and his stitched together you knee bone. Most welcome to stay. This guy's awesome. Yeah, he's so Kiss rad. Kiss my hand, and you will be one with the spirits. There will be no pain. All right, so I gotta do something. If I slap him. Give him a gauntlet. I did not come here to die, but to demand my right of challenge. I respectfully challenge thee, death, by throwing down this gauntlet. Really? I don't think that's what I wanted to do, Alex. Man may pass the portal and seek its master, death. Man may pass where death has trod and challenge like Scheherazade, he who reigns beneath the sod to spare a mortal's breath. It's like Jerry Seinfeld right now. He has the gauntlet! Impossible! Impossible. Who? He challenges death. Who are you to challenge death? Damn. A man of flesh is all I need to be, my lord. And what is it that you seek with this challenge? The soul of some dead maiden? I seek the souls of King Califim and Queen Ilaria, the land of the Green Isles. You would save two human souls and emerge alive from this realm yourself? Jesus Christ. That shall be a difficult challenge indeed. The tomb does not open its doors lightly. Either all three of us leave or none go. Very well. Then let me think of an appropriate task. Suck ah, my dick. Yes, I have it now. Your challenge is this. For thousands of years, I have sat upon this throne. I have heard every sad tale that can be told by human lips. I have seen tragedies that ended empires, injustices that defy reason. Love that would light the very stars turn cold and hard. I have seen torments that cannot possibly be born, and yet must be for centuries. This thing I have never done. I have never shed a tear. Make me cry, thou man of flesh. That is my challenge. Make the death cry? Sooner could he turn sea to stone or fire to ice. Okay. Uh, do you get any onions? <laughs> yeah, right? Shit. What do we have? Oh, drink this? We got, we got a book, a mirror, a knife, feather. The smell? The smelly flower? Maybe the handkerchief? Alright, you know what? Let's definitely save this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. So fucking metal. Don't become a monster. Go for it. Real men cry. Oh, that's true. Okay, uh, maybe if we give him the handkerchief uh, of the mom gave to her son. The Lord of the Dead is unlikely to be moved by the Mother Ghost's tale of woe. Yeah, okay. I agree. That's just too simple. What if he- oh, a mirror. You think so? Looks at himself. It's like really poetic, like, like Oh, I'm so fucking metal. Oh god, I'm s I am can not get any more metal than this. Okay, if your existence has been all that you say it has, then truth alone shall be my sword. The mirror's surface swirls with darkness for a moment, then fills with images even blacker. 
Reflections of despair, of wailing souls, of shackles colder and more immutable than any forged by man, of a world of thirsts that can never be quenched. Alexander feels the mirror tremble in his grasp and is glad that he cannot see its face. But the Lord of the Dead is transfixed to the mirror, to the screening of his life. Things long forgotten are once more uncovered. His enslavement to this throne while still a man. The years of watching misery and horror and growing ever more numb to it. The seep of his own humanity. The slow growth of a new thing altogether which became that which he is now. His is an existence that has no possibility of redemption, no end. The surrounding spirits draw away in pain. The truth is so sharp it stabs, so intense it sears. <gasps> oh man, Take it damn. away! Make it stop! I think you got that right, Russ. I did. I knew some poetic shit, man. Yes! The mirror of truth cracks from the strain, and death sheds a single gray tear. Truth is indeed a terrible thing. I have worn this mantle for so long, I had forgotten its dreadful weight. You shall take the souls and leave as I agreed. You have been granted to stay from this inevitable reality. I almost envy you. Find the souls he has claimed and bring them to me. Damn. Damn. King Calafim and Queen Alaria, I presume. Your hero has won you a few more years of mortality. May your souls be more prepared for their rest when you return. Oh my god. Yeah. Thank you, my lord. I hope that they will. And you, man of flesh. My steed shall take the three of you back to the land of the living. Tell her where it is you wish to go. Nice. King Graham didn't do this shit. He just fucking followed a... I, I know. Yes, owl around. Again, then. <laughs> Shit got real. I assure you, we will meet again. Graves' son is so fucking no mad. No offense, my lord, <laughs> but I hope that will be many long years from now. It is never as long as you might wish, mortal. Mm. No. So true. Be gone. Yes, my lord. Isn't that the truth? Damn, was it- is it just me or did this get kind of like riveting a little bit? Yeah. That like, was kind of fucking awesome. Yeah, I just kind of pictured what kind of horrors would be in that- Oh god, that's so mental. That's awesome. I'm sure whatever's in front of us is very beautiful if a horse didn't have such a big head. <laughs> Are you coming, Majesty? El Hazred's treachery must be handled carefully, Alexander. I'd rather stay here Alari all Alari and I must go gather our allies and form a plan. <laughs> Watch over Kasima. Make sure she comes to no harm. We will return as soon as we can to take back all that has been stolen from us. Oh, shit. I will keep her safe until your return. Oh, shit. Thank you, son. Your love for our daughter must be deep indeed for you to have undertaken death itself for our sakes. Indeed. May we succeed in what awaits us and live long together as a family. So nice, close, son. Hell yeah! All right, cool. That rocked. That was fucking metal. That's <laughs> very cool. Um. Hey, Sing Sing. Um. All right, we should save it. Mm-hmm. Because mm -hmm. good good things happened. Let's save over uh. Bog cams for jerking. <laughs> Okay, what just happened? We just fucking saved ghosts and brought them back to life because we made death cry. Grammy got shit on him. Alexander, you mean us? Yeah. Okay. Cool. What is it, buddy? 
Oh, that's right. We need to communicate with Kasima. Oh yeah, tell her that. The... Um. So what do we give him? Not the handkerchief. Know. The potion for her to drink. I'm kidding. A knife. Definitely give her. Just give her the knife. She can shank everyone give there. Give him the knife. The skeleton key. She can escape. Ooh. Good thinking. Stop going around. Alexander shows the object to the bird, hoping to interest her. The nightingale doesn't want anything to do with that key made of bones. Okay, It's okay. gotta be something light. Like, yeah, it's, uh, like, this uh, tiny bird has to carry it. Um, okay, okay. Uh, Not the ribbon, she gave that to us. Lucky paw, mint leaf. Maybe the rose? Yeah, give her the rose. Alexander yes. holds out the rose, hoping that the bird will deliver it to Cosima. Yes. The nightingale takes the rose and heads for the castle once more. Yeah. Sup? A white rose, how beautiful. It must be from Alexander. How I wish that I could see him with my own eyes. But Abdul will never allow it. He only risks on too much by sending on me mm -hmm. these things, dear to my heart though they are. Fly elsewhere, my pretty friend. Do not endanger Prince Alexander again by taking tokens from his hand. Forgive me, Alexander, and forget me. I cannot return your love for fear that I shall never leave this castle again. Just mashes the bird against the wall. Like, <laughs> won't be needing this anymore. Alexander waits in vain for Cosima's nightingale to return, but the bird does not. Could there be something wrong? Oh, or shit. does Cosima simply not welcome his attentions further? Oh. Oh. Oh, oh. oh, just stand here so sad <laughs> as we contemplate next time on Steam Train. Next time on Steam Train. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And we're brr. We're so brr. Hey, that dude. He wanted teapot things, right? Yeah, but not yet. Let's talk to LeVar Burton. Yeah. Good day, Prince Alexander. Fucking genie's there. Yeah, this fucking asshole is everywhere. You steal mints right from under him. Mm hmm, mm hmm. The mint dish is empty. Damn it. Just give him it's like no one and no one ever talks to him. They just fucking mm -hmm. steal mints. How fare you, good merchant? Thankfully, I fare better than my business. My shop is as silent as the moon these days. <laughs> Nobody on this island, dude. It's like five people. And three of them are in here. <laughs> <laughs> um all right, it's got to be time for the last thing now. What's the last thing? I can't remember. The pawn shop is already filled. Oh. Would you mind if I traded this in? Of course, Prince Alex. Please, choose something in exchange for the items on the counter. Alexander looks closely at the items on the counter to make his selection. What have we used? Mm. Oh, the paintbrush. Oh. I think I'd like the painter's brush. Very good, Prince Alex. The painter's brush it is. May your painting go well. Feel free to bring back the brush at any time. Thank you. I'm going to. I hate your shit. <laughs> Can we fucking please figure out what you are? Haven't I seen you somewhere before, sir? No! But I'm quite sure. Perhaps on some cliffs. No! <laughs> Isle of the Beast? No! Dockside? No! Leave me alone! Give him some mint. Not very friendly, is he? Bet you give him, try to give him some mint, see what he does. Alright, see what happens. Save. This, this while you're not here. Or did this. Gotta get your facts. Okay. Um.
Um, what is this again? It's like a potion thing. Don't drink this. There's also the mint leaf right there. You can just give it to him yeah. and see what he does. See what happens. Alexander decides to offer the old man some peppermint leaves. Can I offer you some peppermint, sir? Mm, mint! Yum! <laughs> I don't think that was right, though, because we didn't get the little ding. Oh, we didn't? No. Well, let's reload, then. Okay. We probably needed that. <laughs> that fucker ate our mint and left! We're definitely supposed to do something, though. Yeah, well, at least we know that's something he'll react to. Like, he'll, yeah. he'll want it, but, like, if we didn't get the ding... Yeah. We did. We done did. The wrong. little bottle contains some sort of potion, and bears a label saying "Drink me." Oh yeah, drink That's me. That's rather forward of it. Try it. See what he does. All right. Alexander That's the suddenly thing. gets a very sneaky idea. I can't go on anymore. Without Kasima, I'd just rather not live. Prince Alex, no. It's true. The Wazir has beaten me. I give up. Poison is my last resort. Stop. Shut your bombaclot mouth. I am... no... more. A waste. So the sad. poor young fool. He's dead. He's dead. Wait until Abdul hears. He'll be so pleased. Oh. We want him to think we're dead. Yes. I told you not to pop in like that. You can learn to knock like everybody else. Maybe wear a shirt too. Sorry, master. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I have great news. Well, what is it? Prince <laughs> Alexander is dead. He killed himself in despair over losing Kasima. <laughs> what? Are you positive? That young man has proven to be most devious. I saw the whole thing myself, Master. He was really and truly quite dead. Hmm. If what you say is true, it shall be most convenient. You've spent enough time on that little irritant. We must start thinking about the wedding. The wedding? Anything, mm. Master. Oh, I do love weddings. Well, we do want you to look your prettiest, don't we? What? Now, Shamir Shamizel, to the lamp with you. Prepare yourself as we discussed. What? Sh sh oh. Oh. You made the Alexander's same connection. Yeah, to he's gonna chest. look like the princess and marry him. Well, no, no, no. I. Prince yeah, because Alex, he want people to think it's a real marriage. Well, that, but I, I thought of something Sorry, else. Say in a second. I was doing a little acting, I'm afraid. Ah, of course, the strange cloaked man. You are quite clever, and a bit too exciting for an old man. Thanks for scaring the shit out of me. <laughs> I crap my pants. Get out of my store and mm. come again. <laughs> <laughs> what I saw. Mm -hmm. Was that this dude is looking to trade lamps? Mm hmm. So, wait, I'll, t I'll show you. Good all day, right, brother. Right. Good day, sir. <laughs> if you would like to get one of my fine new lamps, I'll need an old lamp in trade. Isn't it a rather bad business? <laughs> say. Taking old lamps and giving new lamps in exchange? Well, there's always a chance that I'll find a genie. <laughs> if I had a genie, I'd be richer than a king. Besides, there's always a roaring business in antique luminaries. Okay. Did you take note of mm -hmm. what the bottle looked like that uh, fucking Shamir Shamazel turned into? 
No. There's I'll no say. reason to use that. Th Excuse me, peddler. Ah, an old lamp. And what a nice traditional design, too. Take your pick of my new lamps. Boom. It's this one. We oh, want yeah? we want the one that looks like the one that he went into. Oh right. So we can sucker him into choice, it. my son. Here is your new lamp. Whoa. Whoa. And we're frozen. Okay, well, that certainly uh froze on us. Yeah. So let's try that again. Crash that shit. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, peddler. Excuse me, but peddler. You may remember me from before everything got fucked. Mm-hmm. Before the Windows desktop. <laughs> All right. So there's the bottle. Okay. okay. We need it. Boop. Ah, a fine choice, my son. Here is your new lamp. Good day, and I thank you, sir. Good day. Peace out. Peace out, brother. Oh, give me a little crown, give me a little crown, give me a little crown, yeah! yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, oh. He's jerking off the lamp. Drat! Another dud! The fuck do you expect? Crazy old bastard. Alright. Um. Wait. Yes? Let's see if. Let's see if the handkerchief thing. Hello. I will be right up. No! Attend me! Now! Now, what can I do for you? Give him that handkerchief. Give him that kerchief, bruh. Hope it's the same I like. <laughs> he just didn't get it. He's like, thanks! Need to take a shit? <laughs> Blows his nose in it. Alexander might have a hard time trying to explain that ghost handkerchief. Oh, I guess it's not the same Ali. Alright. Wait, are you sure? Later. Yeah, I gave it to him. Nothing happened. It was Ali's books. Yeah. You can't have them. Well, we're in an Arabian place, like... <laughs> like the name of, Steve! A lot of Ali's flying around. Are you sure that's not him? Oh, I do believe so. Okay, so hang on. Now we've got a bottle. Yep. But we probably need to do the side quest before we can do the final quest, I imagine, right? Well, I think we have enough to make a spell now that we have the bottle. Oh, shit. Yep, the swamp ooze, the rivers... Oh, we didn't add the feather to the cup. Okay, hang on, let's do that. Boop. To the boop. Alexander dips the large black feather into the teacup. And stirs the contents gently. Unless the river, river sticks. Yep, river sticks and ooze, the swamp ooze. To his amazement, the jet black color of the feather slowly drains from end to tip into the teacup. Whoa. The teacup mixture blackens and thickens to a paint-like consistency. Alexander carefully puts it away, discarding the drained feather. Cool, we've got magic paint now. Shit. Yes. Do you want to use that uh, next time on Steam Train? I guess we should. Okay. Yeah, we got to get into that castle somehow. That sounds good. Oh my god, let's do it! Oh, those fucking dogs. Hold on, first! I'm going to hide in here. Okay, goodbye. Wait, wait, uh, uh, oh, 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 Shh. They'll never find me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome back to Steam Train! Okay. And we're, uh, uh, go back. What? Go back. It looks like he's peeing in a urinal. Yeah. Don't pick up my wiener, I'm nervous. I'll, I'll be out in a minute. Why didn't they build doors for this? <laughs> okay, so I think I have an idea of what we gotta do. What you gotta do? We gotta... I mean, these these fuckers ain't gonna let me in. Because they've been dicks this entire playthrough. Oh. Oh. But... We've got this. The wall is quite solid. Alexander's hands would give way long before the wall did. But, but, if we had ourselves a little magic paint, maybe? Don't seem to be mm. any 
Wait. It's mm -hmm. just the cup. Oh. Feeling artistically inspired, yes. Alexander decides to make use of the large blank castle wall. I wonder what would have happened if you used the hole in the wall in this wall. Draw a door. Ah, a doorway. Just what Alexander was thinking this wall needed. You would have just seen the same thing that we're about to see. Really? Alexander would love to go through the painted door, but that wall is still quite solid. Oh, crap. Oh, maybe I need the spell to activate it? Maybe. Alexander opens the spell book. Magic paint spell. Yeah, cast. With trepidation, Alexander gathers his strength for the enchantment of the painted door. Magic paint, black as oh. ink. Bring to life what I think. Make it real what I draw. According, the spell worked. <laughs> okay, the door okay. Is Didn't magically it. solidified. According to law, we'll just say. Oh, right it was law. law. I, I, I guess. I don't know. Eager to be inside the castle at last, Alexander opens the enchanted door. Oh, I want him inside and steps your castle. Inside. Yes. yes. Oh my God. The oh fuck. Door fades back into the wall. So much for an easy exit. This shit looks regal. All right, it's savey time. Savey time. Do it. Replace stones can't move. Castle. Bow. Basil. Castle. Bow. Basil. Okay. Let's check out these doors. Alexander opens the dungeon door and slips inside. Nope. Not a goddamn thing. Hmm. Is that over here? Alexander sees nothing to do. Alexander opens the dungeon door. Oh my god. Oh. Mother? Mother, where are you? Oh no! Did he get murdered here? Sad, dead ghost boy. What's the matter, little boy? Innocence lost. <gasps> I'm Spider. lost. I can't find my mother. I don't know why she would just leave me here. <laughs> I've been alone. You're the big boy, Becky <laughs> King. <laughs> mother. Oh god, that's awful. Yeah, give him that. Give him the kerchief. Don't be sad, buddy. You must be the son of the spirit I met in the realm of the dead. She gave me this handkerchief and asked me to tell you that she's waiting for you there. Whoa. It's Mama's. It even smells like her. Ooh. I can feel her now. I know where to go. Wait. Before you go, is there anything you can tell me about the castle? I like to play in secret places. In the basement behind the Man of Steel is a door. Nobody except me knows it's there anymore. Behind the Man of Steel? All right. S Superman? <laughs> Iron Man? Okay, bye Peter Pan. Okay. This thing- oh, hello friendly spider. Friendly A man. brown spider peers down at the man in the cell with little interest. <laughs> bye. Bye, see you later. Alexander is standing in a dim, damp dungeon cell. The walls and floor are made of gray granite stones. A cot in the corner is the only furniture. A gargoyle peers down maliciously from over the dungeon door. It'd be funny if someone just locked the door and that's the end of the game. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. Oh, the spider just came came at you. Nah, he's, he's just background. Iron Man, over there. See? Oh, yeah. Um. But he said in the basement. Yeah, but that's the basement. Right? 
I don't know. Indeed. A closed door on the north wall bears a small brass plaque. The plaque reads, guard room. Uh-oh. Oh, this is not where I want to be right now. Well, you already saved after that kid, right? Did you? No. Let's do that. Tickets are... Do it, Ross. Is a mission. It's a mission. Oh, gotcha. Let's see if I can move this thing. Alexander examines the suit of armor, but sees nothing special. Guess I can't. Okay. Well, that settles that. Alexander hears the clear sound of guard dog voices coming from behind the oh, door. Oh, guard dog voices. He decides opening the door wouldn't be wise. Okay. I like that this game doesn't, like, let you kill yourself in incredibly stupid ways. Yeah. You know? It's like, it's like just don't... Don't fucking do that. Um... Maybe here? Alexander decides to find out what's on the other side of that door. It's your friend. Jalo! Prince Alexander! God. I can't believe it! Do you have How a library voice? Castle? Yeah. Well, I... Hey! Actually, it's a little hard to explain. I bet. <laughs> you run the terrible risk of being here, though. The castle is crawling with guard dogs, especially today. The wazir will have your hide if he finds you. Oh, no. I know that, Jallo. But Kasima is being married today. What greater risk is there than that? Of course you're right. Young love. <laughs> I forgot what heartburn it is. But what are you supposed oh to God. do about it? <laughs> God. This guy. I think the guy turned us into a werewolf. Maybe even stop the wedding. Is that all? And here I thought you would try something dangerous. <sighs> <laughs> Don't worry about me, friend. Just tell me. Where is Kasima? As far as I know, she's still in her bedroom upstairs. You'd never make it up there, though. The god dogs are everywhere, and they're very loyal to the crown. Oh, Unfortunately, slap your flat face. right now the crown means Alhazred. It'd be really spongy. If we had proof of something truly afoul, the god dogs might listen. As it is, they're your enemies, not his. Oh, shit. I understand. Okay, so the guard dogs are no bad. lack of enemies since I got here. In fact, well, if they saw you'd the almost king think queen, I wasn't welcome. Then we'd have an army. There's probably a good reason why so many wish to harm you. I believe the Wazir's genie has learned of your presence on the islands. Tell me about this genie. Oh, don't Al ask. Red brought oh the genie God. with him when he came to this kingdom. <laughs> It, is seldom it goes the back to the year 1842. Now <laughs> that was a good year. <laughs> but that doesn't mean he isn't dangerous. In fact, he is quite powerful. If, for example, we could get the genie's lamp, then you could master the genie. El Hazred and all our other problems would be solved. Hmm. Is that merely wishful thinking? Or do you have something in mind? Well, I admit I have often daydreamed about owning that oh, lamp. Oh my god, shut <laughs> up. <laughs> Fucking shut it's up. It's okay, I know what we need to do. Oh we, my god, we, shut up. We need no to, one cares. We, we need to give him... Stupid We need idiot. to give him the bottle, we need to give him the bottle, obviously. I've been thinking of what you said about swapping a replica for the genie's lamp. I got this lamp from the old lamp seller in town. Do you think it will pass? I don't know. <laughs> Let me talk about it. Why, yes! It's an exact replica. That's amazing. How did you guess? I suppose it was intuition. <laughs> I saw a cutscene. I'll have to wait for the right moment, mind you. But I should be able to get close enough to swap this for the real thing. And none shall be the wiser. Now you shall see Jalo's skill. I'm sure your hands are mightier than my sword, my clever friend. Oh, I hope not. Oh, God. 
Go ahead and do as you've planned, and let me worry about swapping the lamp. If I ac okay, I okay, oh, it. no oh, okay. one cares. Got just it. goofy walking idiot <laughs> face out of here. You don't like Jalo? No, I hate him. I like him. So annoying. He's. I think he's fine. Every time. Like, you can't see me, but every time he's talking, I just have my head, <laughs> oh, like, back on the couch with my mouth open, like, Oh my god. He's my favorite. Up. He's my favorite. Because he upsets favorite. you. Also, he has a urine fireplace. <laughs> <laughs> I pretty... thought it was a urinal. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next, Next time, time on Game Grumps. Steve... Wait, oh, Steve. Steve oh. Train! <laughs> Sorry. <The> Steve <laughs> Train! Sorry. Jalo confused me. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna pee on you. Okay. I'm gonna pee all over you. <laughs> Brilliant. Here comes my Justin Nick. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Try to end the episode. <laughs> Sorry. All right. We all just right. had a nice long conversation with our favorite guy, Jallo. Mm -hmm. And Ross is gonna save it. Uh, so we, if we mm -hmm. die, we don't have to do that again. Uh, Jallo? Jallo. J-O-L-L-O. There's always room for Jalo. Okay, easy now. <laughs> Jeez, Ross. It's really gonna stand out against your other <laughs> save games. Alright. I bet someone out there, like, Jalo's their favorite character. They have, like, a Jalo fanfiction, a <laughs> Jalo Tumblr, and a Jalo like, Avatar. Ross. The name's Jalo Fan 619, <laughs> and they're just like, Fuck you, Ross! Jalo's life! Yeah. Jalo's wisdom! Jalo's. I like him. I think he's great. Uh. Okay. Hello at my Jollos! <laughs> oh god, I hate him so much. This, I don't. This has to be the man of steel he was talking about. Well, we haven't gone the whole way around. There's, there was, an, there was another. Alexander examines the suit maybe. of armor, but sees nothing special. Yeah, go around the corner, maybe. Can you? Uh, like down there? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Like there might be another one. We don't even know which one's the basement door. Nope. Mm, that doesn't make sense perspective-wise. but yeah, okay. Whatever. No, that has to be it. That has to be it. We're just not doing it right. Uh, is there a certain item you have to use? Skeleton key. Hold on. Maybe his hand is sticking out weird. Maybe, oh. Maybe we have to touch his hand. Remembering yeah. what the little boy ghosts. Yes. Right, the hand. Alexander experiments with the suit of armor. He pushes down. He gently puts his penis in the hand. Shit, no. <laughs> the cold feeling of the steel yes. on his shaft. Passage. There it is. Awesome. Alexander hears the sound of voices coming from nearby. I'm gonna peer. Stare Wainer through. <laughs> Alexander <laughs> peers through the chink in the wall. Captain, I've been hearing rumors from the guards who've been watching the princess. They say lately she's been pounding on her door and begging to be let out. Ain't none of my business, sir, but news like that is upsetting the other dogs. Ain't no guard in the castle who would willingly keep the princess anywhere she don't want to be. <sighs> Hazred claims that a foreign intruder is here to assassinate her. That's why she's got to be kept under lock and key right up until the wedding. Call me an old dog that can't learn new tricks, but I say the princess should be the one given the orders. Al Hazred has been in charge for months, what with the king's death and Kasima's mourning. Tonight, the wedding will seal it, and there's nothing we can do about it. Like him or not, he's our liege. Need I remind you of your oath to the crown? Yeah, see, these dogs are good. Aye, we've an oath. For the sake of the princess, we'll not be forgetting it. He'd just better treat her well. Speaking of the wazir, what do you reckon he's keeping in that magical room of his? Nice fucking vocal it's not balance. A magic room. <laughs> it's just the door he's enchanted somehow. I say he's still got the royal treasury in there, along with whatever else he's so eager to protect. Not even the court treasurer is allowed in there anymore. I heard him in the hall the other day. Did this guy record his fucking that. shit in like a closet in a different building? Yeah. I heard him say across the street. <laughs> but then Bay came up and started yapping at me. Oh my god. Enough! It is not our No one can hear you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Your tiny voice is nothing. <laughs> the 
wedding will be starting soon. Report to the throne room when you hear the music start. Fucking microphone backwards. Yeah. He's speaking to that door. Black magic is what I say. I heard him say alley, but then Bay came up and started yapping at me. What the? All right. Okay. That was weird, but whatever. Sure. Okay. Now he's got to get the stairs down. Uh, yeah. Uh, ah, there, there we, we go. Perspective. I learn stairs. Look at me stairsing. Three quarter stair walk on a profile Ooh, stair. That was a climb. Alexander hears the faint sound of a woman crying nearby. Ooh. Wait. Save it. Boop. <laughs> fuck. Okay. <laughs> ready, not replace. fuck Jalo. Replace. Okay. 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 Go. <laughs> 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 so stupid. All right, uh, let's take a peek. Alexander peers through the chinks in the wall, trying to the locate what? the source of the crying sounds. What? Alexander's palms begin to sweat, and his heart to race. It's her. It's Cosima. He's found her. Stick his arm through. Psst. Princess Cosima. What? Check out my dick. Who's there? <laughs> It is I, Alexander. Here I can and prove it. Here's my penis. <laughs> my, how suave that sounds. Alexander? It really is you. Oh, I knew you were close by, but how did you get inside the castle walls? It's a long story and not important now. You got kind of fat. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, for someone who's locked in a room, you've sure been eating a lot. Comfort, Alexander, to know you were close by and had not forgotten. But you should mouth be movements here. are hilarious. You're yeah. only endangering yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care about the danger. I would brave anything to learn. What is it? Alhazred. Do you want to wed him, Kasima? Oh, please believe me when I say that I never agreed to marry that man. Even when my father trusted Abdul absolutely, I never liked him. But with mother and father gone, I'm afraid there's no stopping him. If you do not wish to marry him, Kasima, you shall not. I promise you. <laughs> As God is my witness, like punches through. <laughs> punches through and slaps her in the mouth? <laughs> shit, shit, I'm a murderer. Sorry, sorry. Besides, do you think I could leave my kingdom, my people, in Abdul's hands? What? But Abdul would tear the castle apart if I were to disappear from my room. You shall have to do what you can to delay his plans from your end. I can't just leave you here. Alexander, do not despair from me. I have been safe in this room for nearly six months now. Abdul can be in no hurry, whatever he plans. After all, <laughs> I'm to be his bride, am 26 I not? pack of donuts every day. <laughs> <laughs> I would be happy to see If I could only get a chance to lay my hands on a weapon, there might be an opportunity oh God, in the hustle dude. of the wedding. I like this music. But I... <laughs> Just a moment more, then you must go. Let us not waste Sneak time with Dairy words. Queen through this Please, hall. let me just look at you, dear Alexander. Aww. Yeah, if I can only, this is like awkwardly tries to put his whole head through the kisser. No, I gotta give her something. Oh. A scythe. Knife. Killer. Maraca. Bunny paw. Stinky flower. <laughs> Are you serious? Here. Oh. Take this dagger. It's not much, but it might come in handy. That was super lucky. Oh my god. Holy perfect. shit. Perfect. This is just the sort of thing I've been looking for. Thank you, Alexander. I'll wow. keep it close and use it if I must. She just That's the end of the game. Shink. Oh, I love this music. So, uh... Shh. Oh, no! Oh, okay. Someone's coming! The lock on Cosima's door rattles abruptly. Alexander, hurry! Step away before they see you! Alexander hears scuffling and a woman's brief cry from the other side of the wall. Then, silence. Alexander looks through the chinks in the wall, anxious to see what the commotion was about. You're gonna have to watch the whole cutscene again. Cosima is gone. Nah. Where could they have taken her? How could he have let them take her? The wizard's <laughs> penis comes through. <laughs> 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 
now suck it. <laughs> wow. All right. That was intense. Yeah, this game's had a lot of glory hole jokes. I know. It's, uh, we did. I'm proud of us that we didn't make a chink joke. A chink in the wall. Hmm. Never mind. Oh. And if you don't know what that term is, then there's no. Oh. Need. Yeah. Oh God. I'm making that. I'm, no. I'm not, yeah. I'm not going I'm, there. I'm just, I'm just proud that we did that. Mm hmm. Oh. Alexander? Just fucking. Just sucks, I can't let Another things. delicious hole. Pretty this whole. Alexander this entire hole had, like, dicks popping right, out of the wall. Hold on. Hold on. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Dear Shadrach, salutations from the Society of the Black Cloak, etc., <laughs> etc. Et My long preparations are about steady. to come to fruition. <laughs> In a matter of minutes, I will wed the lovely <laughs> Kasima. He like writes out ha ha ha. <laughs> Once LOL. I've established my power <laughs> and my crown, God. I can stage another accident. This game is before LOL existed. No, uh, they had an equivalent during Roman times. The princess has actually put in few infuriatingly yeah. stubborn. I forgot what it was, but it did exist. No She's shit. Becoming no. quite a dangerous little thorn in my side. In a way, it is a shame I have to kill her. She is lovely and would be amusing to keep around, but I can't risk her talking treason to one of the guards. So far, I've managed to keep her locked away, but I can't continue that forever. Well, on to it now. I'd send her to you, but as you know, I had no luck in doing so with Mordak. I close in triumph. King Abdul Alhazred. I think it's about time to see if Shamir has taken care of the wench as I asked. It's almost time for the wedding. Damn. Oh, shit. What a douche. What a D-bag. The wizard's words thing. fill Alexander with blazing anger and fear for Kasima's life. That I'm black, filled with anger that and fear. Murderous swine. He'll not have his way if you can I see have it anything in my to face. say about it. <laughs> so expressive. All right. Next time on Steam Train. Next time Steam Train. Yeah, we're gonna fucking we're gonna foil this goddamn plot. Foil the plot. God, damn it. <laughs> what? Nothing. Oh. Just the staring at your eyes. Oh, thank you. Hey, welcome back to Steam Train. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, we're getting quite close now. Um, let's uh let's keep a walking. Uh huh. It's like Arrested Development hiding in the walls. Yeah, it is. Where are we? The old walls are dirty and show the neglect of a forgotten place. Let's see. Oh, what is this? There's a vague outline of what appears to be a door on the wall. Oh, oh shit! Uh, Can we go through it? Uh, I mean, there's gotta be. Yeah? Poke it. Yes! Yes! Alexander sees lots of black cloaks. Oh, it's his bedroom. Oh, super sneaky snacky. Oh, it's his escape route if he needs it. Okay, where are we? Alexander is standing in a masculine bedroom. Polished marble walls rise to meet a tall ceiling, and the oh. furnishings have an opulent feeling. He wonders whose bedroom this is. It's the bad guys. It's gotta be. Well, does it mean we can sw swap out his, his, his genie? Or something? Well, Jalo's swapping out the genie. Oh, that's right, Jalo. Yeah, yeah, fucking yeah. hate that guy. <laughs> Alright, easy now. A fire in a small hearth warms the bedroom. A canopied bed arranged with silk bedclothes and large pillows stands in one corner of the room. Okay. Just jerk off all over his bed. Be just get, just come stand Ross, all over that thing. There's no time. I don't. I would love to jerk off on everything here. You mm -hmm. know that. Mm -hmm. A storage trunk sits at the foot of the bed. The trunk bears a large brass lock. Okay. Just fucking jizz all over it. Hold on. <laughs> There's a box of ebony on the table. Ebony? Alright, that's not locked. So let's see what's up. Alexander opens the ebony box and looks inside. Hmm. Uh, what's that number thing? Inside the ebony box is a piece of paper with the word Zebu printed on it. Oh, I would have said Zebu? Yeah, okay, it looks sure. like Zebu to me. Let's take it. Alexander can read the piece of paper without taking it. <laughs> Okay, he wants uh, us. He, wants to, he yeah. wants us to remember Zebu. Okay, you got it. A it's like a old brush is among the box's trinkets. It's like a baby zebra. 
Oh. Zebu. What's up, little Zebu? The brush is old and small. Alexander isn't interested in taking it. Pretty random. Pretty random the things you want to take and don't want to take. Mm -hmm. Some old ivory dice have been left in the box. Okay. Alright. Can we take it? The bottle contains only a small amount of black ink. Most of it dried at the bottom. Alexander decides to leave it there. All so right. It doesn't seem like we can take much from here. Yeah. The brush is old. And yep. Okay. The bottle contains only. Nope. Okay. Is it, I uh, guess we just have to remember Zebu. Yeah. Finding Gasima is no game of chance. <laughs> Give me the fucking dice, you piece of shit. Uh. Okay. All right. Let's see what's up with this chest. The trunk is locked. Okay. Great. Oh, we have a skeleton key. That's right. What am I doing? Thank you, Lord of Bones. Alexander inserts nice. the skeleton key in the trunk's lock and turns it. He hears a click. Alexander opens the trunk. It's just full of jizz. Just... <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's see what's up here. It looks like the owner of this trunk is quite the correspondent. The stack of letters appears to be ordered by date because the top one is dated only a month ago. Okay. Great. Super interesting. A few worn leather books occupy the trunk. The top one is entitled Guidebook to the Land of the Green Isle. A book like that might have been a big help when Alexander first arrived. Oh, thank you. The trunk's yeah, owner obviously funny. found it interesting too, for the guidebook is dog-eared and stained. What? Dog-eared, like um, like the edges are all bent. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. A small glass bottle filled with oily-looking perfume is in one corner of the trunk. Mmm, I'm an oily dude. <laughs> take Alexander it. isn't interested in the oily perfume. You gotta grease up, man. Where the fuck? Where around the offices? You got a fat cock. <laughs> I've got a fat cock too. So we get some oil. Of our fat cocks together. You wanna fucking slap them around? Together? Two fat cocks. Two fat cocks. Slap Oil. Them around. All right, let's see what. Oh. Alexander picks up the most recent letter and examines it. Oh fuck. The letter is addressed to Abdul Al Hazred from the wizard Shadrach. Nice handwriting. It reads. Greetings to a brother of the black cloak. I was sorry to hear of Great Mordak's death, though he was a bit of a ninny at chess. It seems the plans for that little kingdom of yours are coming along. I must congratulate you on your handling of the king and queen. Isolating the island so that no protest could develop was another brilliant stroke. It looks like there's not much left to stand in your way. Do as I recommended with the girl, and you shall have your crown. You dickbag. Oh my that fiend. God. <laughs> Zounds. Zounds. All right, we'd better save it, because... I feel like someone could bust in at any second and F us up. So real men cry. I mean, everybody knows it. Yeah, enjoy yourself, Ross. Live your dreams. I hear you got a fetch cock. Oh, all right. <laughs> that, that is the word around the office. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... All right, let's get out of here. Let's get let's let's get the zonk out of here. Nice. Oh shit! Who is Alexander? Oh, steps confidently out into the upstairs hallway and sees two guard dogs. Hi. Hey, who the? <laughs> um. Hello there. <laughs> Don't just stand there, grab him, Bay. <gasps> oh. I'll bet it's that saboteur fellow the wizard warned us about. I say we run him through right here and now. I say no. we let him go! <laughs> the wazir will run you through if he doesn't get a chance at the prisoner. Let's put him in the dungeon for safekeeping, then we'll go tell the captain. <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> uh, whose dad was that voice? I know. You'll stay in here until we find out what the wazir wants to do with you. The guard dogs leave Alexander to his fate, locking the door noisily behind them. <laughs> Alexander wonders how he'll get out of this one. With the skeleton key? Yeah. How about that? But... Oh. oh. Jallo! Prince Alex? Jallo, what are you doing here? 
Never mind. Quick, before the guard dog patrol comes around again. Great job getting caught, asshole. <laughs> How did you know I was... This is no place to talk, Alexander. Just trust that I know everything that goes on in this castle. Now, be more careful. If you get caught again, I don't know if I'll be able to get you out. All right, that means he oh. will not. <laughs> okay. So were we not supposed to get ca captured? No, Sierra, Sierra Games did this occasionally. Like, they would give you, like, one get out of jail free card. Um, so we just can't fuck up again. We had a skeleton key, though. Like, we could have got- Alexander will need to enter the north hallway if he wants to do anything with that armor. Ugh. No north hallway? What do you mean? This is the north hallway. Oh, 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 gotcha. Okay, so let's do this again. Alexander opens the secret passage. Shink. Oh, that's right. I just remembered. We, um... Oh, the girl through the hall. Exactly. Because we didn't, um... We didn't save it last time yeah. when we talked to her. Yeah, so yeah. So we got to do that again because... We found out we had to do it the other way around or something like well, that? Well, no, I, like, um... Alexander hears the faint sound of oh. a woman crying nearby. There she is, okay. That's Dan. That's not... No. <laughs> Real men cry. Everybody knows. Alexander peers through the chinks in the wall, trying to locate the source of the crying sounds. Talk to me again, my sweet angel. Alexander's palms begin to sweat, and his heart to race. It's Cosima. He's phoned her. He gently unzips his, his pants. pants. Yeah. Yeah. Princess Cosima. What? Who's there? We are, we've already seen this. So. Oh, yeah. My, how suave that sounds. Blah, blah. Alexander? <laughs> did we make a glory hole joke? We did make a okay, glory okay, hole okay, joke. Okay. Yeah. This is our okay. session okay. after. How okay. did you get inside? It's Oh, yeah, but I'm what? <laughs> <laughs> just like cuts to him. No, 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 no. I can't Quickly. just leave you here. I have been. But Alexander stands in the okay. secret passage. Okay. So close, yet so far from his heart's desire. Okay, so this is good. Because this actually gives us an opportunity to give her the letter. Alexander is carrying a message from his beloved Cosima. Nope. <laughs> Here's that note you sent me. <laughs> I don't want it. Alexander is carrying a letter taken from the wizard's oh, trunk. Yeah, she, she, she needs to have this. Alexander. God damn it. Because if you give it to her, then she's got evidence that he's exactly. fucking crazy. Exactly. Take it, honey. I found this letter in the wizard's bedroom. I... I think you should know what it says. <gasps> I can't believe it. I had my suspicions, but this confirms everything. Alexander, you must keep the letter. He might have a chance to show it to someone who can help you stop Alhazred. Just be careful. Will it be the cool dog people? I think so. Oh, awesome. I like the one that looks like Lassie. I like him too. Uh, I gotta give her the... Wow, they kept playing like all the theme music from the different scenes and they're playing it at the same time. Really? Is that a bug? Yeah, you can hear it. It's really funny. What a beautiful composition. Here, take this down. Here, take this down. Just accidentally stab her in the face. <laughs> Handle <on>. first! <laughs> Shh! Right, it's perfect. It just goes, delete. This is just the sort of thing I've been looking for. You stab Thank her. you, Alexander. Shh. I'll keep it close and use it if I must. You've heard this already, dude. Well, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Alexander? Bye. Oh no! Someone's coming! The lock on Cosima's door rattles abruptly. Alexander, hurry! Step away before they see you! He like sticks his face up to it. He's like, hey! Hey! Sticks his wiener through. No! We already made the glory hole joke. Can't stop making it. I know. Okay. Get out of there! You're gonna get in trouble! No, we're cool. We're cool. As long as we don't like. I think if you're in the light, though, you'll get in trouble. Okay. Get out of there. Okay. Get intense, get intense. It, it is getting intense. We better save. And next time on Steam Train. Next time on Steam Train! We'll stop making glory hole jokes. I'm sorry. No, I'm not entirely sure we will. Wait, now I must whiz. Oh, really? Yeah. Sorry. Gosh darn, I'm making Barry whiz. Oh, sorry, Barry. Gosh, gosh, sorry, Barry. Gosh, gosh, sorry, Barry. Gosh, sorry, Barry. Gosh, darn. Yay! Hey, welcome back to Steam Train! Hi. Welcome back there. Uh, Ross, it is time for you to do your, do your thing. Do your thing thing. 
Welcome back to STEM Trend. Well done, Ross. You uh, you would rock at Wheel of Fortune. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. All right, so we've done everything up here. Now we got to go back downstairs. Okay. Now we got to be careful, because we're not getting bailed out again if, uh, if we blow this. How do I get out of here? Where's that door? Uh, the door- wasn't the door- oh, there. Uh, there. oh that's there. the- is that the one you want to go through, though? Yes. Okay. I want to be back here. Okay. Time to- Can you go give the letter to the dog or something, or...? Well, yeah, I mean, we have to... Is this where we came in? No, we came into a magic door. Yeah, so we can't... Can right. we, can what we... is, so what is this door? That's There's the entrance. There's a door on the west wall. There doesn't appear to be any handle or keyhole on the door. Huh. No, this is something new. Let's let's do it. No, I thought that was the entrance. Like, that we just didn't enter through. No, no. Alexander doesn't see any way of opening that door manually. Uh... Since the door on the west wall has no visible knob or handle, Alexander decides to try to open it with his voice. Oh, sweet. And oh. composes his words carefully. Zebu. Zebu? Yeah, Zebu. That enter? That, 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 <laughs> there's no enter. Um. Um. Oh wait, no, no, no. Oh, oh they're getting oh. pressed in. Oh, oh, I made a mistake. Having chosen his words, That's not Alexander good. uses them to firmly address the door. The door does not respond. So I think that's right, but we just didn't do it properly? Hold on, try it again, try it again. Wait, let's see what we got here. Um, Are you sure? I, well, could we, I typed in Zebu. Alexander is carrying a letter taken from the wazir's trunk. Hmm. All right. I think that you're something went wrong there because like I noticed you were pressing in the letters and they were staying in. Did that? Did they stay down? The door on the west wall let's, has no visible. Okay, let's try again. Hold on. Just Z. Yeah, it goes in and go to E. Okay. Z. B. B. Nothing. Not a damn thing. Love mm. Zebu. Mm. Zebu love. Zebu love. All right, we may have to pause for a second to figure this out because this could take some fucking time. Okay. Hey. Okay. Uh, we had to break down and consult a walkthrough for this uh, because we uh, apparently missed something when the dogs were talking. The guard dogs that we were peeping on, um, they said the word Ali before they got interrupted. Mm. So the password to this is the two things together. So it's. Ali Zebu. Having chosen his words. And I. Door. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me do that again. So the, okay, so you're combining Ali and Zebu. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. A L I. God. And you can't hear that conversation again. We would have just been boned if this was the 80s or yep. 90s. Listen, door. I would have you open. Ali Zebu. It oh. worked. Nice. Nice. Well, we've been pretty good. We've been pretty good uh, about not using walkthroughs, so we're all yeah. right for now. We went on top Alexander of our ship, man. Is standing in the castle of the crown's treasure room. The soft-toned room seems very secure. Along the walls are trunks and caskets, probably full of the kingdom's treasure. In the middle of the room is a low table. All right. Okay. A small table graces the middle of the room. The table is covered by a velvet drapery. The initials AA are embroidered on the drapery. AA? That must stand for... Uh, the Avidan. Abdul al -Hazred. Oh. Sorry. Thought it was my dad. I think it's a fuck bed. It's not a bed. It's a... Hold it. It's a cloth. Oh. Alexander pulls the drapery aside, curious as to what might lie like underneath. Fuck legs and fuck swings. Whoa. What? 
fuck is that? Oh, here, check it out. I know what it is. What is it? On the table is a coat of arms with the head of a beast on the crest. What? Hmm. Beast said that his coat of arms was stolen by the druids. This must be it. Dude, these are all the things he's been using to pit the kingdoms against each other. Oh my god. The drapery has been pulled. The initials A. -A On the table is a miniature oak tree. It looks very old. Oh my god. Hmm. That must be the sacred miniature oak that the druids thought the winged ones stole. God. This guy's such an asshole. God, what a fucking prick. On the table is a strange looking stone that's giving off an odd high pitched noise. Oh! That must be the Isle of Wonders singing stone. Ah! Didn't the queens think that the beast had stolen it? On the table is a fleece made of gold. That fleece must belong to the winged ones. And they thought the Isle of Wonder had taken it. As Alexander looks at the objects on the table, he realizes the depth of the wazir's cunning. It must have been the wazir or an accomplice who stole that one thing most precious to each island and then leaked rumors that one of the other islands was responsible. That's what did the wazir have to gain by causing the islands to hate one another? Fucking little finger ass bitch. <laughs> Is this possibly the biggest dick alive? Mm -hmm. Alexander hears the sound of music coming from the east. It sounds somewhat classical, but... Oh no. It's wedding music. Oh shit. <gasps> oh shit! Oh fuck. Alexander hears a door off the North Hall open. Then, the sound of guard dog footsteps. The footsteps are headed this way. Do! Alexander hears the guard enter the North Hall. Goo! Oh my god, so close. Oh! Uh, They're coming your way! Ah. Alexander hears the sound of a guard's footsteps coming. Wait, there are more footsteps approaching from the west. Oh, get up there. Crap. Go, 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 go. Uh... No, not in there! No! Hey. Ah, ah! Son of a bitch! God, get away from uh, this waggly ass dog! Uh, I think I'm a little lost. I was looking for the wedding and... Arr, be quiet. The wizard told us to look out for a saboteur. My nose tells me that's you, guards! Son of a bitch. Alexander watches helplessly as the guards descend upon him. Oh, I snap, I think someone boss. must have let our prisoner loose, Ralph. Who would be crazy enough to do that, Hal? <laughs> I don't know, but if I find out, that traitor will be sorry. Let's keep an extra Who's sharp crazy eye enough to hire sure me? No one can get near him again. <laughs> Right, Hal. The Merry Christmas, you the filthy animal. <laughs> Alexander has a feeling there will be no help from Jollo this time. Can, oh, can it's just you and me, little spider. Oh, yeah, no. we have to restore. Okay. Uh, oh, no. That far back? Oh, that's not bad. That's pretty far back. That's pretty far back. Okay. Pause. God damn it, man. <laughs> Sorry. I tried. Very wily, that dog. Yeah, Yay, okay, we're back. back. Uh, all right, we're at exactly the point before uh, we got caught before, but now I've outraced the guard dog. Okay, so we're going up these stairs. Oof, that was close. Oh shit, is oh, there something else we have to do? I don't know, let's save it super fast. Okay, yeah. Uh, uh, gonna get fix. Okay. Dog sandwich. <laughs> That's exactly what we're in. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, oh, oh, there's a door up there. Yeah, open it. Oh, oh shit. Ooh, Alexander damn. looks cautiously around the grand hall, but there are no guard dogs to be seen. Oh, okay. The wedding music is coming from behind those two large doors. Oh my god. Which large doors? <laughs> Knock him down. Yeah. Oh! Prince Alexander, here. The wizier will have my head for allowing you within a mile of the royal wedding. Don't, don't. Since you are of noble birth, I will give you five seconds to explain your presence here before killing you. I warn you, it had better be good. Uh, 
<laughs> Sam. <laughs> I love chicken. Do you do you like chicken too? <laughs> Wait, no. Well, let's give him the letter. Wait. If you love your princess, you'll hear me out. The wazir is not what he appears to be. Kasima is in terrible danger. I have proof that this is so. For your princess's sake, you must believe me. Let me see that. Oh, fuck. Saladin reads the letter, his sword point still against Alexander's throat. Alexander watches the guard dog's noble face darken with rage. <laughs> this is treason. Good dog. his throat. But how do I know this letter is not a forgery? You could have written this yourself. But I did not. Have you no doubts of your own about our Hazred? Don't you see? All he wants is the crown. Kasima is being coerced. We must stop the wedding. It is true. I have had my suspicions about the wizier, especially when King Caliphim and Queen Alaria died. He sounds like Megatron. But I have seen Kasima with him several times. She appears to be quite happy, even enthusiastic. I don't believe she could love him if he truly were so wicked. I cannot believe for a moment that she loves that snake. A jilted lover would not believe it. But come, see for yourself. Wait. Oh, it's the... We Yes, we are gonna finish this next time on Steam Train. Oh my god, a fennel! How's that for a fucking cliffhanger? Oh my god, that's a fucking oh, good cliffhanger. so intense. Oh my god, it's so intense. Oh my god, so intense. Oh my god. So intense. You, you I, are good. I, I, sorry, Barry. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out why I can't get this play. It was working. Is that where? That's not the right thing, dude. Not 17 hours. Yep, 29 degrees Celsius. No, how do you? How did I do it before? I don't know. There oh, you go. There we go. Okay. Sorry, the wrong. Yeah. Yay, okay. We're back. Okay. Welcome back. It to is. The Final. Fucking go time. Oh All my right. god. I'm taking my hand off this thing and we are going into the wedding. Oh shit. Let's do it now. The captain of the guard leads Alexander into the throne room, where a ceremony seems to be in progress. Alexander feels his blood run cold at the sight. I, Kasima, declare Abdul al Hazred as my lawful and beloved husband <gasps> and king of this realm you two time and bitch kasima no what are you saying do you still claim that the princess is being forced perhaps it's you that's the danger as the wazir has said she's got a glowy eye no, she? yeah that's gotta be the that's the fucking kasima, genie stop prince alexander here this is an outrage how dare you allow this traitor to get past you, Saladin? You stupid mutt! Can't you even keep the castle free of assassins during your own princess's wedding? Kill him! Kill him now! <sighs> Lord al -Hazred, with all due respect, you are not quite king yet. And this is a wedding ceremony, not an execution. Dick. What? How dare you contradict me, you flea-bitten mongrel! I gave a direct order. Obey me, or feel my wrath. Milady, I apologize for my behavior, but I am yours to command in all things. I wanted merely to hear your own wishes from your own lips. Tell me what it is that you wish me to do with this young man, and I will obey. Why, Captain, yep. you heard my dear Abdul. If he wishes this atrocious young man's death, then I want nothing more than to see him get his wish. Obey thy liege now and always. As you wish, Princess. Just as Saladin prepares to run Alexander through with his sword, a shout is heard from the direction of the Grand Hall. Hold! In the name of the true king! Nice! Oh, damn! What's King up, dead Calvin parents? And Queen Alaria burst into the throne room, looking alive and well and full of wrath. 
Behind them, a line of supporters look prepared to battle, if necessary, for their beloved royal couple. We didn't have the money to make them, but whatever. <laughs> Kasima, darling, are you all right? Has he hurt you? Hands off of her, you murderous goat! If I want your advice, I'll ask for it, mother. But, Califim, that's not Kasima. I'd know my daughter anywhere. What have you done with our daughter, you devil? The lovely image of Kasima suddenly bursts into smoke and is replaced by the Wazir's genie. <gasps> he was gonna kiss that and sex it! Why? Gross! You that's why he needed that greasy serpent. oil. Get him, guards! <laughs> Celadon, your sword! Drat it all! You may have ruined my plans, but you won't get me! Or your precious Kasima. Get them, Shamir! I command you! Sugar He's me? getting away! Stop him! Yes, sire! As soon as I deal with this genie! Oh, fuck. I'm on it, bitch! Sh oh. Oh, no! Whoa! No! Not Saladin! No! Other dog? Ah! The genie, finding a free moment in the battle, suddenly realizes that Alexander is still in the room and sends a dazzle spell his way. Oh, use, use magic Got against him. Prince Alexander? Oh, son Are of a serious? bitch! serious? Man, that was really fucking fast. Wow, he didn't fuck around. All right. Were we supposed to get the hell out of there? I think we are. Mo, Alexander can't be slow. Oh, all right, all right. Thank you, genie, meanie, miny, mo. Oh, oh we're, we're back to dog sandwich. <laughs> really? All right, we're, we're gonna do it fast. Boom. Boom. Alexander looks caught. Let's run it, run it, gun it, run it, gun it. Go. You know what? We should probably pause and just get right back to it. All right, let's do it. Okay, we're back. we're back. We're just gonna save it right before okay, that right, part. All right, do it. Genies are meanies. I can't. Genies are meanies. Oh, okay. Yes, accurate. Why you, you conniving serpent? Get him, guards. Celadon, your sword. Drat it all. Get that bitch. Oh, get him. Get him. Get him. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, we gotta get go. out of here quick. There we go. Shamir, the wazir's genie. All right. Oh, you son of a bitch! Not getting away from me. Okay, okay we can go, do this. Go, 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 go. Does he have magic of his own? I don't know. Well, he's a black cloak guy, so maybe. I'm scared. Ah! Oh god, we oh, gotta, we gotta keep on his tail. Son of a bitch. Oh, this is gonna be one hell of a boss fight. I <laughs> this, is <gonna laughs> this has got boss fight written all over it. Okay. Oh, it's her. Alexander! Hey, baby! Be careful, Al Hazard has a sword! Shut up, wench! Oh. Shamir Shamazel! Get in here! Oh, here shit. I am, master! Damn it! It's you about time, table. you bumbling fool! How could you let him follow me? Well, there were the guard dogs, master, and then. Never mind! Just kill him! Kill him now! As you wish, master. What, what we... Razzle, dazzle, Can't do anything. Snazzle. Jolo! Alexander, I did it. I swapped the lamps. Here, quick, take it. Bless you, Jolo. I knew you could do it. Now get clear, friend. No argument there, my lord. Good luck. Are you sure you don't want to talk for a while? <laughs> oh, ah! You want to talk about it? Okay, uh, gotta use the lamp on the genie, right? Yep, 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 rub it. What the fuck is going on with him? He's- Shamir Shamazel, hold your spells. I am your master now. I order you to go back into your lamp. How did you get my lamp? <laughs> you thief! You, you, you've ruined me! My lamp! Oh, thank Balhalla! I hated working for that loathsome creature. I already feel his nastiness leaving me. How I've longed for a master like you. Oh, really? Good. Wow, he's a fucking snake. Yeah. Traitory. I've got a new master. I've got a new master. Just throw him out the window. 
Oh, shit, get back, he's got a sword. Whoa! Oh, dude! It's... So, you are a thief as well, Alexander. Stealing the lamp was very clever, I'll grant you that. But I am the master thief. Face my sword if you dare. <laughs> the man left standing shall have the lamp. Oh, shit. So shall it be, Alhazred. I don't need the genie to deal with a coward like you. Oh, well, good thing there's a fucking sword right behind me. Oh. My. God. Inspiration. Alexander fixes upon the only weapon in sight. Oh my god. Oh, it's a oh, broad it's very sword. Sounds. This sword must weigh a ton. <laughs> Good. Then you shall only fail sooner, my prince. Oh, safe. <laughs> Definitely safe. Alright. Final battle time. Do it, Ross. Save like you've never saved before. How do I sit? Very good, Ross. Thank you. <sighs> All right, let's do it. Let's do it, bitch. So the mouse would bite. This mouse shall bite, as you shall soon see, or should I say, soon feel. Yes. Yes. Do. Oh, dong, dong. Fuck yeah. He's flying like a fucking idiot. This is that sword, my prince. Better to lay it down now. I, I promise to dispatch you with little pain. A tempting offer. But I think I'll wait and see what this sword can do. Suit yourself, bitch. Fuck yeah, dude. We're fighting! Uh, yeah. Woo! <laughs> I oh, love it! Shit, yeah. Oh, oh fuck, dude, he punch? punched you in the Whoa, face! Whoa, dirty! Whoa, punch, punch it back! Guy. Go, go! Oh, God fuck. damn oh, it! Fuck. Wow, they went all out yeah. doing this bit. I thought this is well choreographed. This is rotoscoped. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is rotoscoped. I can yeah. tell. Yeah. Fucking. Oh, I fucking hate this guy. Oh yeah, punch him in the head. Oh, Kasima. Well, oh, easy, easy, baby. She's got a knife. She can shank him. Oh yeah. Alexander's arms start to tremble under the effort of wielding the huge sword. His muscles are nearing exhaustion. Ha! And so it ends. Not if I can help it, <gasps> you murderer! Cosima oh! thrusts the small dagger into Alhazred's shoulder with all her might. Ah! You! You dare raise a finger to me! Nice. You will regret that, princess! Oh, I'm stabbing you, bro. Stab, stab, stab. That would serve no purpose. Yes, it would. Yes, it would. You very much would. Yeah! Yeah! Fuck you! Kasima! Are you alright? Give me some sugar, baby. I'm fine, Alexander. I was just so afraid for you. <laughs> There's no need to fear anymore, Princess. Yes, I I'm know. Also incredibly How sunburned. can I ever <laughs> repay you for myself, for my kingdom? It was not in me to let harm come to you. Can you find it in you, Princess, to give me more than your gratitude? Alexander, what are you saying? I love you, Kasima. Would you ever consider... Do you think you could... marry me? <gasps> could you ever have doubted it, my Prince? <laughs> right over the corpse of the fucking dead guy! Oh, yeah! yeah! <laughs> Dude, nothing <laughs> makes Woo! me fucking harder than murder. Agreed. Ahem. Oh, Saladin. Oh! Guards! Princess Kasima, are you well? I'm quite well, thank you. Please take Abdul and put him in the dungeon. Oh, See you at the get to doctor. Yes, Majesty. All right, you'll fucking rot in the oubliette, you dick suck. Man. Shink. <laughs> nice. Oh, fucking did it. Yes. Fucking. Yeah. We great yeah. Yay. Okay. Kasima and oh, Alexander yeah, ask yeah. Captain Saladin <gasps> to perform their wedding it's ceremony. His dad. Yeah. Saladin is honored to do so. On this historical day of great joy in the land of the Green Isles, Wolf. we witness the union of Kasima, beloved princess of this realm, and Alexander, prince of Daventry. 
Do you, Prince Alexander of Daventry, take Princess Cosima to be your wife, to love and to cherish for as long as you both shall live? Nope. I do. <laughs> Wait. And do you, Princess Cosima of the Land of the Green Isles, take Prince Alexander to be your husband, to love and to cherish for as long as you both shall live? I do. Do you have a ring? I have Alexander's royal insignia ring. Uh, yeah. Very good. Please place the ring on Cosima's finger. Who yes. gives this bride to be wed? Her mother and I willingly give our daughter's hand in wedlock. Yeah. Who will speak for the groom? I will. Yeah! yeah! Alexander's mother and I recognize his marriage to Princess Cosima with ah. glad hearts and sanction this union. Then, Alexander and Cosima, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. Here. Yep. Beast, beauty. Oh yeah, the druids are here. Fucking jaw. The queens. Rosella, King Graham. Oh, Graham. I kind of wish Cedric was here. Shame he died. He didn't die. He's <laughs> fine. Congratulations, my children. I have an important question for you both. Please hear me. Yes, sire. Can you poop Alex into a vagina? <laughs> into our family with open arms. I just I saved fifteen percent on my car insurance. Because I so badly <laughs> wanted a son and a husband for my beloved daughter. I was wrong, but you are true and good, Alexander. You have proven yourself to all my people. Thank you, sire. Olaria and I have been through much, even though we have returned to our kingdom. I do not think we are able to reign again. Will you two consider the crown? Oh, damn. I know as king and queen, you can heal this small kingdom from all the damage that al Hazred has inflicted upon it. Oh, father. Why, I'm honored. What do you think, Cosima? I love my homeland, Alexander. I would be happy to stay and serve it all my days. Father, I believe I'm needed here. Would you be very disappointed if... Son, you <laughs> must follow your destiny. I do believe the land of the Green Isles needs you. You'll be a magnificent king, though dearly missed in Daventry. Then, I accept. Oh my boy, what a man you've yeah. become. And how I will miss you. Don't worry, you're not in King's worry Quest 7. <laughs> With Shamir's powers, we'll be able to visit often. Who I'm is? not about to forget my family. Rosella. Congratulations, Alexander. She's the main character? Mm -hmm. I'm so proud of you. I love her. Really? Thank oh, I love you. Blondes. Is King Quest 7 good? Sister. Yeah. Oh, cool. Does it have voice? Yeah. Oh, oh, wow, neat. I'm so glad. Between the return of my beloved parents and our new reign, you've made me so happy. I'm glad I could make up for some of your suffering, my beautiful wife. Congratulations, King Alexander. When we return home to Daventry, your crew will be glad to hear that their battle at sea was worthwhile in bringing forth a new monarch. We were so worried when your men arrived home without you, son. I'm so thankful that you are safe and happy. And I am as grateful that my crew did not pay for my driven heart. Oh. oh, they survived. Yeah, I guess you have so. only brought us all good fortune, sire. With Shamir saved and his power used for good, reuniting the islands will be far easier. He has already repaired the ferry. Your road will be easier now that the islands are no longer feuding. Already the wounds are starting to heal. Yes, my love. Discovering the island's stolen treasures has done more to bring peace to this land than anything else. It is now clear that al Hazred had Shamir steal each of the island's most valued treasures, then blame the thefts on others to cause the island yeah, to we, hate. Yeah, we figured that you out. Got it, yeah, we got it. We Love got it. it. Now <laughs> let us celebrate our good fortune. The evil that has plagued this land is done, and a new reign begins. Now no, I go for walking. Yes, <laughs> I'm going to shit in the yard. <laughs> King Alexander! 
I'm going to lick my own balls. Yeah. Long live Queen Cosima! Yay! Long live the land of the Green Isles! Yay! We got like 10 people in a room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that guy tried to kill me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Forget about it. Oh my god, Jolo, just die. Just no, he's hate, happy! I hate Jolo. I hope he slips and breaks his neck. See you all in King's <laughs> Quest 7! The search for more Jolo! <laughs> <laughs> Jolo's jelly! <laughs> King Quest 8! <laughs> oh, man. Yeah! yeah! We did it, Ross! Yeah. Holy Woo! shit! Nice, Way to go! Brother, nice. Oh, Dude, Roberta Williams, that's I love special. you. special. Fucking King's Quest is like, that was, oh man. That's a good it's, one. Wow, our little anniversary series is done. This is great. Oh, Wait music. a minute. <laughs> Wait, we have to listen to this. Oh, no, no more singing? I just need to hear you say. What? <laughs> Are you serious? Oh man. In case you fucking forgot, this game was made in 1992. Oh my god, this is so nice. That is some Peebo Bryson shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> this is about as 90s as shit gets. Sent. Oh, it's got a girl. Awesome. I feel like this is the kind of thing like they'd have like... Dan went on to become a gynecologist. <laughs> Ross went on to become a robot. <laughs> Graham went on to scratch many doggies and give them walkies. <laughs> he had to pick up the guards. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's a, there's a duet. Why do you haunt me night and day? Girl in the tower, I'm reaching out. Please tell me what to do. Oh, it's so good! It's so nice! Oh my god. This is the best thing I could have possibly yeah. hoped for. This is so fucking great! <laughs> so random! I was not expecting this. Girl in the Tower. Yeah. Mark Siebert. Amazing work, my friend. I wanna I wanna I wanna hear this song in its entirety. Oh, me too. I wanna link to it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh we did it, dude. Perfect. Oh whoa! Great job. Perfect. We do shit perfect. We well, Steve we did Train. check a walkthrough like four times. But but they don't know that. Yeah. So now they do. Congratulations on your excellent performance. Try the other easier on. entrance to the castle. Oh. Alright. I guess there's multiple ways to do this. Oh wow, there's like a different way to finish it. Yeah. Please do not turn off the game. And fuck with our capture. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> like you always do. Well, that's not up to us. Yep. Thanks, Sierra. Wow, thank you, Sierra. How the fuck you are we supposed to know the any of best. that? The best. And our capture's fucked. <laughs> Thanks, fucking Sierra. God damn it. <laughs> you always do this shit. Oh, it's Why? The best. It's so bad for. Oh, whatever. Yeah, whatever. All right. Yeah, it's fine. Next time on Steam Train. Next time on Steam Train. Sierra, you're the best of all time. Roberta yeah. Williams, I love you dearly forever. God, that song was goddamn Mark Seibert or Siebert. You're in the tower. You're in the tower, You're buddy. The man. You're in the See tower. See you later, everybody. Peace out, guys. Why do you